हाई गाइज वेलकम वेलकम बैक गाइज एंड वेलकम टू द फाइनल्स ऑफ सी एल टी वेलोर सीरीज वन कप एंड टूडे वी हैव द फाइनल्स बिटवीन टीम विक्सन राइजिंग एंड टीम मॉन्स एंड वी आर जस्ट हेडिंग टू द मैच द मैच इज जस्ट अबाउट टू स्टार्ट आई जस्ट क्विकली शो यू द मैच शेड्यूल फॉर टूडे दिस इज गॉन अभी द मैच शेड्यूल एंड हेर आर द मैप सिलेक्शन So the first map is gonna be mine, and we are just starting the match. The game is has just started. I'll take you to the agent select screen. Just a moment. So I think it's gonna be an interesting game, guys. So let's see which team will win. So where is the agent select screen, guys? The first map's gonna be Bine and okay. The first matches of third place. My bad. Really sorry. And it's Bine. The agents are upgrade esports has selected Breach, Fade, Brim, Chamber, and Race, and. In attackers we have Team Instinct, which I've selected Sky, Viper, Brim, Race, and Chamber. They're gonna go with the double controller. Yeah. Okay guys okay. we are back uh, here are So let's see so attackers are going to like uh, open outside of hookah two guys are standing in the spawn and one guy is outside of b long In defenders brim is opening at hookah fade is opening b long gathering some info defenders are taking some shards control And attackers got the hookah control pretty easily now. Defenders are just trying to delay them. So you guys are long. Oh, that kill! That kill from Chimur. That was nice. Now they're just gonna go to A from Shars. They just instantly rotated. This is coming late from A shot. Oh my God! That position is so good by Chimur. Let's see what happens. This retake is gonna be difficult for them since chamber is very low. And okay, nice kill by Brimstone. Chamber is looking his way to you halls. Will be able to kill this Brimstone and get an entry for his team. That's a good crossfire from attackers. Okay, there's nothing he can do here. And Team Instinct have won the first round. Yeah. 
they played really well with the rotations with the early picks it was really good now let's see about the economy they are just buying a vandal oh my god levy is just buying a vandal here and jimmer is gonna play on his bullets on his sheriff and defenders are just going for the full eco Raze is about taking the hookah control they are just defenders are just leaving the hookah control for now they're just playing belong inside and i think they're gonna, gonna go a shot aggressive here chamber is trying to create some space for his team will this chamber catch another chamber yes, he got him now it's a 4v5 in the favor of defenders let's see how much damage they can give them before they lose this round okay here our brimstone is disconnected and they'll get the site pretty easily they're just securing the round by that Grimmolly we don't want to risk any player or any weapon here What are the tank to are they going for elbow retake or are they just trying to take some kills and give the damage to the economy? Okay, he'll find that chamber pretty easily. Prim will try to get one kill, but it's not possible there because they had a good hold there. Okay, now is the round. I guess they'll be taking a timeout. Let's see, because Shudders is not here yet. There'll be a timeout, because one guy disconnected. I hope he comes fast or comes back, because if he's not able to come back, then upgrade esports will have to play 4v5 and that's not going to be good for them. Let's talk about bind. So end the draft. So here they are playing uh, fade and breach from the side of upgrade esports, and I think it's a good combo because breach is a very good agent in this map. It's just hard to play sometimes with these uh, draft. Like breach is not very easy to play because you have to like create some play some bursts in to play breach, and some teams are not comfortable with that. But on the other hand. Team Instinct is playing Sky and single con uh, single initiator plus double controller. That's an easy task in attack, but playing defense is a bit hard with double controllers. You gotta take the map control. So let's see, they are just going five man a shot. What will they do here? They have two vandals and three specters, and the opponents have all five vandals. They got the Hoka control pretty easily. Oh my god, that's a great buffer. They literally shut them down. I guess Chamber just have to save here because he don't have a good economy the next round, don't have money. So I guess he just have to save here. But I think he's not gonna save it. He was just trying to get some kills. Now we are heading to the fourth round here. Team Instinct will have four Vandals and Chamber will be playing on Sheriff most probably. Or maybe he'll buy a Spectre. Yeah, he's buying a Spectre. Defenders, what they are doing, they are just trying to take B-Long info every round with the fade and they are just keeping breach to delay and delay them. Raze is also playing here, so Raze is also kind of an initiator duelist.
nice skill here by feed he's gonna use his crawler delay them but it's not enough because crawler only catches one person at a time and it's not enough to delay them here and it's gonna be a 2v4 retake it's almost impossible for them to take the site from four guys holding vandals and phantoms here with no initiator so shimmer is gonna try to get i guess one kill or two kills to destroy the economy Prim is already in will he be able to take a kill they got the side they got a kill oh my god they have de destroyed the economy <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. What are we looking at? What are we witnessing? Sound is gone here. Look at this, what just happened here. It was honey, it's okay. But they won the round. Team Instinct won the round. That's what matters. It's okay. Sometimes we all whiff. It was a nice try though from the defenders part that they just got the side they killed almost all of them if we ignore that classic fight in the end but yeah they tried well yeah this is just gonna take uh, trying to take solo hooker control i guess no no he's coming back i guess they are planning to do a burst here There's an ult coming from the sky. Oh my god, Chamber got two kills here. And he just fell back. They're on Nico and they're on 5v3 now. They can win this round if they just. Because they also have Breach's ult, Fade's ult. They have everything here. they are doing they're just gonna go to shards they're gonna burst from shards oh my god chamber got one more kill that's the third from him elite is playing really well here with that op in his hand and here's come here comes the flash he used his flash so well to get that kill now it's a 3v1 almost impossible for the sprim to oh my god there are four kills from elite that was a really nice play from him getting two kills in the initial phase of the round and then getting two more in the later round he single-handedly won this round and that breach flash was just a topping on the pizza it was just a great round they just won an eco a full eco now team instinct are on the eco as their economy is not very good let's see what they are planning to do And they're just gonna go for Let's play. the picks. That's the chamber stiff. Oh my god, Elite is just so good with this. Okay, we have a good hold on shards. Now they are gonna group up at a shot. But I don't know where Brimstone is going. Okay, he's gonna try to get the spike by his own. Last player okay, okay, okay. Nice try there. Upgrade Esports is playing really well today. As we have seen that they were facing some ping issues. But I guess ping issues are not there today. Because that day they were just getting 80 to 100 pings in the semi-finals. But today their ping is more stable. And let's see. How well they are going to perform in this ping here. They are doing pretty great. Team Instinct are also doing a good job. They both are in at 3-3. But let's see what happens now. So it's going to be an A-shot aggression I guess from defender side. Raze is just trying to take Hookah control. Welcome to my world. 
Maybe I just took the shards control. I think they'll be trying to plant the bomb here. And now we're just trying to like create some space for her team in the meantime. They're just going back to B. They have forced their rotations off with that by puzzle and they're just going to B. Now Riz is alone in the site and they can just get the site pretty easily. Okay, they got the site easily. Now it's a retake. It's a 3v4 retake for defenders. That initial kill was oh my god, that was a nice try. That initial kill was very important from Team Instinct and they got it very nicely. Now it's now it's very hard to retake here with two guys in front of four guys. But we have seen them retaking so well. They just kill three of them in the 2v4 retake. Can they do it again? And the team will just shut them down for the retake. Prim is just trying to go to elbow and trying to find some picks so he can just destroy the economy because they are not very good on the economy. He'll be trying to destroy the economy but unfortunately he can't and now Team Instinct have won this round and they have secured some creds for them for the next round also. Even if they lose this round they'll have creds in the next round to buy. Upgrade esports, on the other hand, their economy is also good. They can continuously buy or buy in good buy and do half buy in the next round. So, both teams should be worrying on winning the rounds now, like at least two to three rounds continuously, so that they can just destroy the opponent's economy. If they're just going 3B long and trying to do a classic B control, but as we see this chambers op is very good in his hand he's just a monster with it he's just denying everything from attackers now he's alone on the side can he hold this Okay, they just rotated to B. Brimstone just rotated to B. Look at this fate's position. She have all the info. She knows they're just going B. Now this chamber just have to show his magic with the operator. And he just have to try to kill all of them. Okay, that was a really nice shot from Grace. He's alone on the side. He manages to get one kill, but that's not enough. Now it's a 2v1 and... She have it, her ult. She can just try to go for this retake. Can she clutch this? She spotted both of them on the side. One kill. Will she be getting another? And she, that was a nice try. And I will say from Team Instinct that was an over peak. Like she, that race just peaked bad. Like she shouldn't have peaked there because she manages to get the raise kill and she manages to stay alive because they didn't peak together here the osh peak should be there from brim and raise both and if fade was able to ma uh, manage to get that brim out then she would have won the round but luckily they just won the round like brim just won the round but that should be in a double peak there here comes the push, here comes the push from Brace. He's stunned. He'll be nading there. He gets shut down. Okay, here's come the ult from Breach. Manages to get one. He'll be falling back after getting the advantage. Look at this chamber. He's just made his way up to the U-Hauls. Well, he can try to get a kill and just fall back. Okay, they are just rotating now. He is gonna be on the side for waiting for them. Bring it. The bomb is still here. Look at this. Look at this. The bomb is still here. He's just waiting for a pick so he can just call his teammates out. But they have realized this situation, 
and now they are on the A side. Defenders are also on the A side. They can rotate again here, but they still don't know exactly where the opponents are. Now they know. Okay. He tries, but that was a clean retake. That was a very good decision by defenders there by not leaving that side. Breach had the shards control. One guy was on early rotation, but still they didn't leave shards. As I told earlier, in the bind map, you need to keep either U Hulls control or shards control. So these guys just managed to get keep the shards control here and they just did a good retake. Like that's necessary if you have either a shards or you horse you control you can try to retake and you can retake good but if you don't have a shards or you holds control the round is just over so here's oh, they literally just did a very good job of keeping the shards control and that's why they managed to retake that thing very easily brim just ulted on the plant and he just got a pretty easy kill they're gonna instantly use the brim ult to create some space they're creating the space to Charles. Jimmer is gonna walk in. He'll be going for the retake. Will fade and manage. Will Fate be able to manage to get a kill? Let's see. If she gets a kill, they can retake easily. She got her with the Prowler. She uses her C's. Now they're both together trying to find kills. Chimmer will peek off of this Prowler, but there's a good fr Oh my god, that spray. That was just magnificent. Okay, okay, she tried she tried well. Look at this spray here by Chamber. A spray by Fade. That was a really nice spray to just trade both of them. Defenders are just gonna go for like two B and three A setup. Here Chamber is gonna set his trap to Okay, that's a uh, basic setup we see in a lot of pro matches but they'll be going B long mostly okay chamber is gonna take an Oka shot personally my team also uses this setup like this is one of the setups we use and instead of fade we just keep sky here for the info because fade is very good in just delaying the enemy's push okay here comes the party and she oh she misses it she uses her grenade they got the side pretty easily now it's gonna be a retake and they're just going B but fair will be waiting for them will she will will she be managed to get at least one kill I think she'll get both of them her position is very good oh no no check it yeah yeah, she'll be able to get both of them as i told her position was really good and at these times i think that rotation was really unnecessary why because they already had all the info at a they knew that one guy could be playing on shards one guy could be backside but on b when you rotate like this you don't know where the b guy is playing as fate just was playing in the site if you have less time you should not rotate like this because at a you already got some control you already got some info now you can capitalize on that info and try to plant and try to be safe but on b you literally have zero info so you should not should not rotate like that that was a bad rotation from them i will say as fade manages to get a good position on them and she manages to get both of them now they'll just try to make some a shot pressure 
chamber is just trying to get a kill if we can find one. He's just playing on Spectres this round. Defenders are playing 3A now. Fate comes here and gives her info. Prim is keeping the shards control here. Okay, chamber manages to get that trace to use her nade here. And they're just gonna get the U-Hulls control pretty easily. Oh, that Brim ult is really crucial. It got one kill. Now they know that one guy could be backside. That guy manages to kill two of them. Will she be getting the third one? That's a ding coming there. You have to defuse half at least to win this round. We'll... Uh, he'll not be able to win this round, but it was a nice try. I don't know why these guys don't peek, didn't peek the backside guy because the new one guy is at backside. She also made the sound, but I don't know. They just didn't double peeked on her, and she manages to get two kills. And I think uh, Team Instinct were not getting much map control as we have seen in the previous games also they focus on more on getting individual kills the individual plays but they are not very good at the map control as we have seen in the semi-finals also on the other hand upgrade esports are very good in taking the map control they are doing all the things right sometimes they just lose on the aim duels as because of the ping in the semi-finals but today they are just looking good and strong here Upgrade esports here, they'll be taking the hookah control. That's the main thing. Like, you should be taking the hookah control and keeping the belong control with you. If you get that, you just got all the control and info on the map. Will they be able to uh, catch that race? Chimmer manages to get a kill at Charles. Now he'll be forcing off the rotations. Defenders are just rotating very quickly. Now, if the if fades walk, fade walks in here, she just got the site. She just got the whole site here by herself. That's the thing, guys. You should not early rotate like that. If you do this, these things happens. Oh, she manages. Oh my God, she manages to get two kills there. But now they have the site. Will they be able to do this retake? Sky have a flash. Instant play is like two minutes. Here comes the retake, and they got managed to get two kills there. Now Chimmer is just alone trying to retake and trying to get at least one kill here. Will he manage? No, he'll not manage to get a kill here. It was a pretty good round from a great esports, I will say. F from a team instinct, I will say. From upgrade esports, my bad. So they just, uh, like you can see the early rotations from team instinct, right? They they just rotated so early that upgrade esports just managed to get the side pretty easily. They just walked in. Fate just walked in by herself and got the side. That's the thing, you should not early rotate like that. Let's see what happens now. They're just pushing from B long, four guys are pushing. And Viper is just holding solo A right now in the U-Hauls. She is stunned. Now Riz will be getting the U-Hauls control. She spotted her. And look at this, look at look at their flank. They all are just flanking from there. Chamber knows someone is here. He'll, he'll manage to get that kill there. Now here comes a short fight. Okay, they managed to... Piper is still alive. Will she be able to get one or two kills? Let's see. If she get two kills, she'll be denying the specters in the next round and they'll be playing on pistols. 
but it's just gonna be a double peak from them upgrade esports are doing everything right what team instinct should have done in the attack still they managed to get seven rounds that was very good but now i think upgrade esports is looking strong here they're just trying to get all the map control just trying to get everything right they are on bonus round i think they'll be going for a burst in to give a surprise execute for enemies because they cannot really fight long range here they only have two vandals here they'll be going for the shards control and they managed oh re oh my god that was real nice 3k by he man will she be managed will she manage to get more kills here here comes a flash kill from the breach. Will he try? Will he be able to try to like destroy the economy? He got a vandal. He just TP. He'll be holding here, and those kills from Trace, they were just insane. That was just individual plays. As I told, Team Instinct are just playing very good on individual and that just shows there like how she manages to get the 3k there she just she just denied the trade like you can see upgrade esports is doing everything perfect but team instinct they are just playing so good on individual plays like here she just denied the trade they did everything right fade prollard fade peaked other guys peaked for the trade she just managed to get them all she's they're just so good on the individual plays, as you can see, as I mentioned earlier also. The crossfire, their individual plays are just so good. Again, they are just denying the shards control and they manage to deny the shards control. They're gonna take the sh sh the shards control like I said all five of them are all four of them are outside of shards now uh, they managed to get the shards control here and they just traded that reach just huge result now they'll be able to get the side here the race skill that was really nice this is an awkward position for Prim. No heaven smoke for him. Now they'll be just rotating to B, I guess. They can just rotate to B. Because they know they're here, but they didn't know the sky's position. She's just holding here. I think she'll manage to get at least one kill here. But she'll get them both. They both were looking at B long. That was uh, an expected thing. Like, uh, if you are going A and one guy is not spotted, that guy could be B long pushed for the early info and a better position. That's why they were expecting him at B long. That, uh, that was a good thing to expect, but they didn't expect her on the side. And Levy just played it perfect. We can just see Levy is so good in her position, in his positioning and his individual plays, as we saw in the semi-finals also. He's just so damn good in them. Here comes the free kill from the guy. Oh, she manages to ding her, ding her from through the wall. Now Prim is standing alone here on the side. Will he be able to get one or two kills here? I think he'll be able to get at least one kill. It's a 3v4, 3v2 retake for them. Look, look at the slurp from Viper. We just have have all the info, all the all the control. Ready. But we just, just expecting her here. That was a good thing to do. Like now they'll just go B. They just know we got the B guy. Sky is spotted here, Brim is spotted here, now B is clear.
and they'll just get the control they can just convert this equal round into a win so i have a flash bring one smoke she'll not check that corner that was an obvious corner but yeah reach manages to get one now he'll just delay not over peeking that's the perfect thing to do oh my god that kill through the smoke i've talked about his op he's just so good with the op look at this bridge he just didn't engage like no we're peeking from his side got one kill just fall, fall back and this kill through the smoke that's just insane this match is really going close like as you can see team instinct are very good on individual plays as you can see levy he-man they are just looking very good they are just so good in the individual plays but on the other hand upgrade esports are just better in the team play so it's just gonna be a close match here my expectations are that it will go to overtime okay they just have all the a shot control team instinct you guys are, are just sitting in the viper's ult then will be walking in result they managed to get the shards control will brim be able to get one kill if he gets one kill this round it will give them a lot of advantage but he's just going back they're just falling back he is staying here he's just trying to make some chaos what are they trying to do they are just gonna do a burst they are just gonna take some kills and i guess they're just gonna burst at b but before that fade will just create some chaos here as you can see he she's just faking here she'll use her ult b guys will make some sound they'll yeah they forced off sky's rotation and brim's rotation now they got the side now fade will ma be ma managed to get the sky guy just ran back it's a good thing to do oh my god that fake flash she just denied that kill on her. Prim is just walking through elbow who will make the first contact here reach will be making the first contact he'll die and now opm will get two will he be able to find three no he just got two so they just denied that that sky literally she said you are gonna fake us i'm i'll also fake you with my flash and that kill from sky was just so good that was the important thing if sky would have engaged with that fade she would have died there like if she would have died the round is gone it's a 44 now the situation is equalized but in the it's now in the favor of upgrade esports if that sky dies there that's the thing she's just so disciplined levy is just playing so disciplined he just fell back and didn't give the kill and then fake flashed and got the kill that was the perfect perfect thing to do there and now i think our he-man is just afk for now yeah he's just afk And now what are they planning to do upgrade esports is really looking good on the map control like let me explain you some things about bind so on bind taking the info outside of b is really important like because on the a side it's really hard to get the info as you can see on the a side there are so many angles that you can deny the opponent's utilities from here like you can just hide here you can just hide here you can hide here behind the box you can just hide here you can just hide here so getting the info at a is just so hard for defenders and in at the b side they can just get the info pretty easily if sky flashes here they, it will reveal like 
this whole area this lane this fountain the whole area is revealed if you flash outside of hookah this area is just revealed so you can easily get this info at b so as attackers you should be denying opponents opponents uh, information like if they're trying to get the information at b at here you can just deny the information just take the hookah control take the belong control and defenders will be confused or you can just do one thing you can just take the hookah control and stay outside of a or just mark the a push you, you can just get a lot of info at b that's why teams usually make defaults for b more instead of like going at a and taking shards control and a shot control because defenders are already playing behind they just try to either take shards control or they just play behind with crossfire because they are not able to get good info at a they can easily get good info at b so attackers always try to deny the b info and that gives a lot of info to them also if they know like two guys are playing b they are just playing back we have the hookah control belong control they can just burst in but at A, they could be U-Hauls, Heaven, Backside, Outside of Bench, Shards, A-Shot Pushed. There are a lot of angles. Ability Sports is doing a real good job here by taking the map control. They are just denying their control, denying their pushes. But still, Team Instinct are really good on the individual plays here. I think if you give this team like one or two months more team instinct would be like a lot better team like as a team they're lacking some uh map control but they're just so well good on their crossfires and their individual plays we have to appreciate that a lot that's why they are just above right now on 10 8 but let's see will upgrade esports be able to manage to get those two more rounds to equalize and will who will manage to win this game I think it's gonna be really close for them. I think he man is just facing some technical issues at his own. That's why he's just disconnected or AFK. I don't know. He's not disconnected. He's in game, but he's just AFK right now. Okay, now they're ready. He came back. Okay, so they are gonna go for triple A and double B setup as double controllers. I think they should keep more map control and I guess they are doing a pretty good job at that. They are just pushing to shards, they are just taking the shards control. Let's see what happens now. Those attackers are just gonna go for a classic B long control. That's a good kill from Chamber and that was an overpeak from Sky. They'll manage to get B side pretty easily. And now it's a retake without an initiator. They just have Razor Boombot, Nade, and Grim Smoke with them for the retake. And upgrade esports are just creating some pressure. They are just denying their map control right now. Now Fade will just use her C's. Now they'll just go for the save. That's the best thing to do right now. It's just impossible to retake here. Now they'll just save it. Evan. Okay, so what setup are they gonna use now? Like they can see they are uh, very weak on the B side right now, as attackers are just trying, uh, just managing to get the fakes and get the B side pretty easily. So they'll be playing three B this time, and Chamber and Brim A. E. That's a classic Evil Genesis. Uh, that's a classic Evil Genesis setup, and let's see. 
now they're just going for an e execute that's so good of them they just executed b last round now they are just executing a using their ults using every util uh, it's a retake chamber also managed to get the sky my god that was a perfect kill there she finds one you tried to find two but breach just denied that He's holding, he's holding. Will she ma be managed to get one more kill? Okay, she's just falling back now. Oh my god, that shot! He-Man is just looking very good on his aim right now. She just faked that brim that I'm just going to save but she turned back and managed to get that kill to destroy the economy. As we can see Team Instinct don't have a good economy, don't have a chamber cells, they are just gonna play for a half by here. But Raze is just buying full here. Race has saved the weapon and others are just buying half here. This guy is just trapped here. What can she do against these utils? But she still manages to get that position and they just used everything on her. Look at that. They'll be creating the space to Shars, a shot. They managed to get Viper. Now Prim will be creating some space at Hoka. Two halls. Chamber is already backside. Look at this guy. He's just creating a lot of space for his team. This match is just going so close. He oh my god, he manages to get him. We can see both the chambers are just looking so good. And yeah, they're just looking great here. Now Team Instinct will have Pi, but still they are playing on one Spectre and maybe one bulldog from race let's see what weapons she is gonna buy okay she's getting a randall drop here and jim is just going to play on the specter they're just playing 3b right now they're just heavy stacking at b is this a glitch okay she was waiting for the need Oh my god, that he just managed to get that kill. That's just insane. That's a 4v5. They had better weapons, still, the opponents managed to get a kill. Now they just rotated. Shimmer have has created a lot of space here, and but he'll die. Here come the Shaz fight, now it's a 1v5. Will he be able to get at least 2? Okay, it's just denies that. Now it's a 11-11. As I said, this map is going to be close. I hope this goes to overtime as you all love to watch overtime. And let's see what upgrade esports plans to do in this round. Again, they're just playing triple B. They are just countering the opponents. Upgrade esports are not able to take much map control now. What they'll be doing? 
I think they should just take some shards control, some belong control, and they'll be good to go. Speed is just trying to fake at B. Now they are making their way back to A. What they're planning to do. Chimmer has his ult. Space just went to u hauls got the u hauls control. Now they got the A side. But Prim is still on Shars. And this is a risk. He got one kill through the smoke. Space manages to get the u hauls control back. Now the round is gone. They have u hauls control. They have Shars control. The round is gone. He manages to get one more. Oh my god. Okay, that fake, fake clashes from Levi, they are just so good. It's 11, 12. Now upgrade esports are really no, low on the economy. They're going to be playing on one specter. But Chamber can just use his ult and drop his Vandal to fade. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Now in the defense also, they are going to use this op that operator. That's Elder Flame Operator, guys. Everyone's favorite. You want to play, Let's see play. if he manages to get one kill and start. Upgrade these sports are just making their way to belong. They're just trying to take the belong control here. Raze uses her. Boombot, Fade uses her brawler. Now what they're gonna do, they're just gonna use Fade's utils. Are they planning to TP here? I think yes, they are planning to TP here. So I'm just using a dog, Fade have her, her ult. They're just planning to go to A. Hey, look at this, look at this rotation. Oh my god, he was turned and he still manages to kill them. They are just so good on the initial plays, as you can see. It's a 3v3. And it's gonna be a retake. We got the side. You know, there's no one backside now. Okay, she just barely missed. That. Okay. Oh my god, that was a clean kill. Okay, it was a nice try though. That was a good game and first match Team Instinct have won. It was a really good match here. We'll be looking at the scoreboards now. Like, look at this. Upgrade Esports Elite is on 19 kills. Toxic Summit is on 21 kills with that breach. OPM is on 15 kills. Tingex is on 14 kills. Shooters is on 14 kills. And look at this He Man. He's just a chord right now in the lobby. He manages to got 25 kills in his name. Look at this. Levi got 20 kills. He's just looking great in this tournament. Bahadur Beta, he just got 16 kills here. And Yan Meester, he got 12 kills. 1MP205, I hope I pronounced his name good. He is on 10 kills. And this is gonna be a 2 minutes break. And we'll be right back with the second game. Don't go anywhere, guys.
ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Baron Claxton Series 1. And we are back with a third place match for the day. We still have the Grand Finals coming up. But uh, we're still uh, through one map in uh, with the, the third place map between uh, Team Instinct and Upgrade Esports. The first map just got finished a few minutes ago. It uh, was a 13-11 and it went in favor of Team Instinct. So uh, we are going to be going into the second map of Fracture. So hopefully you're ready for that. And um, yeah, AKG was in the match. I wasn't there, but I am here now. So uh, AKG, give me a quick rundown of what happened. So Team Instinct and Upgrade Esports, they both really played well. As we saw, Team Instinct were a lot good like with the individual plays, but Upgrade Esports were just so good with the team play. So the score went 13-1, Team Instinct won. But let's see what happens on the second match and the second match has just started here we come on the agent select screen the second match is gonna map is gonna be the fracture and upgrade esports are just going for raise ko breach here goes the double uh, initiator uh, the same uh, draft they used in the previous uh, semi-finals match uh, they are going with the chamber and brim and on the other hand team instinct they are just gonna go with the mirror draft and let's see who diff who's in this game and we hope to see the third map of this game indeed and i want to see this go all the way but one thing i'm really what was willing to see was um maybe um a breach and neon pick coming up you know that fast play that a lot of um, north american teams have invented but for now, we are going to be steering clear of that. Only uh, the Rays are going to be the duelists who are going to be participating in the matchup. But yeah, it, again, uh, a lot of uh, Sentinel capabilities are required in this match and uh, in this map, especially since you're not for the defenders, since you're not really holding on to sight. I would prefer to have a double Sentinel, and this is the only map I really want to see that. Maybe a little bit, a little bit on Breeze, but. A double initiator is what we're gonna get and which is not bad actually explosive side takes side retakes are gonna be the main name of the game as we see the ko and breach utility aren't really that uh, effective in gathering information the ko does gather some information but not like a sova uh, or even a sky but as we are going to find out how each team are going to be opting to play for we are going to see the first round early uh, aggression from the side of the defenders team instinct as the boom bots are gonna meet that looked really cool from my perspective and it's gonna be he man pushing ahead into that b main actually driving the players away some breach utility will be used and will be causing the players to fall back now they're re-rotating back to b and for now the side take will be continuing as T Levi will be holding on from the uh, tower area, will be taking down Summit as he flashes out but misses all his shots. Shiders will be getting the frag on to him and Levi will be taken down. 4v4 situation and the retake begins as we are going to see Shiders low on HP still holding in towers. All of the players from the attackers uh, really are low. The Unmeister is going to be in a really interesting position outside of the Jenny. He will be flicked onto by Elite. A lot of dips coming in and it's going to be a great clean retake from the side of Team Instinct. As they will be taking down a, a lot of HP was lost from Upgrade Esports while doing the entry into the site. So uh, patience will be paying off for Team Instinct. Yeah, they're just so good on individual, the patience things, the crossfires. They're just so good on them and on the retakes they are just a lot better like they are just doing the great a great job upgrade esports managed to get, get the side pretty easily they were a lot good in that but team instinct is just doing the perfect job and let's see what's gonna happen indeed and uh, again that was just the first round you can't really just the entire game based on that uh but again a lot of aggression we are gonna see a force by coming in from the side of upgrade esports because they did get the spy down but look at look at him petrus he's gonna be getting a lot of frags i think a couple of frags at least but we did see the breach coming in as well while better getting one and good side defense coming in results in a 3v2 as a push from elite comes in he does get one onto bother better but the trade comes in from me and Meister, 1v2 situation, he's only got 40 HP, no utility on him, trying to go for the plan, trying to bait out a push, trying to get a 1v1 here, but as you know, with a player lurking from main shiders, coming in, a little brim on brim action, he's going to be playing patiently, he's not going to be extending at all, 
With 50 seconds remaining, Shiris can make a move if he wants to. He can try and push in towards CT, towards Janmeister. And get a frag on to Janmeister. Does spot him. Again, loses a bunch of HP. Meanwhile, from the other end, Levi's going to be pushing up. And with the noise being made and 40 seconds left, easy shot for Levi, low HP. Will be getting the frag. And uh, the buy round, the force buy, not really working out for Brady Sports. Yeah, like the position from Levy was just perfect there. He just paced himself so well and they just stayed alive. That's the main thing, playing discipline. If they would have peaked, if uh, he, the Brim was able to manage to get a single kill, it will be possible for him to win this round, to convert this round. But Team Instinct, they were just so disciplined here. They didn't over peak an inch here. So that was a good thing. Indeed, the I think the most important part for uh, either side will be to play for those initiator utilities properly. And uh, I am seeing both sides for now. It's there's not much to see. It was just the uh, first few rounds that we've just seen, but I'm yet to see much from the chaos and breach. We do see the B main, uh, sorry, the A main taking a lot of breach activity from either end. Zvato Beta will be spotting out elite down below in the tunnels and he's gonna try to take that fight opm they'll join him sheriff comes out and misses a few shots and bother bit is gonna be like okay let's not let's not bite off more than i can chew here he sees a couple of players and maybe maybe it's not worth the risk but for now the a side under siege we are gonna see a couple of players trying to hold on to it and impetuous and levi they're gonna get a bunch of frags toxic summon does get trades but Jan Meister and Levi keep it going in their team's favor. The nades come in and now the push towards A has been demolished. They have control of the spike and OPM. The only player surviving. 50 HP barely. And a left. Sheriff. I don't think he's going to be able to do this. But yeah, they did eco up this round. A great esports. So they didn't really have the best of weaponry to begin with. So they are going to be looking to go for a force in the next three rounds. That should allow them to come up with some better weapons. Yeah, so now let's see. I hope this round goes to upgrade esports, but Team Instinct, they are just so good on the economy now. As they just won three rounds continuously, upgrade esports just risked all on the second round to force by. Now the Team Instinct have a really good economy. They can just use two vandals here. They can even go for a third vandal and they'll still have a buy in the next round. But they're just gonna go with two vandals, three specters, and they are just looking good. They have all the utils. They can just make gross, good crossfires and just deny them. This round is gonna be pretty hard for a pretty sports and pretty crucial to win. As we can see, they're just making the wave to like B main. They got all the control, they got info. Now they'll be early rotating. Now it's gonna be a difficult task for a pretty sports here as their early rotations have come. Yep. It is still gonna be a 5 5 situation as the spike is going down. T1 not doing anything to try and deny this. They do have the Brimstone Ultimate for the retake, so they are gonna be able to push out the players into open positions by ulting the site. As the flashes are gonna be coming in, OPM will be in a bit of pressure. Flash from the counter breach is gonna be coming in. Sting X will be going to do the entry. OPM not cleared. His impetuous is going to get a frag onto him. And the Brimstone Ultimate is going to come in. Jan Meister will get a frag. OPM trying to find something but only gets one as Jan Meister is going to trade him out. One 3v2 situation is the KO Ultimate is going to come in from Levi. He's going to be pushing in through main. Trying to stick Bathur but he, the players aren't taking down as Jan Meister gets a frag on to lead. It's a 1v1 situation and all, all Sting X has to do is buy time and he doesn't more than that as he's going to take down Levi. Getting both frags and trying to run away. Will he survive? He will. Saves the gun as well. First round for the side of Upgrade Esports. Yeah, look at this Razor's position here. She just got good, like good frags. Those frags are really important there. Look at this. All three. She just got two frags and they just, they were just so important here. She did her job and at the end, it was looking that Team Instinct will win, but yeah, Upgrade Sports manages to win that. That was a good hold there. Yeah, that they will. Now they have a bunch of ultimates to work with this round. I believe the Tode Force from Impetuous is active and just trying to get some long range frags out of that. We are going to see. Um, 
pushed from him and will be taken down. He pushed all the way from this and now with that opening, uh, OPM gets the first frag and he's gonna be trying to push into A. We still have the chamber holding there. Oh, Sting X almost caught with the gap of the smoke. The flashes are gonna be coming in and oh, Sting X trying to run away while the entry is gonna be happening on that A site. Can take the rope if he wants to. Impetuous has to TP away as the side take will be going down. Levi gets a frag on the Sting X 4v3 situation. And Elite will be TPing into Dish. So that's going to be interesting. He's still going to try and deny the entry for uh, the Breach coming in. As the Florida Force not finding the impact. Bazaar better getting the frag onto Shire. As Elite's the only one coming. He's got a player in front of him and a player behind him. Breach will be coming in and the spam from here on Meister takes him down. What a way to go as a 4 1 score line is going to be coming in, and that should cripple the economy for upgrading sports a little bit more, and that should push them to another eco. Yeah, like Team Instinct are just playing really well. As you can see, every time like upgrade esports are managing to get the initial frag, but after that, Team Instinct are just playing so well. They are just waiting for the retake, they are just using their utils so well that. Upgrade esports have no answer to that. They are just doing the perfect job here. Now, as you said, they are on eco and it's gonna be hard for them to win this round. Probably they'll just uh, try to win the next round with better guns here. Try and get as many frags as they can, try and do as much as damage as they can to their opponent's economy, get the spike down maybe. Sure, the force will be active for the chamber. Elite as He-Man in a very aggressive position. This is not a fade. This is not a chamber. He cannot get out of this. Uh, there's no free get out of jail card as we do see players outside the smoke counter. Smoke is going to be put up by the Brimstone. Yeah, my sir. And Humphrey Esports falling back. We are going to see KO Utility thrown through that. Does he want to go through is the question as the Nate comes in. The Breach stun as well. Good coordinated Utility. From the side of Team Instinct, but not really finding much. This is Impetuous, is the only player in the side of A. And if he can find a player, quick scope! We're gonna use the Headhunter, but Elite with a counter to a Force finds another impact. The Sting X is gonna be pushing towards CT. He hears the player, the flash comes in. Oh my the god. Fire from <laughs> Levi. Pixel perfect as the uh, plant is gonna go down. Breach you to try and slow things down, and a lot of pressure. Elite will be able to see PR. Pulls out the Tour de Force, but misses the first shot. Misses the second, but oh god, a second one as well. Close range on the Game Master. Takes down the Boom Bot. He's gonna pull out the Operator. Tries to land a flick, but T Man's gonna be TPing on the other side, and the stun comes in. Despite being stunned, he attempts to take the headshot, but misses. Valiant stun from Elite to try and keep that spike going, but it's a 5 1. But as there was a decent eco, they got three players, they got the spike down as well. So they should be more, uh, more than, uh, be more than able to afford rifles in the next one. Yeah, they should be able to get them now, and they have dealt some damage, some good damage on Team Instinct. I and I think they'll be coming back from this round on as they have a good buy here and. They should be coming back. It's the only way to win this game. They have to come back good here. And now they're just going for 5-man B-Rush. As we can see on the map. I don't know what they're planning to do. But it's looking dangerous. Yep, and... Oh, nice shot there from Vetuous with a quick trade from Toxic Summoners. They're going to be walking into the B-side. Breach ultimate coming in. So Brimstone ultimate coming in. The Orbital Strike will be pushing them out into open position. But still a 3 4 situation. Toxic Summit does he push in is the question. He doesn't. He's only going to put the flash in to slow things down. Breach ultimate and raise ultimate available. The, uh, these utilities will be really important for them to go for the retake. The question is, are they gonna go for it? Is the question. As you're gonna see the smokes coming in, Showstopper is gonna be out. And he man trying to look for the players. He should send it flying into the position of tower. He's will, but the trade happens that there's another player. Dr. Summit, he's gonna be trying to push in. So young Meister get, trying to get out of dodge while the, uh, the breach utility comes in to take him down. But he's not quick enough as Toxic Summit gets the frag. What a. It, and that was a messy situation. For either side, really, really, um, what am I going to say? It was messy. A lot of utilities, but UAS managed to uh, keep their momentum going and result in their second round, 
yeah they just uh, did a perfect job here to executing but yeah <laughs> that was a mess there and it was looking that team instinct can win this round uh, as we saw that race as well but uh, but these sports were just perfect and that now they are just gonna go for the dish control and they are just trying to take late aim in control which is a good thing to do here as they are not getting him in control much yep as the next round is going to be beginning we are going to see the retro coming oh in oh my and god <laughs> you love that it's just so that good will help him out and he gets the 4k onto opm as well by the way just steal the ace but i didn't think he man's going to be mad about that clip that was a really impressive 3k coming out from him then the follow-up on the fourth Great stuff immediately puts an end to the round with the six and two score line now established. That was a crazy PK. We have not seen this only once, bro. We have seen this in Bind, in Haven, every everywhere. He's just so good with these spray downs. In Bind, also, that Shards 3k when the opponents are just stack rushing at him, he's just so good on this. These. And we can see the new skin, it's looking good. <laughs> what do you say, Kirito? <laughs> yep, I mean, Rat always makes amazing skins. Um, and those certainly help out in a lot of scenarios. In case you won't be helped out, as he will be taking down Jump Peak from Levi to gather some information. We'll be sending that fragment to delay the entry. Oh, he's actually aggressive, he's pushing into main. I don't know what happened. Okay, there. better impressive shots. But will be taken down, will be traded by OPM results in a 2v3 situation. I think Levi pushing into CT there will be a little bit, um, causing a little bit of an issue for T uh, the side of Team Instinct. But the Orbital Strike does get the trade out. Boombot will be sent by He-Man, not really gathering much information. The one player in main, now they know where they are. But OPM goes for the double peak and catches He-Man while they're putting the nade out. Lands the headshot onto him through the wall. Six and three, and they're trying to make this a six and six. That's the best they can do right now. Uh, upgrade esports, but I'm not gonna lie, the utility is looking much cleaner and much more coordinated from the side of uh, Team Instinct. Yeah, they're just doing the perfect job here. And upgrade esports, they need to get plays a bit slow here because Team Instinct, they are just looking so good. They need to like dump their utilities make them dump their utilities but team instinct they are just not doing that playing fast is not gonna be a, an option against team instinct that as they are just perfect on their crossfires yep the entry will be coming in as the breach utility is gonna be stunning him and he's only got a story to work with as he will be taken down push from Jan Meister gets one gets two not the third is Dr. Summit trades three situations staying X and OPM he continuing as a flash comes out for Levi gets one but the trade from Sting X and that will be resulting in the six and four a couple away from equalizing in the esports yeah as you said utility dumping their way through the site they were just throwing everything they had into the site and there I mean there is just so much going on it was hard to even keep track and uh, I believe the side of team instant they could have gone with a much slower approach they could have tried to uh, yeah. go for the retake but they tried to deny the entry and uh, that did give them a bunch of frags but not enough not enough for them to win the round but i think that is what they're trying to establish now as they're going for the pause as they're going for um uh you know i believe it's a tactical pause they're going to talk to the teammates that okay we should have gone for the retake that is our strong point they have a bunch uh, they had a bunch of ultimates now it's all used up so they got to be more careful in the next few rounds yeah, I guess they'll be just talking here about that only what you talked about. Like we should have gone for the retake. Yeah, upgrade esports. Now if they do like a fast execute here, they can manage to get one round because uh, team instinct are low on the eco. Uh, but after that, I think they should like play a bit slow the last round. If they manage to get two more rounds on the board, it will be an equalizer and <laughs> we can have an OT or a third map. I'm really I really want to have the third map as these both teams are just doing a perfect job as we can see upgrade esports just adapted so well by doing this execute now they're just gonna play split let's see what happens here indeed they are looking to enter the side of a though as impetuous will be uh 
he, the zero point will be used on him to uh, suppress all his utility so he can TP away, has to back off. Security force active, the trap will be destroyed. Uh, on the drop area, the breach ultimate comes in. Close range up shot, Impetuous TPs into the ultimate. That will kill him as Levi gets a trade, but not enough as King X will be getting a follow up. This is going to result in a 4v2 situation and look at where OPM is. He's in a very, very good situation to get a bunch of multi frags as we are going to see Ecos in the hands of the players on drop on the ropes and they're going to be double peeking in and he doesn't even get one. That's going to result in a 3v2 situation and a 1v Vandal. Good utility from the raids will be pushing out Shiders as the trade trying to happen. He's going to send that Two stopper flying, Sting X taking down last player and drop the nade. Will he connect and elite jumping out? That as was... he man, what a clean retake. And that was a thrifty round if I ever saw one. By <laughs> Team Instinct getting 7 4. And that's going to establish that they are going to go into the lead regardless of the scoreline. 7 uh, seven 5 is the best the side of our great esports can do, which is still not bad. They can still recover in the defensive rounds. But. Man, they would have really wanted to get that six and six, especially after losing the first map. Yeah, they just they just did the perfect job. I said they should be playing fast in this round, and that's what they did. But Team Instinct, they are just a showstopper like that ult. That ult from He Man, they are just a showstopper here. Upgrade is. The entry is going to be happening for the last round in this first half. E man, Badri better than all trying to hold on to the side. A bunch of players in that main spam's coming in, not really connecting. Already, a bunch of utility used up. Because we are going to see, uh, we are going to see Dr. Summit pushing in towards the underside. We'll be trying to get into arcade. Arcade is smoked off for now, and only He man's holding it. And that is a tough position to hold that from. He is making some noise trying to do those jump peaks, so his position should be now. Four players. On that side and he's gonna be looking away at just the right time bothered waiter though the only one who has eyes now on that arcade oh he spotted a bunch of players he's been spotted as well as we're gonna see utilities coming in the breach stun will be there as well and he man oh he's gonna be stunned away the flash comes in shorty not even finding a single effect not finding a single shot as the flashes are gonna be there and looks like a retake coming in the young master does push through arcade he doesn't find any frags he's trying to get into arcade through rope but will be taken down by OPM as the retake is going to be coming in. A bunch of breach ultimates. I don't oh know what's God. happening. As Levi gets a fragment, <laughs> fragment trained by Toxic Summit. And we're going to be in a 2v3 situation. Possible 7 5 on the cards for the side of Avgiri Sports. Impetuous knows there's a player in that main. The flash comes in. Won't be finding him as OPM takes him down. But I believe he should be spotted by Shiders. Yes, he's going to be taken down. And 7 5 is the scoreline that Avgiri Sports are going to be getting. That's the best they could have done. And that's not the worst situation to be in right now, especially now on uh, defense. They should try and play for the retakes. They have a great retake comp using the breach and the KO to get into sight. Following up um, OPM, who is doing really good on the fragging end, he should be the uh, tip of the spear for the team. Yeah, they, they just <laughs> they did. A good job there. They just got that round. They just got fifth round on the board. Now it's it it can go close now. Now they have like a good chance here. Like it's better than the 8-4. And let's see what happens. They are just opening for A main and Riz is just marking for B push. I think they are just gonna go for a burst at B. And I guess he man is and OPM is just really confused now. He have four players in front of him. Will he be able to manage to get like at least one or two kills here yeah he should that will uh, put, uh, uh, give his team a lot of advantage moving on to the next one but OPM with the first fragment and Impetuous with a double pick from Bahadur Beta and his teammates will be allowing them to get one more Levi getting a bunch of extra frags elite pushing through the smoke not getting anything as Levi through the smoke I believe just down toxic summit and the nade from He-Man is gonna push him back even more 1v4 situation and Shider spotted out Levi triple kill for him 8-4 and, four. and uh, Team Instinct definitely needed that win definitely needed that pistol run to establish um, their lead it's now an 8-5 coming in possible 9-5 as they are going to be forcing up to the bonus weapons of Vandal for Levi if he's feeling it go for it 
but will be a really risky buy. If they lose out this round, they could have they can lose a very expensive weapon, and um, hopefully upgrade esports if they can get their hands on a couple of uh, specters early on. That will definitely give them an advantage in the next rounds. As we are gonna see um, KO zero point coming in. And the aggression from the side of uh, Gritty Sports as Levi, he's holding a really nice angle over here, gets one headshot, he can try and get a multi-frag over here, he's surrounded from all sides, but he gets a couple of frags and it's the Vandal that's lost. But again, they did lose about a couple of players, so advantage is still very much in the side of uh, P1. Yeah, this, they just got the B side here. They just got the B side. They managed to get that Vandal and I think they should be going on for the economy damage here. But let's see what happens. They're just playing on Hero Vandal for the retake here. And they're just making their way to the B main. And Bahadur Beta will try his best to just delay them. But he, that nade is on his mouth and he cannot do anything there. Now they're just playing three guys at Tars. Look at this. Look at this setup. Like, it's just impossible to break. If you even manage to kill one, you'll not expect like two more on the Tars. But this position from Brim is just so good, he just get all of them. That's just a great example of a good positioning. Look at the replay. How well he placed himself. And he manages to get the 3k there. Now they're just looking good here. And T1, I guess they'll be going for the 10th round here as you can see they are just doing the perfect job here and upgrade esports let's see what they got in the pocket for this round they are playing 3b here t1 is team instinct is just opening at b they are just entering blindly and that's a shutdown there now they're just making the way back and they'll just try to get one or two kills because without getting any kill any execution would be waste as they can just retake 5v2 now Brimstone is gonna make his way to A he spotted him will he be able to kill look at this look at this bomb okay Allied just denies that he just spotted him now cannot do anything yeah, he is in a good situation by the way he does get a couple of frags but he will be denied the 9 and 6 score line now established not the other way around but uh, still a pretty big lead by uh, team instinct they will uh, I think have enough economy to go for another buy and with that uh, Side of, uh, I think the most important thing for the side of the upgrade esports right now is their momentum, trying to re-establish um, try re that lead by getting some confidence, getting some momentum in their utility, and keep it going from that end. They should not really stagger. They should try and keep forcing their way through if they do find these utilities effective on the retakes. Or, or even these aggressive plays uh, from he man that will definitely oh my god a <laughs> clash headshot this guy is an absolute mad lad he's gonna say in the boom but i don't know where the boom was going but uh sting is pushing to try and get a vandal in his hand he's gonna be using some utility the try and slow down the push but here comes the counter breach as he will be taking him down he man is just popping off right now Dr. Summit does have a judge in his hand he can cancel out a bunch of players he's gonna push through oh the body uh there's what, there's a player there <laughs> He's gonna be running into him and finally takes him down. What an impressive play from the side of uh, Team Instinct. They did lose a couple of players, but still, they got the spike down. They got the round as well, so that's gonna give them a lot of advantage. Look at this He-Man. As we see, this man is an absolute legend. I wanna say that word. I wanna say that word. You wanna hear that word. He's jawed. He's just playing insane here. He just got those entries. He's just playing like short bro here. Like he's just doing a great job. Yeah, keep in mind the breach utility was great as well. So uh, 
Uh, yeah. That's what I said. Uh, the set team is saying they're playing their utilities a lot more effectively and efficiently compared to our esports. Not that our esports aren't doing that. They're flashing for the teammates. They're using the uh, KO flashes for the teammates as well. All that is happening, but it's uh, not really getting them fragments. We're getting them rounds uh, like, the side, uh, like the side of Team Instinct as their utilities are getting much more done from their end. Yeah, they're like, absolutely, the breach utils are really good there. But the second kill from He Man, he just manages to get the first kill on race. But the second kill. What was that? Like, he just dodged that flash so well, and like, I don't know, he's just so well with them. Indeed. And I uh, definitely want to see more of that from there. And, um, because it's, 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 those are the kind of utilities that sort of allow you to get into a site so effectively. As I said this before in a bunch of matches, if you aren't able to take the 1v1 fights, uh, if you're feeling like you're not hitting your aim well, you're not hitting your shots well, uh, that's fine. You just have to depend on your teammates. You need to depend on your uh, players with utilities that, that can stun for you, that can flash for you, that can make that fight easier for you. Even go for something as simple as uh, double peaks that will allow you to get a bunch of frags quite easily. But um, yeah, I believe there has been an issue. Going into yeah, toxic summit is AFK. Yeah, he, I think he disconnected. He's gonna try and reconnect as soon as possible, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being patient. But um, yeah, toxic seven. He, speaking of him, he is uh, getting the job done with the KO. But from either end, I'm seeing more impact on the breach than the KO. And again, KO, uh, the only really like flashy impact you're gonna see is his um, is are his flashes that he's gonna be using to those one v one duels get those fights in or uh get the re-entry done into the site if he's uh, on for the retakes but uh, other than that the only other thing that Kyo really does is gather the information for his teammates and uh from an observing standpoint that might not seem like much he might be seeing like okay the Kyo is not really doing much but he's providing that info for his team he's gathering uh all that information and giving it to his team so that they can pr properly plan the re uh, the site retake or the site take and he's also using those um utilities on utility dependent agents like chamber he's uh, like uh, you see situations where um where impetuous on his defensive half could not tp away and was caught red-handed because of the uh, ko zero point he wasn't able to use his uh, trademark he wasn't able to use his uh, rendezvous and he had to sort of take a fight in a very unprepared situation. So stuff like that definitely allows the KO to be very effective, although it might not always seem like that, but at least in this match, I'm seeing some pretty decent utility from Levi and Toxic Summit as well. And they're taking the fights as well. Levi is 16-11, and uh, Toxic Summit has got 11 frags on them as well. So not only are they uh, providing the utility, they're providing the firepower as well. Yeah, they're just doing like insane on the utility part actually i have to say team instinct are just doing a lot great job here like upgrade esports i don't know what happened to them they are just looking a bit confused here they are just i guess they are just panicking here as like i don't know what happened and toxic summit i guess he'll be reconnected in some while <laughs> maybe that play the chamber that was hiding in the smoke maybe he up upset him but i don't know what happened let's see like and when they come like they're not gonna be a good eco right so team instinct i think they'll manage to get the 11th round on the board pretty easily and and toxic summit is back here i guess he just came back and now they'll just try to like get this round like or at least deal some good damage here but they have to go for the next round like they have to go for like a good buy in the next round because that's very crucial if they don't come back here th there's no way out here like team instinct they're just gonna win this if the next round is bad for like upgrade esports and here we can see toxic summit he's back bad but but his ping is not ba back like i don't know what happened to his internet i guess he's facing some net issues but the round has started 
realizing hopefully really soon but the re-entry is going to be happening as well He-Man getting a couple of frags he will be taking down Toxic Summit as well as He-Man oh my god lineup. <laughs> Elite and Sting X weren't prepared for that as He-Man pushing in oh Shyness does get a clean headshot can try and pick up a vandal but Levi is up close the flash comes in and he's completely blind what is that oh, okay Schneider. 5 HP though can he get it done has a some utility to work with the molly and the smokes will be really effective right now if he can manage to get this to a 1v1 situation has the orbital strike if he wants to go for it Ooh, i'm even scared of fall damage now the spam comes in they know he's low in hp they just want to get one bullet on him as he's going to be opening the door to try and go into main that does give information to the side of uh, team instinct as they're going to moving into the site while they're better holding the angle and one shot in, in, in it's in the head as well shy has taken down really really expensive for the side of team instinct but they do have enough money to go for buys in the next one so already sports with all that damage into the economy they can afford some rifles but they need to make these rifles count they need to win rounds man yeah this round is very crucial for upgrade esports and let's see what are they planning to do here i think they are just planning to take some map control as Riz and Kyo are going on the other way and they are just going to take an aim in control first time from them i'm looking a good split a good map control thing from them their side yep that will allow them to get a couple of tracks doctor summit does take down levi does take down he-man and already becoming a very very expensive round timing elite he's caught red-handed as he's trying to place down the dps impetuous will be taking him down can messages with him as well they can try and do the b entry as i believe every sports are looking for a retake scenario in this b b site it's talk to summit he's gonna be holding that main position and rather better takes him down stings let's get a trade though does get some advantage in his team's favor that's gonna result in a 2v1 and impetuous Oh, he's going to be pushing through the smoke. There's only one player on the other side. If he wins this fight against Shatters, a really huge. But here comes the breach utility and the Brimstone ultimate. But it's a 2v2 situation. And Impetuous is going to be pushing outside the smoke. The rain satchels. Oh my god, what am I looking at? They're all flying. It's raining, man. As OPM gets a fight on Impetuous. But the spike, it's not planted. It's not planted. You, they used up the ultimate. And he's now running towards the side of A. But I believe Sting X has... An idea of that as well and he's gonna be right in that smoke can he catch a timing the stim will be fastening up the flash comes in 19 seconds remaining as the stun is gonna be coming he's gonna be using the ultimate will get a frag onto sting x just by enough time for him to try and go for the plan 70 hp on him opm's low as well and he knows exactly where he is trying to go for the headshot doesn't even matter those are really valiant to him from me and Meister, but it will be an 11 and 7 score line as UES are gonna get one more. Yeah, that was really nice try there. Like he used his ult so perfectly, got the breach, and after that, Trees he almost caught him because he was at 30 HP, but OPM's position was better there as he was in the off angle and he manages to get that brim. But yeah, that was a really, really good try there. And from the team instinct, I guess they are playing good. It's just Elite is just so good on his aim today. Like he's just he's just being a showstopper there with his aim, with his off. He's just doing the perfect job there. Yep, and uh, they are buying a few rounds here and there, but I don't think it will be long until the side of that uh, team instinct are denied of that uh, match point and possibly that win as well. They are in a situation to try and. Um, Equalize though upgrade esports as we are seeing the retake is looking clean the read on the map is also looking good but um this is the fracking isn't being capable uh instead of having that one player that's always effective they're having uh the side of a team instinct they're having multiple players that are able to get frags in multiple times so that's going to make things a lot more easy on the team as they're going to be playing a lot more cohesively as Toxic Levi is going to be using his ultimate taken down immediately as the Animeister gets a frag but Shyness with a trade 
and he's gonna have this control of the spike as E-Man. Now he's in the side, but he doesn't have his teammates to work with. He's got his showstopper activated. He can fire it if he wants to, but that won't connect. But does bring low HP onto the player who's holding on there. The nade is gonna push him back even further. Shiners trying to connect the shot. OPM takes down Levi. But Impetuous, nice headshot, and he's gonna get the spike, E-Man. Try and get the plan down. Is Impetuous, 18 HP, he's holding on. Trying to de de delay the retake. Look at this chamber and chamber off. Yeah, the Tour de Force is facing off. We have a player in main. I believe they should be wary of that, but it's gonna be Elite taking the fight and Shiders wins one as well. 1v2 situation, but they're both so low on HP. Shiders one shot away, and now it's on to Bahadur, but he doesn't have utility though. He hears him and lands the headshot. What a play from him. Triple kill for Bahadur, but then that brings match point to Team Instinct. 12 and 7, one away from winning the third place position. Yeah. That was just insane. Like they got the twelfth round, and now I don't think there's a way from Upgrade Esports as top six. Sumit have again disconnected here, and that was also funny to see the chamber versus chamber off. Where that was <laughs> a real mess there, as they both were waiting for each other. And here the two kills from Breach, Bahadur Beta, they are just doing a perfect job here. Look and at this cricket board. Yeah, a lot of utility as we are gonna see on the play. I think, um, yeah, Toxism is having some trouble with his connection as we are gonna see the entry coming in. Elite, a good blind, but the spam, and there's only so many fights you can win. Toxism and his teammates, they're trying to get more done, and they do get stuff done. Sting X will be taken down in the meantime, but 12 and 8, that does deny them the victory. And trying to create more windows of opportunity for T1 to try and sorry, they said uh, upgrade esports to try and equalize. Yeah, Toxic Summit is back with his internet. I guess he was having some issues with his Wi Fi and he was playing on his cellular network in between. I guess that's the case here. And now Team Instinct is on low eco and upgrade esports got a good chance here to come back. And nice shot from Toxic Summit as he takes on him and the stun comes in. The stun both players, the fragment is gonna be shot out, and that will be enough to keep them alive in this situation for now. And that's gonna bring Yanmeister in a low HP situation as well. He's gonna be trying to TP away. And Badr better does get one onto OPM for the first situation. Despite being on half buys, they are getting a lot done. As oh impressive. Gets one more headshot. This guy is so good with the chamber utility. And the B side is completely open for them. There is a player. Uh Shider's trying to hold on from Jenny. And he has his teammate as well. But the A side is now empty. And I believe Elite realizes that as the spike plan should go down soon. As the KO is making his way there. Levi coming in through main. The Molly is a bit early. As the chamber utility will be detecting the positions of the player breach stun as well coming in this is so good utility from their end but the brimstone ultimate will be used up that denies the spike plan with 30 seconds remaining the spike plan is still going down elite will be taking some damage trying to look for the player in the side of dish he gets one gets a second as well levi and the end master taken down and the spike will be destroyed not destroyed will be denied plan <laughs> that was a nice shake here by the Yep, utility was great. That the uh, it was the uh, Brimstone Ultimate that really changed the tide of the scenario. I agree. That really created a lot of space for Elite here, and Elite here was really good on that confident play. He just went like a Spider Man. He just climbed up, killed the Emin guy, killed the Dish guy, and he just was so confident in that play. And on the other, on the hand, Brimstone's ult was just perfect. It created space for him. There was a breach util also on Elite, but he just dodged it. So good. Yeah. Yeah, we see a bunch of ultimates coming in as he finds the opener on the Sting X, Levi as well. And the entry into the side will be done quite easily after that. Shiders, not sure there's much he can do as the raid ultimate coming in. Shows up for through that fragment. He's just walking, he doesn't care. Sends it flying. No, Shiders gets the shot onto him. And rather with a trade, it's all onto Elite. The breach ultimate comes in. Oh, this poor guy. There's nothing he can do as a 13 and 9 scholar is going to be coming in. And it's going to be Team Instinct taking the third place position.
position, winning out the best of three. And that's going to give his team the prestigious position of being third in the tournament. And whew, that was a that was hectic. That looked very one-sided, but I could say the pressure was on for both sides. They were both using their utilities. They were both playing really effectively. And it is going to be coming up for uh, He-Man as he's going to be the top scorer. Uh, Yen Meister right behind him. And that's the thing. I think T the side of a Team Instinct, TI, they're looking a lot more... Um, like they're they're looking a lot more clean on their aim, and that allowed everybody to get frags and everybody to get the impact they needed whenever they needed to. Yeah, they were just really good. And one thing I would like to say about him, man, you want to hear it? I want to say it, and that's the word jawed. Like he was just insane, and his team, Bahadur Beta. Yen Meester, Levy, as I say, Levy is a great player. Like, he's just so good on individual plays. He's just, he's just insane. And if we talk about Impetuous, he didn't get much kills, but his aim was on point. His impact frags were really good. On the other hand, Upgrade Esports really tried well. Toxic Summit was, was facing some internet issues. But still, when he came back, he just got a 3k there and he he was just trying his best there and upgrade sports really tried their best here and that was a really good match first map we went to 11 12 second match we went to 39 and the winners are team instinct here but both teams deserve a respects and they just played really well here yep and this is the kind of game that you really want to using Zalan to its full potential, playing like playing the utilities properly, playing uh, the gunfights properly. And that's th these are the things that make the team really good. Uh, the, these are the things that make the teams uh, participate so well in the top tier tournaments. And uh, that will be what we're looking forward in the grand finals um, a lot more because having those clean utilities that help out your team, having those pieces of uh, um, entries being done by your um, by your players like he man did like he had the support from the breach as well stuff like that is going to be crucial for the follow-up games for the finals and for the other teams as well that is something you have to establish to make sure your teammates know their roles and make sure they perform their roles properly as we did see the breach doing the utilities um using these utilities for the entry so effectively doing uh, essentially what a initiator does and he we saw the uh the KOs as well, using the utilities really well. Brimstone utilities were good as well. So everybody knew their roles from the side of Team in Instinct and they were per performing those roles really effectively. And that is the kind of gameplay that really, really makes me excited for, you know, playing Valorant and watching Valorant. So hopefully we're going to see that in the Grand Finals as well. That we have coming up, it is going to be the Monks taking on Vixen Gaming and we're going to start in a short while. So make sure, ladies and gentlemen, are, that you are going to be staying tuned for that matchup, because we're all excited. This is how it all ends between these two teams, and um, hopefully it's going to be a fun and exciting one. I hope you're ready for it, and I hope my uh, Goga Stray KG is ready for it as well. Yeah, I'm just ready for the finals. I'm just waiting for the finals from, like, yesterday. Like, it's just going to be amazing. Like, Vixen Rising, they are just so good with it, with their team plays, their setups, their, like executions and on the other hand team monks they are just insane on their aim their individual plays and it's gonna be a great match to watch and i'm quickly gonna show you the map selection we gonna have best of five in the finals and the first map is gonna be bind second map is gonna be breeze bind is vixen rising's pick breeze is the monks pick and the third map is gonna be Ascent, which is gonna be Haven. We all love Haven. And the fifth map, it's gonna be Icebox. It's my personal map. And uh, my personal favorite map. Kirito, what's your favorite map here? It's, it's a close one between Ascent and Bind. They're both really aim based, and you can also use the utilities there uh, in an interesting way. They're, they're kind of they're very simple maps, although. Sometimes, like uh, for Ascent, the doors that you can switch on and off, they make things very interesting. The teleporters for Bind makes things really interesting. So, yeah, you have that little spice on top of the simple uh, map design and uh, add it on to it. So, stuff like that will make uh, the, the games really interesting. And good combination of both utilities and gunfights is going to be 
what really makes me happy to play on the map. So you, even in a lot of scenarios, Icebox and Haven, they also do the same thing. But um, yeah, it is going to be, I think, bind for me. Yeah, so it's going to be a good game here. Like we are just all waiting for the finals and now we are getting the finals. And I hope you guys are excited for it as we are. And we'll take a quick break and we'll just be right back for the finals. And don't go anywhere because final is going to be a great match here. We have all waited for it and it's going to be worth for the wait. So see you guys be here and we'll be right back
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Claxon Valorant Series 1 tournament. We are back and we are back possibly for the last time because we are going to be going into the Grand Finals. It's a big, it's a big match. It's going to be really interesting to see and uh, it is a best of five. So we're going to be in for the long run. It's going to be a long, long matchup. It is between Vixen Rising and Team Mongs and here are the map selection. The first map being Bind. Then we have Breeze, Ascent, Haven, then Icebox. So uh, a nice combination of maps. We are, we're going to have a lot of utility-based maps. Then we're going to have aim-based maps. It's gonna, we're going to be switching to all of them uh, simultaneously after each and every round. So yeah, it is the best of five. So the first team to get three rounds is going to be the victor. So uh, again, as unpredictable as the tournament has been lately, AKJ, I can't really say if are we we're gonna find a clean three zero or are we gonna see like some um, a three one or a three two or it's uh, I don't know if it's gonna be close or if it's gonna be very one sided is the question. Yeah, bro, because uh, both the teams are looking good here. Vixen Rising is good on the team play. On the other hand, Team Mongs are just very good on the individual aim, individual game thing. And my predictions are it's gonna go at least. Uh, four maps for today that's my prediction let's see which team wins for one but for uh two or like three two but yeah. my predictions are like they're at least we are seeing uh, watching the haven like that's my predictions and i don't know which team is gonna win but we are at least going to haven that's what my predictions are yeah but for now we are gonna be going into bind as they do is underway and uh, we are gonna see both sides going for I believe uh, the double duelist lineup and uh, yeah we are gonna see the Jets and the Rays coming in uh, for the side of Team Mong we are gonna see Miser going for the Jet um, Lavester is gonna be going for the Rays INF is going for the Sky Fake IGN going for the Chamber and um, a bunch of L's I don't know how to say his name but I think he is a substitute for uh, the side of um, what is that team on? So he's going to be going for the Brimstone as well. Meanwhile, for Vixen Sticks, is going to be in the Astra. Bomb Boy on the Jet. Shang is going to be on the Viper. Exo is going to be on the Rays and the Sova being played by Zigme. So nice to see a Viper and an Astra coming in. So that's a double controller combination. They aren't going for any Sentinels. So especially on defense and especially flank watching on attack will be interesting from the side of Vixen. But Let's see what they have in plan. Obviously, this is a really interesting agent selection and they probably have a, a game plan involving this. So let's see what they're going to be coming up with. Yeah, that's a good draft from both of the teams. As we can see, they're playing double duelist here with Jet and Race. I think they're taking this final seriously and they are just trying to be unpredictable for the opponents. And as you can see, the game is starting here. They're open. Defenders are just taking B long control. They're opening 3B. Attackers are just trying to take the Shards control here with the Soa. And that's a crazy shot. That's a good shot from Mizen. Yeah, XO is going to be getting trades on to Mizen as he's walking into the side that Brimstone Molly is going to come in. The L, uh, L, I don't know again, Brimstone. He's going to get a bunch of frags <laughs> as, as he takes on XO, resulting in a 3v2 situation shang low hp go through the peak onto inf and he's gonna be taking him down uh it's all on to the sova zigmate he's got a sheriff so he can try and get some ev frags in couple of shots is all it takes make ign headshot it no there's another oh my god inf gets deleted he's got the spike now and l is gonna be in so low of an hp only one shot is all it takes but he's making a lot of noise as he clear the ct oh he's got his eyes on him and the dinks are gonna come in he doesn't clear out the angle why is it made why that could have been why so he could he could have gone to yeah. b after the two shots like i don't know why will he do that he, he, look at look at these uh, this guys like let me explain you some it's something like what happened to be that's fine that's fine as it's this no he he's so just crazy. he's just giving no, no, a lot fine. of it's info fine. It's, no. fine. it's fine it's fine it's fine it's completely i fine. agree i agree the angle that's all no 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 that's 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 what i'm talking about like the yeah. spike is there they know the spike is there he killed the b push guy that's simple that b is clear because the guy f that pushed b they're just they left B. That's like pretty obvious. Why will he not check angles and why will he not go B? That's the thing. After getting those That's two shots. Fine. 
it's fine he went to ace just like he finished there at the end that's all that could have changed the round but now as they are going to be pushing into the inside the through the viper's utility and the uh, esther is just going to be greeted by a firing squad as he will be taken down he will be traded though it's still a 4v4 situation numbers are equal and now the players are caught between a rock and a hard place they're stuck with eco weapons only one Spectre available to his teammates and the Trailblazer is going to be coming in. Exo is going to be trying to hold them back. But the spike is definitely not going to be planted anytime soon. We do see this uh, Sova trying to push in towards the side of a B. That being Zigmate. But INF, what can he do? Does he push through the wall? Is the question too. A flash comes in. Now the all position is given away. And he's going to get the frag onto Exo. A follow up onto Shang as fake IGN takes on Zigmate. Bong boy though, two with the Sheriff. But INF comes in with the trade, triple kill for him, a double, uh, two zero double round for the side of uh, Team Mong, and that, I mean that was expected. They had the better weapons in the second round. That was their bonus being played. They did lose a bunch of players, but still, that's gonna give enough for Vixen to go for their buy rounds. All rifles in their hands. Yeah, this look. Uh, this round was literal clean. Those three frags for INF, they were great, and the aim was perfect there. And now I think they are just gonna go for like a B long control. Astra and Viper are just standing outside of A. Maybe they are planning to do like a late round A execute. Let's see what happens here. They are going for the B long control. And defenders are playing 3 at B. Will you find this shot? He is struggling and I think, I mean, that is a difficult shot to land. But still, Vixen are taking their sweet time to try and get into the side. They are giving a lot of time for the rotations to come in and for the side of the Team Monk to set up for the retake. No one's really pushing Hookah, no one's really challenging the um, shorty that um, the Brimstone has. As he will be staying pretty, but now as we see three players gathering, he might be good for one. Sticks might be the first one to fall, but I'm sure Exo is going to trade him out as they are going for the peak. And so it's going to be Exo landing a clean headshot onto L. And that's going to take him, take him down as the recons are going to be coming in fake IG. Oh, okay, Zigmate, that was a shot in the half. First one from INF, but not the second as Zigmate's going to trade him out. 2v4 situation. Esther through the TP only with the classic as he is going to be pushing through all the poison mollies and everything. Six will be taking care of him. Miser and taking down as well. Clean side take from the side of B1, not losing a bunch of players, and that's going to be a good, good buy round from there. And um, the opponents, though, Team Monk will be able to afford their own rifle. That's going to make this a gun round, and it's going to make this even more interesting. Yeah, now it's around like Team Monks need to win this round, or like they'll be forced off to an eco or a fast force by like half by here, and now. Team Vixen Rising, they are also looking great. They are just trying to take Belong and Hookah control again here. And as a, that's the Viper's default wall on A. If they are executing or not executing at A, like that wall is still there. Like it's a default. And now they are just looking their way to the Belong. They are trying to take some control. They are just walking. They are not making the presence here. And they also have the Hookah control right now. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, uh, Byrons are always something to look forward to, especially after losing the last round, I believe Team Mong will be trying to make an impact and trying to extend their lead. But uh, the rotations are coming in. They are going back to the side of A as Shang. He's in a very interesting position. Uh, will it be difficult to push to though as Miser and Sticks is on the other end of that barrel? And the question is, does he peak this? Is Miser going to hit this shot or not as the entry is more likely to happen on the side of A. 40 seconds remaining, so they have to commit to this. They can take the TP to B if they want to. But here comes the peak from Sticks. The operator will be taking him down. And he's trying to look for a follow-up, but no one's there. And now this A push is going to be really difficult, especially considering that uh, they, they don't have showers control. They don't have an entry. If we can see the Jet getting a frag onto the side of B, um, if Bong Boy can find an opening, this will be definitely effective, but Esther does get a bunch of frags, does get a couple, and in the end, the Brimstone coming in clutch as well to deny the entry. It all came down to sticks, not winning that fight in showers. That's going to make the side entry so much more difficult for the side of Vixen, and they had to be forced to a rotation while the players were ready. Esther was ready for that push, L was ready for that push as well, and they were able to deny the entry easily. 
Yeah, that was a great hold by and that were really that were really nice kills by Alavester. I don't know what his real name is, but it's a lot name I love Esther. That position was really good from him. He was just so patient with that position. And now they're just playing 3B and 2A. Attackers are just making their way to A shot. Are they planning an execution? Let's see. I think they're planning an execution to like just get some kills and build the economy and yeah this is an eco though for their and blade storms for bong boy is the only really effective utility and fake ig is gonna take care of that as they're gonna try and enter into the side oh exo though guess one with the uh frenzy for your situation as fake ig and pushes in again to get a second frag in the round for his end 3v4 situation as the brainstorm comes in shock drives are gonna sent flying by zigmate not really connecting he has pushed into you all he has pushed in and I believe the side of Mong should be aware of his positioning as Shag is also going to be in that showers when Mizen with the operator cancels him out and now they should be aware of his uh, Zigmate's positioning and Zigmate nice headshot onto Esther but his position is now revealed 1v3 situation the op not connecting it will be half HP for him but L to finish things off Zigmate under pressure not really able to do much yeah, that was a clean round. That was a clean round from the Mongs. And so two picks were enough. Like they tried to dis uh, like destroy the economy or like at least like give some damage. They managed to get two kills. That were nice. Now let's see what in this round happens. This round is very important to Vixen Rising as they don't have much economy left. They have to win this round to get pulled on the economy. Now they are just opening 4B this round. I think they are just planning an execution. Yep, they are gonna have all rifles on their end, so they are definitely gonna be looking for aggressive pushes. Good Astra and Ray's combination does do a lot of damage okay. on the Astra, but he's just standing there. What an absolute chat. He's just gonna stand there and get a shot in. INF as well doing work in that belong position. Astra finally falling back. Great Satchel to try and do some additional damage. The sky will be healing him up to a full 100 HP. Send some more sessions flying, but nice headshot from Six to counter that. But it's again a two v four situation. Uh, a side is still held uh, very strongly by the side of Team Wong. Swake so IG and on top of the showers entrance will be watching both avenues. This rotation towards B side comes in. They have fallen back. Uh, it is going to be Stakes and Shang trying to get into the side of B. I thought they were going to rotate to A, but for now they're going to be re aggressing. They do hear some noise from the Brimstone, but INF. He's been so clean on these long range fights and he's gonna be key maintaining that cleanliness as he's gonna get a double kill on the sticks and shang what a couple of shots from this man he's gonna bring it to a five and one this will um damage the economy of vixen more as they're gonna be pushed to another eco half by possibly as we are gonna see a few specters yeah this round uh, they just will be trying to give some damage to the opponent's economy they are here with the specters and now they just like you can see the monks are just doing the perfect job here like that race that position that position from esther that was just perfect he's just positioning himself so well and now they're just looking their way at a shot and defenders are just trying to get the shards info they know that double controller they are just getting the u horse control so they just need to get the shards control but Sky went back, took the U Hulls control. Now she know they are just back. They have the U Hulls control. Chamber have his uh, TP. He's just safe out there. And look at this position. Look at this push. Esther have all the info. She have all the info here. Like all the info. Now they're just playing 3A. It's gonna be a bloodbath if they execute here. Yeah, they do have a bunch of utilities if they want to use the execute. They're just gonna be walking through the Viper's wall, and that's gonna give. A lot of trouble for the sky there as INF trying to run away. Hunter Spirit comes in and now the entry into the side is happening. Bong Boy gets a follow up on the fake IG and already good enough E4 is the Viper Ultimate is going to be used up. Sticks takes down L as well, who was really aggressive. The Nate comes in to try and deny the spike plan. Spam comes in to Esther. Okay. And the Nate finds a couple of frags. Low HP on EXO is going to take down Miser. Oh! This is a winnable situation now. If he nades and damages Zigmate, who's in the drone? He's so low. They're both so low. AKG is going to be using the ultimate as well. He can try and find an ult. Frag, he does. But Zigmate runs and 
guns enough to get a few shots in and that's all it takes. Exo stays alive for the team. Five and two as Vexen get their second round in this matchup. Five and two still in favor of Team Mongo as there's only a three round lead. It was a real nice try. Like it was almost a 1v5. Like that was a real nice try there. Like almost like the trade was 1 HP, but they played really like patiently there. So like es Esther had no counter on them, but she was so good. Like he was so good on like the individual plays here. Look at this positioning. He's just gonna get this race. He's been so good in this position and then Nate is gonna push back extra to quite a some extent. I believe he's heard the noise as well, but instead he's gonna go for some wall bangs, not really aggressing too much, trying to hold on to this. Mizan again with that operator holding on Charles Esther gets one onto Exo Shang taken down as well from fake IGN who activated his Torre Force. And I believe this B side is now strong under hold. Bongbert is gonna try to try an F, but L is trying to get some trades as Esther comes in, gets one, and it's all on to Bongbert trying to hold on to this some utility coming in from the Astro to try and support Bongboy, who's gonna get one to Esther, but through the smoke, L takes down the spike and it's all on the sticks. He is in a 1v1 though for now because there's only one player in the B side and I built... Wait, does L not know he has a spike? He should know now. He has vision on the spike. So that we aren't... We should see a rotation coming from the other players. As Sticks will be taking down L. But it's a 1v2 as the rotations are coming in. He's going to be able to plan the spike hopefully but only for so long as the rotations are coming in. And they're after to get him. Yeah, he's... he's inside. Yeah, you can get the spike down. That should be enough money. And smart play from the side of um, Team Mong as well. They're going to be holding their positions and finally figuring out, letting him plan, having a clear objective in mind instead of just roaming around the map trying to find sticks. You're going to be hold, holding on and knowing who it's set to push the goal. Look at this. Take IT and patience phase off as he's going to spot sticks and the round in their favor. 5 2 is going to be a 6 2 now. As we are gonna see the diffuse coming in for fake IGN. And you can also see fake IGN is using a degraded uh, like singularity here, not upgraded. I also like that skin like that. Like <laughs> that looks good. Singularity. And yeah, this was like nice try from Astra. Like uh, he just played it perfectly. He just placed two smokes and he just got the plant. It's just he got timings like and like the monks they just played it so patiently so perfectly and now they're again doing the three a setup timber is gonna op he's gonna op aggressively and at b they are just gonna take some info some biagro yep, aggressive push from the side of hookah stakes going for the jump peak spots out one player at least as Mizern will be pushing in to take care of shang inf esther they're all just getting the frags and they're all going to be trying deleting side pushes. They have the spike control as well. That's it, mate. He's the only one alive. We'll get a trade onto EXO and takes on Miser. And he's going to pick up a Vandal to try and move the 1v5. As L just pushes in white swing, runs into the and takes him down. 7 and 2. And a good lead from the side of um, from the side of Team Monk. Yeah, they are just doing the perfect job. They are just taking map control. They know they are on eco. So we can just push. We can just try to get those kills that eco frags. And they are just not giving them any chance. They are just playing perfect. When they need to play slow, they play slow. When they need to retake, they retake. When they need to deny their pushes, they are just doing that. And Vixen Rising, I think they need to like get some map control here. Like They are lacking the B map control here. If they do that, it would be better for them here. Oh, the cosmic divide from his teammate does get EXO, but regardless, the side entry is going to be happening as the Astro Ultimate will be providing them cover to walk into the side. Trailblazers are going to come in for the retake as well. As INF is going to be pushing in the Seekers, he's going to try and gather as much as info as he can, but Bong Boy pushes in, takes care of INF, exercises the showstopper flying, gets a double kill. L and Astro will be taken down, fake IGN trades with the op, but he's in a 1v4 situation with an operator, not a situation you want to be in, as they're all hunting for him, he's trying to run away, he's trying to get out of dodge, does this spot Bong Boy though, he's right on top, see they're going to bear lands a shot onto him, low HP on Shang as well, but the ding comes in, he was in the 
off angle as Zigmate will be trying to make sure that his opponent is truly dead. Sending some extra bullets flying his way. But it's going to be a 7-3 scoreline. Still a pretty, pretty dominant lead from the South Team Mong. And V1, they are trading quite a far bit behind. Yeah, the trades are very good. They are just being perfectly disciplined. And from the team of Fiction Rising, I think they are just going for like lucky executes. If the defenders are playing two on side, they'll get the side. Otherwise, they are just going very fast. I think they should play a bit slow and for the hooker control. The hooker control plays a very important part here. And here comes the boombot fight. Esther is trying to deny the hooker. But the god hooker, that's what I'm talking about. Hookers control is very important if you get the hookah control it's like an amazing thing to do on bind like you can get so much info of b and still if you are at a you can get like a lot of info of a also so now they also have the elon control what are they planning to do here yep but still this is one situation 4v5 situation as fake IGN will be equalizing, he's going to be using his um, rendezvous as well to try and get out of position. But he's still holding the angle, he's still holding long. Big prediction on his end to know that there could be more players there. But the Astro Utility comes in, smokes are going to be disrupting fake IGN. He's holding still a very tight angle and yet gets a frag. L gets one as well. Through the corner of the smoke, fake IGN will be pushed up, sticks up close. But the trade is going to come down and an operator will be picked up. The Brimstone coming in clutch, an 8 and 3 score line. The best that the side of Team Mong can do, sorry, the side of Vixen can do now is an 8 and 4. But the economy is so broken, they're gonna have to go for half buys. This is not a good situation for them. I think Vixen Rising really needs to work on their smokes. But if if this was a stun, uh, Kirito, if this was a concuss or a pull, that would have saved them from that chamber. But it that smoke that have that gap, they didn't even check it. That was the weak thing they should have used at least some utils there so yeah they should work on their smokes there that smoke really cost them two two players Grimson mm. ultimate used up a bit early in my opinion but Mindrun is going to be pushing through that as sticks will be taken down are they aware of his positioning on the flank though is my question they that's perfect position but it's really used up right there oh the, the viper wall will be covering him but Mindrun headphones he doesn't hear they don't clear, they don't clear Zigmate, but Zigmate will only get one, he does get traded by Esther, as Bongboy gets a follow up onto I and F, it's gonna be a 2v2 situation, as both players are on the flank, Shang gets one onto L, and it's a 1v2 again, Esther, he's waiting for the plan to go down, but look at this play, the side of V1, they're going into BI, they're going into the side of B, and I think Esther might realize this, and he's gonna react immediately, he's gonna run to the side of B, as the plan goes down, even Satchel, he's actually gonna go through long, instead of Hookah. As hookah control is established by uh, Bong Boy and the Viper Ultimate use up as well. But Shang, he's up close. Oh, he pulls up the Phantom. He just gets a shot in. It's a 1v2. or oh, 1v1 now. You heard him, I guess. He didn't. He started yeah. reacting. Yeah, I, I got the sound of hookah yes. from his POV. You should guess, but yeah, look at this. He has no idea. Bong Boy, does he not see him? Oh, he's hiding. He's, he's hiding. hiding. Extremely patiently. He knows that his opponent's low on HP, but again, now Esther finally making a bunch of noise. He has no idea. He reveals his position on the hook. He just wall bang this. Yep, one bullet is all it takes. And Bong Boy will be getting the 8 and 4 scoreline for his team. I guess there was some sorry. issues with yeah. his headphones. Like, I heard uh, Jet like from his POV. I didn't hear him, I didn't hear him either. I heard, I, I heard it like, but still, it was like a uh, good play from like Bong Boy not to peek. And yeah, like that look was just so perfect. Like you you saw like Jet and Rays, they had like a good position. It's just the teammates tried on the side. That's the thing. Like Team Vixen Rising, they got like two frags there. But yeah, they're also looking good here. Let's see what a team vixen rising will bring in the defense here and team mongs i think they're gonna play very aggressively as their play style shows that yeah. especially considering Switch. that the side of um vixen don't have um they don't have the uh what do you say the sentinels uh, that will make the side holding on very difficult to do some lack of utility will be there but uh, zigmate is gonna get a couple of frags 
Master and Peak IGN are gonna fall. That's gonna be changing the game quite a bit. And immediately all players from A Short are pushing in towards the shower area. Bong Boy is the only one holding on for now. Will be spotting S and he's gonna be running away. Doesn't want to give away any frags um, uselessly untreated. And that should be the plan. That should be what the rest of the team should be doing as well. As shot guards are gonna come in, Zigmate is still a little bit low on HP. If he throws a nade there, Esther, that will do a lot of damage. As shot guards are gonna come in again, spawning no one. But they have established a short control as the Sky Trailblazer is gonna be coming in. Zigmate spotted out. Bong Boy going for a peek. Will do damage. But he's so low. The nade comes in, and Zigmate is gonna get a triple kill. A 4K. Can he get the ace? No. Bong Boy is gonna steal it. Elders getting him his revenge on Zigmate, but Bongboy trading him out 8 and 4 possible 8 and 6 if they're gonna go for the buy yeah that was a perfect hole like by rising i think they're looking good at defense here i think this is gonna go close and as like team mong's uh, play style is very aggressive like team vixen rising have an upper edge on this because their hold seems very nice as we can see uh, here and as we saw in the semi-finals also indeed that will definitely be helping them up quite an extent but for now this is the buy round so we won they don't have to worry about too much they will be having enough weapons to work with exo and bong boy are going to be sticking with their pistols i believe they're going to try and save up for that operator but be long, we do see the chamber position. Bong Boy holding on showers as well. And that will result in L to get an easy frag onto Bong Boy with his sheriff. A couple of shots is what it takes to take down a player. And he gets one, one more. more. This is already a pretty decent eco. As we are going to see, the only one inside is takes an oh, INF spots him out. He's only got a shorty though, so he can't really take that fight. Shang gets a frag onto take IGN as L picks up a weapon. Sticks, his position is revealed in trouble, and now L with the push comes in. He's in a hard position as XO. He's gonna take down Esther as well, and the side is now left empty, but the spike is not under control. INF only with a shorty. He's holding on to that CT position, but they gotta get the spike. Chang isn't pushing though, so he doesn't know that the spike's in B long. He will be pushing now as INF. Is he gonna go with the peak with the shorty? His body will be revealed, his shoulder will be revealed, but he gets the spike. But up close, Shang in. Gets that shot, but EXO was ready for the trade. The Brimstone, he doesn't hear him. 8 and 6, but already a pretty good eco. They took down 3 players. That's going to be uh, disrupting the economy for Vixen to quite an extent. And they're going to be able to afford more guns anyway. So, not a bad situation to be in for Team Mong. Yeah, like, it was a really nice try. Those 2 kills from LLL, like... They were like pretty good. I don't know why his team didn't bring the spike to him, or maybe they were just trapped. I think they should have not fought there and like just bring the spike for his team, but it's okay. Now we're seeing that Esther is trying to get the hookah control, and her Esco is just holding at hookah. There's gonna be a fight at a shot here. They're just creating some presence here. Esther has pushed up outside of Hookah and there are two players there. Exo will be spotted out. Some damage done and he's gonna be sending the nade that way as well. Exo trying to run away but loses so much HP. Satchel spots out Shang as well. He should know that there are two players. The Satchel comes in and that's gonna be disrupted enough to get that first frag. Esther is playing so effectively right now. The Sky Heal comes up. Exo trying to creep out of that Hookah but Miser sees the body. Lands a headshot through the smoke as we want to go for a rotation that the B side has been lost control of as they are going to be going for the spike plan real soon. Stix is pushing towards that elbow but there is fake IGN who's holding a tight angle. It's going to be headshot for his end. Now the retake is looking that much more difficult. Zigmate, what does he do? Does he fall back? Does he go for a save? He's going to be losing a round so 9 and 6. Is a difficult scoring to come back from the flash from the stack comes in. Zigmate position is revealed as Wong Boy with an operator gets a couple of frags. Tries to recover that economy. And now a save from that op won't be bad either. Yeah, that op is the crucial thing. If he gets like good kills in the next round, they can just come back real good. And it's gonna be a 9-6 score for now. And yeah, let's see what happens in, in the next round. Esco was just trapped there. Like, 
that need he could have done like he can do nothing there in that spot plus the viper they, they were just got they just got grinded like three guys that belong and like two guys that outside of hookah like they literally one guy outside of hookah they literally just got grinded there and esther literally did a good job of like killing them both and yeah it, it, he literally single-handedly like created a lot of pressure on them and plus four guys were coming be long they had no answer at be there yep they did do a pretty impressive entry into the beam fire region so if they keep continuing to do that esther he keeps causing pressure in one of the sides over here that will force the side of vixen to react to that and they can just play off that reaction try and push the other side and try and play off his aggression but for now we are an eco operator for bong boys the only good weapon on their end as we are going to see a shorty being used to hold on to that hookah esther what does he do about that this time it's, it's going to be inf trying to aggress to us that be long they're not really waiting for the raise the trailblazer comes in i don't know if exo is spotted out but esther does get a frag on the shang the shorty will be disrupted as the entry is going to be happening fake ig and gets on the segment as well another re-rotating into a we are going to see a player holding on there, but Bong Boy with the operator in that A side, he can try and find an impact. INF is going to read all that noise and he can try and ask for another rotation. They can go back to B to the teleporter. It's Bong Boy, he's still there to the side of A and now the A execution. Look at INF's position. There. Really matter. He's going to fall back. INF lurking. He's going to get the frag onto XO. Not frag yet. He does bring him to quite low, and low of an HP as Bong Boy is going to be joining him. Esther as well. They're both holding the angle as XO. Only got a Bucky to play with. But he's so close. But he's so low though. Who's gonna pull the trigger first? Doesn't even matter as Esther takes him down. It's all on to Bong Boy. Can he save it twice in a row? Is the question. You need to you know, save it. He's the players in CT, but up close and personal. Esther taken down. Flash comes in. Now he's going for the white peak onto the. Ooh. Heaven position. Oh, flicks onto IGN. Fake IGN. As he will be dashing away into showers, trying to keep that operator under his team's control. But he is surrounded though. From both sides, INF up close. Oh, he gets a triple. He's looking good with that operator, yeah. That's already a pretty clean round. That second shot on Chamber, it was like literal good. Like they're just looking good. Like Bong Boy is also looking good with the operator, but like Team Mongs, they are just play adapting so fast. As you can see, they were playing aggressive in the start, but now they are playing slow. That's the thing I, I like appreciate about them. Like in the last game, in the semi-finals also, they were just adapting small things, but they were doing it, and that thing, my friends, can make a big difference. Even like a small change in the setup can just in the playstyle can just make a big difference there. They are just changing the playstyle. Now they are just taking fast B control, but they are playing a bit slow. Like that's oh my god, Bong Boy is also looking good with the op. And he's looking clean. That as we are going to see a four v three situation. The site is taken. The spike is yet to make its way there, though. If Vixen decide to push in now, they might uh, catch the uh, spike planter red-handed. So they are going to be falling back. Are they going for another save? Hunter Spree is going to come in. We'll find Esther. He's going to be able to satchel away but takes care of L. That does disrupt the spike plans. Due to the situation, Esther is low as well. So they can try and go for the retake. STP is going to be used up by Shang. The fake IGN reading that will lands the shot in. Now he's watching that CT. If anybody crosses, he can try and take them down but miss the shot. As XO and Zygmunt, they both find a couple of frags. It's all onto Miser. As he gets one, but he's low on HP. So is the Sova. Doesn't even matter, he doesn't manage to land the shot as Zigmay takes him down. 10 and 6 is the score line, which should be turning into 10 and 7. As we Vixen get another round in their favor. Picks up the operator as well. But again, yeah, the economy for Mong isn't that bad either. They can go for another buy if they want to. Yeah, they can go for this buy, but I think they are gonna have buy this because next round is more important. If they lose this round, they are gonna lose the economy. Plus, Vixen Rising will get like good chance. It will be like 10-9 if they lose this round. 
yeah so as we can see they are just saving money for the next round Esther will be playing on Spectre and his ult and for now I think they did a perfect job of executing that but Vixen Rising they also did like pretty great on that retake no over rotations no like they were waiting for the initial pick from Sova and that was just perfect Trying to get out of dodge, but instead, Esther, he's gonna be up close. The shorty and the blade storms activated. Meanwhile, a bunch of frags going down. A couple actually, Zionf and Shang are gonna be falling for the other side. But Esther with the Bucky Miser with the trade on the Sigma. They're gonna push into you, Hall though. Sticks with the Spectre, but the TPs are gonna come in. And that's a spike. He's going towards me, but there are still a couple of players as Miser finds Sticks. It's all on deck, so he's gonna get one, but not the second. Miser and triple kill for him as he gets the 11 7. One away from match point. And that's going to give them the opportunity to try and close this match out. It is going to be pushing Vix into another eco. So 12 and 7 should be on the cards. But what are, what do you do if you're Vixen right now? Like Vixen Rising, like, if, it was really sad to see that, like, literally, Team Mongs are looking so good on the aim, on the util usage part, the bursts part, like the burst they are doing with util combinations. They are just looking great here. And I think Vixen Rising would have to like get this round. Alright. Esco also have his ult, so maybe they can just try to win this round. Yeah, Otherwise if, if they realize this is Nico, they're trying to go very overly aggressive onto this Miser just trying on to shank. Rotations are not coming as Sticks is gonna be holding, trying to predict a rotation from the end of uh, Team Mong, but instead it is going to be an execution into the side of B as Mong Boy does get one with a shorty onto Miser and he does pick up his Vandal. The Molly will be hitting him a little bit as the side of Team Mong finally decide to fall back from this. But no, Esther and INF, they get a couple of frags, so that just rejuvenates this aggression. But the spike is made its way to A. The TP comes in, it's all onto sticks. L can get the spike down easily if he wants to. As the rest of the players are still in the side of B, they're still trying to see if. The player is in the side of B, but Sticks, he's only got a Sheriff to play with. And he needs to land the cleanest of headshots if he wants to win out this round. Right here. There is a player behind though, INF, but I don't think that is even needed because Sticks, he's facing three players and it's going to be the Brimstone to take him down. 12 and 7, first map looks like it's going to go in favor of the set of Team Mogs. And um, yeah, Economy will allow Vixen to go for buys, but how far can you take this though? The side of um, Team Mong are looking so much more cleaner as a team. Their gunplay is looking so much better. Yeah, I think and I hope that it goes to an OT because I love to watch OTs. But yeah, Vixen Rising, they have to just like come a lot better here. Like they have to just make some plays here. They literally need some plays, some aggressions from their side here. And they are doing the uh, exact thing. Yep. This is a fire round though, so V1 will be trying to take some more gunfights, but Bong Boy doesn't work out in his favor as fake IG and will be TPing away after winning that fight. We do see Mizen continuing on that aggression. We are gonna see a bunch of frags going down. Meanwhile, on the A side, the Viper Spit Shang will be aggressing through that. But right outside, we are gonna see the sky. Trying to lurk away, the flash comes in. Does he shoot? He's right there. <laughs> left oh, click, left God. click. <laughs> There's a player on his left as well, and that's what's going to be distracting him. He's going to hear L all the way on the other side. But L distracted, taken down. Now INF is going to react off of this as he finds an angle. Oh. But Shang, he's going to react quicker. Takes him down through the situation. But Spike, they can try and go into B if they want to. No one's there. Six They're just getting a bang. But it's a 2v it's a 2v3 they can get a spike down if esther can get an early aggressive frag onto sticks who's all alone in ct if he can win this gunfight make it a 2v2 this is very much winnable but sticks he's gonna survive for now he's gonna wait for his teammates it's a good sign good sign of team play and the good side of communication esther wins though no both players in that hookah as zigmate Will be taking him down information relay. Big IG and the recon's gonna spot him on. He's gonna be able to TP away, but the wall bank okay. from Shang, who's been instrumental in this round, triple kill for him, denies the victory for now. 12 and 8. 
We do see a spike plan. We do see three frags being taken by the side of Team Mong. That will give them some money. But again, Vixen keeping themselves alive. And now look at the economy. Like Vixen don't have good guns. But if they apply these judges to like good use, they can just win this round. Like they can create, do so much. Like they can do some bait switch setups. But I think at Hoka it will not work because of the playstyle. And they can just try to like go at shards. But they are just playing 2B and 3A right now. And uh, like monks are doing the exact same default. Like creating some A shot presence, taking shards control. It's a default for that right now. Indeed, that is. Uh, take IGN trying to push him towards the B-Long. There are a couple of players there. Ooh, that was a thing, but that was a wall bang thing. That's why the frag wasn't there. L does get a frag on the signal, but up close and personal is Bomber with the Spectre as well. But he's being surrounded by all sides. The gun barrel shows L is in a world of hurt as he gets taken down. He's gonna pick up the gun, Bomber. He's doing so much to keep his team alive. And it's all on to INF who's caught between a rock and a hard place. He can try and leave this position if he wants to. But as the smoke dissipates, now he's stuck in the open. He's gonna have to walk out. Luckily, no one from Vixen will be peeking him. Stay. The Bong Boy will. Yep, Bong Boy has peeked in the last second. I saw that as INF will be taken down 2v4 situation. It looks like Vix, uh, the side of Team Mong, are looking to push that B main. But look at where Shang is. He hears. I'm pretty sure he heard fake IG, fake IGN. And he's waiting for the peek to come in. And the headshots there. Shang's gonna get the spike down. It's all on to Esther, who can try and pick up the spike if he wants to. Doesn't even have to peek for that. Spots Shang, misses his shots, and Shang will be getting the frag in the end. 12 and 9. That should disrupt the economy for Team Mong. Uh, they can afford a force if they want to, but it's better to just save because they know they have a round lead. Why not? Why not just save and get a proper buy-in and then end things up? They only need one round, so there's no need to rush this. Yeah, but I think like they are gonna go for a buy or like a half buy. Let's see. Yeah, they are gonna go for a half buy, and maybe they can go for a full buy because Jet have her ult. Yeah, they are going for a full buy, I guess. Yeah, they are going for a full buy now, and this round is pretty crucial. Crucial if Fixen Rising won win this round they can be able to come back like good look at this initial frag from bong by he's just doing the perfect job from semi-finals to finals he's just perfect here the report situation looks like the side of vixen are showing up with a little bit of a comeback the drone not really gathering as much information as uh, zigmir would have wanted to but INF is trying to walk in zigmir gets a frag on the miser and XO is holding into the cubby. He doesn't get cleared. INF. You gotta look at those, man. You gotta look at those very common angles. <laughs> and fake IGM, the only one left alive. He has utility to play with. He knows he mates inside that um, shower. He'll area. get two kills at least. He's taking the orb. I don't think so. Let's see what happens as he's trying to walk into shower. He knows he just took the orb, spots him out, gets a bunch of eight. Damage onto him. Zigmate being the smart player, he falls back up close and personal as Bong Boy though. Coming up right behind him. But look at this. Vixen, they're so patient. They have to be. They have to be like. They are doing good here uh, by being. Uh, like, they are just doing the uh, like perfect job to come back. Like, they are just getting the initial frags. They are just denying their pushies. Push it. And yeah. Uh, like, that was unlucky. Like, I said he's gonna get two frags. He was about to get two frags, like first on the SOA, at least one, but that was unfortunate, like the spray didn't connect it. But now, like yep. they're looking good. Yeah, they are looking real good and this is turned the match on its heels. We might even see um, an overtime situation here, AKT, because this is going to be an eco. We are seeing Mizen going for a force. He can afford to do so. So can Esther, they have the money. So it's fine for them to go for the rifles. The uh, hero rifle but, here. Yeah, hero rifle. But they have to make it count though is the question. Torde Force is active from fake IGN as well as they're looking to do an aggressive push into the side of A. The showstopper being used up. TP is away but Esther gets a frag on the Bong Boy. 
Sorry, Bongboy gets a frag on the Australian, he messed that up there, but Bongboy is looking for more, he's not leaving inside, misses that off shot though, Maizen takes care of, take care of him, it's gonna be a 44 situation as Exos Nate gets the frag onto L, but INF with the judge, long range, Sigmate finally manages to get the frag, but oh, fake IGN, flying Exo taken down, Maizen gets a follow up, and we might just see the end over here, that's all they needed, that one final push from the side of Team Mong, as Shang, is in the site. Hey, guys, with the operator. Finishes nice try. 13 and 10. Things were looking dire. Things were looking close for the side of Team Mong. Vixen almost pulled it off, but the first map goes in favor of the side of um, Vixen Ryzen. Yeah, uh, if that, like, if the Viper would have managed to get that chamber, she would have won this round because she had Mirzen's position there. But yeah. She tried her best. Now we can see the hero of the match here are Zigmate and Esther. And they just did like a great job here. Esther is the match MVP here. And Zigmate is doing really great. As we saw him in the semi-finals also with initiators. He's just really good. Like with KO, with Suva, he's just very good. And I think he's ideal as he's playing the initiator. I'm not sure though, but He's just doing a great job of like getting kills, like making the plays and Bongboy here. Bongboy is looking really good here as in the semi-finals also. I really appreciated his plays. Like he was, he's like just playing perfect, like getting kill, falling back. But as we see Team Mongs, they are just looking great. Esther with that like 4k almost ace, he's just looking insane. Mirzin, he's just getting those entries and I think Mirzen is the team captain here and fake IGN he's just so good with those looks and if his flashes are just great his flashes his dogs like it's just good to see these guys playing so well here and they should play so well as it's the final for the prize pool and they are just making it worth for us and I think it's gonna go for the fifth map now like as i saw the gameplay here but my predictions are still that we're at least gonna go for the fourth map and i hope that we go for the fifth map and what are your thoughts about this Kirito? yeah it might even be possible because with how close these matches are getting <clears throat> we might see that uh coming up really soon but the thing is uh, that was only the first map, and we might even see a change of the plays coming in from teams like Vixen and um, inside of um, uh, Team Mongol as well. Because they are playing with one specific strat for now, but things might change based on the maps. We have Breeze up next, so that's a very aim based map. Uh, we are going to see heavy executions there as well. The only utilities we are going to see are on those executions for the side takes and retakes. So. It's going to be interesting to see how they uh, change their playstyle based on that. Because right now we are going to see uh, in the map of Bind, we saw a good combination of both uh, utility and some really clean gunfight from both sides. So that's going to have to carry on through. But I am expecting some changes, though. We did see an Astro Viper combination for uh, Vixen that worked out for the most part. But for the lack of the Sentinel, uh, it, I think they face some trouble on the defensive half. But... Regardless, uh, they are definitely should be trying to go for a sentinel on Breeze, especially holding onto a site, considering how long the rotations take on Breeze, um, and how much the possibility is for that rotation to be taken down by a lurker. Definitely a sentinel should be on the cards for Fred Vixen and for Team Mong as well. So uh, we are definitely going to see some changes in uh, the uh, agent composition. Yeah, and I think on the Breeze map, Mongs are gonna win. What are your predictions, Kirito? What do you think? Which team I, is gonna? I, I don't know. I don't wanna. I don't wanna <laughs> try and predict early on because it's these matches are always so unpredictable. You never know what's gonna happen. I would have never predicted Vixen to go for that almost impossible comeback against um against Team Mong. So I I I, I can't say. My prediction. I think, yeah, Team Mong is quite strong though. Their aim should be coming yeah. The aim is very good, like, and they are, like, better in the open fights. I have, like, analyzed that, that uh, in the semifinals also and in the finals also, they are, like, a lot, like, they are better, like, they are very good on, like, the aim duels, the open areas fights. And I think if we go to Ascent, Vixen Rising are the one who are winning the Ascent map. So let's see what happens. 
but my predictions are we gonna like go at least for the fourth map and ascent is gonna be like a very interesting match to watch as i think vixen rising are just vixen rising are just gonna play a lot better with the team play with the rotations with the setups i can see like they are doing a great job there and monks they are doing a great job on the individual skill the like team game the util usage like the aim they are just doing so well and as you can see like the first match uh monks have been and we'll be heading on to the second map in some time and for now we'll take a quick break i hope to see you guys in the second map also and please just wait a little bit like it's gonna be worth as i said so we'll be right back
And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back with the Claxton Series 1 Valorant Tournament. We are back with uh, the Grand Finals. The first map just went down. It was between uh, Vixen and um, Team Mong. Vixen Rising versus Team Mong. And the first map was a quite close one. Vixen came in with an impressive comeback and brought it to a 13 and 10. But it just wasn't enough uh, to try and take down Team Mong. But we are going to be moving, moving into the second one. That is on Breeze. Agent selection will be coming up real soon, so make sure you're ready for that. But yeah, we did predict. I think AKG did predict that it is going to be going in favor of Team Mong. I am still unsure what's going to happen, but yeah, we are going to see a substitute coming in. I think um, from the side of um, Team Mong instead of uh, L or who played the Brimstone in the last match, uh, we are going to see DB Skies coming in. So he's going to be playing the Viper for his team right now, as the rest of the players are going to be going for the agent picks. Yeah, so like as we can see, like uh, Vixen Rising are going for the Cypher pick, Kyo pick, Sova, Viper, and Jet. They are just looking good on this draft. I would have loved to see Neon here, but it's okay if it's Jet also. We all love Jet. And on the other hand, T-Mongs, they are going for us uh, again, Kyo and Sova, but they are just gonna go for the Chamber because. Yeah, they. I think they are gonna go for like more opping in this map, and and the opper in like the vixen. It's the bong bong boy. That's why I think they went for the cipher. And let's see what happens here. Yeah, I do. Prefer, uh, in a certain scenarios, I do prefer the cipher over the uh, chamber because the chamber lack of utility does really disrupt him from being a sentinel in a lot of cases but um in some scenarios with the chamber utility that is his weaponry that headhunter and the tour de force you can find some effect it really depends on the player honestly but uh in certain scenarios i do prefer the utility over the age so i really want to maybe prefer to see a chamber or a kill sorry a cypher or a killjoy on these maps killjoy probably less because of how big breeze is so you prefer to stick with the cypher but uh look at this as the side execution is going to be beginning we are going to see the first flag going in favor of vixen as exo will be taking down esther the side take will be disrupted miser caught between a rock and a hard place sticks We'll get a follow up on the skies, and it's gonna be immediately turned into a 5v2 situation. All on to INF as fake IGN with his headhunter barely gets one INF as well. Got to a 2v3 situation, but he needs to find more. But this crossfire being held by Sticks and Shang could be really dangerous. The Sticks gets the first round to INF. It's all on to a low HP IGN. Fake IGN. Wallbang though. Oh my oh. god. But he will be spotted by the recon. Here comes from the flank Zigmate. I don't think he knows. Sigmund only needs one bullet. He's predicting it, I guess. That's why he's going like to the back side. I think he can also go to B. Yeah, he's going to the B. I mean A. He's just doing the great job of rotating to A. Yeah, right now I think Zigmund is realizing that the rotation probably happened. Fake IGN. I don't think he has any idea that uh, Zigmund is behind him. But now Zigmund will be uh, losing the potential of the flank. And will be going mid. So mid is a bit more um, predictable. As the wall is going to come up. Fake IGN is that's exactly where he's going to be looking. Places his TP. But he, remind you again. 13 HP only. Needs to handle. And the shots and the timing is going to be in favor of Zigmate. Fake IGN not looking at the right place at the right time. First one in favor of Vixen. As they're going to get the economy advantage. So possible 2-0 upcoming. Yeah. It should be 2-0. But look at that uh, chamber. He did like a perfect job. He placed a TP yeah. and he expected Viper to expect him there but uh, he will play unexpectedly like the unpredictable peak but unfortunately he was 1 HP and there was the timing factor also so yeah but that play was really good like placing the TP there and going the other way like outside of the TP so that Viper cannot expect him because he have to get that headshot on him but unluckily he got timings but let's see in this game they are going to be going into the next one with the Spectre. They are going to be coming into play. Bong Boy under a lot of pressure. He's going to have to fall back. Doesn't lose much HP. But in the other side, uh, Miser and the um, counter jet, he is going to be losing a bunch of his health as they are going to have to fall back. Leave that mid doors area. Vixen will be um, trying to go for a more passive approach to the side hold. Miser and still with no HP, only with the Sheriff. He's going to be holding in to that angle. Uh, but there are four players there, one of them being in tube. 
So every avenue on the A side is looking to be held down quite strongly. Well, stay. Here, if it's here overly. Yeah. Strange shot onto INF, and he gets another one. Triple kill for him as EXO gets the final round to Sky. It's only one frag in favor of the side of um, Team Monk. But that was the buy round for Vixen, so 2 0 was what we predicted. But Vixen, sorry, Team Monk can try and go for their own buy rounds, own rifles, so possibly they can try and regain some rounds in their favor. Uh, this round on paper should go in their favor as well. We are going to see the next round beginning. Um, fits the overlay AKG. I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. Alright, back to the game. And um, not finding much as he can gather information to his teammates and say that this is a big execution. Shalkar is coming in, not really doing much. To, um, to the Cypher utility that is there, and instead it is going to be the Sovari comes spawning out all the defenders. Meanwhile, Miser is going to be dashing into the trap. He is going to be caught between the cages, and he's just going to stand there. there we are going to see the camera from Cypher gathering so much information, but fake IGN gets a frag on the bomb wire. Shang trying to get something to happen, but Six and Zigmate through the Viper's wall are going to be gathering so much information, getting so much frags for his team. This is going to result in a 3v3 situation, but look, it is the fight being taken by Miser into Sticks. As Esther gets one on the Shang as well. It's all on to Zigmate, but he's on the flank. Do they read him is the question. They do, and Esther will be taking him down. 2 and one first round in favor of the side of Team Mong. That will jumpstart their, um, jump their push into this matchup. With this, they can try and go for a few more executions, try and make this a 2 and 2 but Vixen have their own buys coming up, their own rifles to play in this round. Uh, this round should like as you can see both teams are like having three vandals and two another gun so let's see it's gonna be like an equal thing from uh, for both of the teams and now like attackers like team mongs are just heading on to a taking a control here here is just trying to get some info trying to get some picks here and at a they have like a heavy presence at a Let's see how Vixen Rising counters them. That early rotating uh, though. They are, but they have a good read for now because the side of um, Team Bong, they are held into the side of A. Miser is already pushed in. Uses his dash, but he can try and go for a peek and gather some information. Or even get a frag if he can accurately hit it. INF lurks up mid, gets one extra on the Bong boy, commits to the fight on the sticks. It fails to do so. 44 situation, but the side execution is here. So the utility is going to be active as we are going to see the Neural Tip coming in, spotting all the players. Now they know this is a push towards A, and Six is going to be trying to push the Viper Squad. So Varicon doesn't spot my turn, but it does in the end. One tag is all it takes, and Six takes him down. Sky is just going to trade though, but they should know there's another player backside. That being Shang, he's only got a Guardian, but spots the head of Sky's, dinks him. And the utility will be finishing him off. It's gonna be a 4v, sorry, 3v2 situation as fake IGN with the Tour de Force. Shockdrafts are gonna be coming in. Esther lets it fly, and those don't connect. He's, he's just sticking it. Chang is just sticking it. The wall is gonna stay up, and in the last second, he gets a frag. He gets one. It's a 1v1. Long range. Can the operator shot hit? It will. As fake IGN comes in to save the day, picks up a gun as well. And that's gonna give the round in favor. Of the side of um, of the side of Team Mong, that was a very close one in the end. I don't know how the shocker didn't connect on uh, from uh, Esther. Maybe he misjudged the speed or something. Uh, it could be because of the nerfs. Like <laughs> now, shock darts do like very less damage, and yeah, it could be because of the Wait, speed HP also. Though, wasn't the, the, the Sova that was sticking? Yeah, I I think yeah he was full HP, and he he like literally dinged that viper like. His shot was like amazing and Chamber also like did a great job there to save that round. The Jordan Force coming in big but right now that will push uh, the side of uh, D1. 
Dixon Rising to an Eco. They're gonna play on a, three marshals and a couple of sheriffs. A lot of pressure onto Bong Boy and Zigmate who are stuck in the backside. They're trying to get some damage done, trying to get some tags in. The utility will be slowing down the push for the side of um, for the side of Team Mongs. As they are gonna be get, able to get the spike down though. Bong Boy gets the first one onto Miser. There is a flank flare. Which they need to be wary of. Exo taken down by INF. Bit of a KO dip. As guys, he's gonna be holding onto the side. The timing, he looks away at the wrong time. And now he's surrounded from all sides. The jumping from Bong Boy allows Zigmate to get the frag, but he's sticking it. Zigmate is sticking it. And he does get taken down, but it is hard to fuse, I believe, as INF gets the frag on the Shang. It's a 1v1 as INF takes on sticks as well. These rounds are getting close and expensive, but somehow the side of um, Team Mongs are winning them out. 3 and 2, 1 round lead. Yeah, team monks are really doing a good job here like look at this their economy now is looking good and for the vixen rising also like they can win this round if they win this round they'll be able to like buy in the next round also but if they lose this round they'll not be able to buy in the next round and let's see team monks are now opening at b they are just going for like four man execute look at this and chamber will be lurking from the other side execution is going down so much is happening in this site man this will definitely give the side of v1 a very difficult scenario to push through inf the smoke the vipers well gets one bong boy does get a trade but inf gathers the information that he is in tunnel clean shot from his end takes down inf but it's a 1v3 9 hp only as a silver tag will be coming in shock darts are going to be thrown his way but from behind fake ign the frag on from mid gives them the 4-2 lead and with that, the, the, the eco round for side of V1 will be disrupted. They're going to be pushed to another uh, save. As we are going to see again, three marshals coming up. The thing about the marshals is that they can find some tags into it. And if they play passively, which they should, considering marshal is a long range weapon, the retakes aren't going to be a bad idea. If they are able to afford specters, that is, that will allow them to get some easier frags instead of sheriffs. But looks like Stick's the only one willing to go for it. But regardless, the main objective for the side of Vixen should be here. Uh, economy damage in this round. Instead of trying to win the rounds, try and damage the economy as much as they can. Because the round gap is still low. The economy difference is still very much recoverable. They just need to win the rounds on the buys. That's all. If they can do that, they can try and make this a comeback against Zigmate. Oh, Bong Boy with the first back onto Miser. I didn't even see that. When did that happen? How did that happen? <laughs> Exactly, he's just so quick on these. Where did he kill him? I have, I'm still very much gonna. Oh, he killed him in mid. And Skies gets the frag onto Exo. The Hunter Street is gonna be coming up, and Skies pulling up the wall in that A site. Small boy is still active with the blaze storm up close and personal. Oh my god. Skies picks up a vandal. This guy is a jet main at heart. Gets one more, sees the final player, but INF gets a trade. But it's a 1v2. His job is done. It's all onto these players. Shang, Shogguards connect, and that was not the right one at all. It went way far out as we're gonna see the drone coming in the fragment is sent flying his way but he gets out of the drone in the right time to avoid that martial attack connects 9 hp is all that's left on inf and that's gonna be shang's favor in the thrifty round as the big woman says will be given to the side of vixen three and four economy still available for the side of um team mong but slowly but surely it's getting expensive if they keep losing out the buy, round, buy rounds like this I mean, just look at this Pong boy. What is he doing? Like, I think he's my favorite player from this finals. What do you think? Yeah, he's definitely getting the frag. He's definitely in the work. To me, he's just doing the perfect things he should do. Yeah. Next round coming up. We are going to see an execution towards A. No players are at B for now. And that's what the side of Team Mong have been doing for quite an extent. They've been hitting this um, A side for quite some time. As they are going to be put into a 3v4 turned into a 4v2 situation. INF does try and equalize 2v3 situation now. As he will be taking some tags. He does need help from fake IGN who comes in towards mid. I believe they are predicting him though as Pong Boy gets a shot onto IGN, he does get traded 
as it's the one we do now. INF has HP, has a couple of flashes if he wants to take these close range engagements. The spike is definitely not with him. His bomb boy is going to be keeping his vision right on that. Sticks, meanwhile, looking at the other side of the site. They are at two angles, though, so INF can try and isolate these fights over here. And Sticks, he's getting a little bit itzy, makes some noise. And that's going to give his position away. His bomb boy spots him. He's going to be trying to take that fight towards Sticks now. His zero point will be destroyed. White swinging towards Bong Boy, and they're just playing this time. Just playing this so perfectly together, but Styx loses his life. 1v1 scenario. We've seen Bong Boy win these though, as he just comes in on top from yellow, off angle, and wins the round. Picks up the operator as well. 4 and 4 as equalization comes in. And now, it is going to be coming up to who is able to take the lead, as both sides' economies are pretty much stable. We are going to see Team Mong going for a half buy though, so... It's possible that this is where they lose the lead. Yeah, it's possible. I think they're gonna lose the lead here, but I think they'll come back strong. Like they are looking really good. And Bongwa, he's just doing the perfect thing as he's my favorite player for night right now. Like he's just doing everything perfect. Like his positioning, his disciplined plays, and now they're just making their way to halls here. Look at this. They're just gonna take three man halls control, and they're gonna go for an A split here the inside uh, push will be definitely effective as the execution has been done they are gonna be losing some players though as we are gonna see Zigmate getting a couple of frag shang as well the straight does come in from fake IGN but he's the only one in sight right now as INF does come in from the lurk but Shang is lurking up towards CT and gets the frag onto fake IG and 1v2 is INF only with 14 HP and a Bulldog. EXO comes in from the side of CT to take him down and a 5 and 4 lead. Shang picks up the operator and that's gonna give the side of Vixen Rising another uh, another round lead. So. Wait, but we have seen them lose this. They need to make sure they keep winning these rounds. Their uh, site retakes are so good, and they get frags on the entry denial as well. Keep doing that, and they can make a very, very big lead. Yeah, they are doing a great job, and I think my predictions are gonna go wrong here, because they are just they are just denying my predictions, man. They're just playing them so perfect. It's gonna be a tough time for Sergey uh, Monks to come back from this, especially with this economy. They are getting some eco frags here and there, though. But INF does get taken down while the ultimate is active. Skies, he's trying to use some utility, I believe, but will be failing to do so as the key ultimate is still active with the judge, though. He's pushed up. Next, so takes him down. Operator shot comes in as well. Bong Boy picks up a vandal as Shang takes care of INF. 1v3 situation. Fake IGN's got five bullets on the Tour de Force. He's to connect all five. There's a player on the flank though. Easy worry of it is the question. The flash comes in. He spotted out. He's trying to go for the repeat, but fails to do so as a white swing comes from X. So six and four and Vixen Rising are now in the lead. Yeah, they're looking good. They're looking good in this map. And let's see how Team Mongs will manage to have those two rounds on the board for them now. Like because they gotta take those rounds as this map favors like attackers quite well and i think either they're gonna go for like ag aggression and the defense either they are like just gonna make good crossfires or like if they like don't get advantage in the attack like at least equalize the situation they need to do it but let's see what happens here because team vixen rising are really looking good here Operator as well active in the A side, the Viper's play on the B side. It's hard to really push any position right now. They are going to be trying to aggress towards mid. INF again doing that at tube lurk. It looks like the mid door execution is what's going to be happening. Bong Boy should hear the noise that there is somebody jump peeking in the A main. Shang as well, wary of that Q position. Then every position in lockdown as Bong Boy gets a fir first frag. Want to fake IGN. INF taken down as well. Esther gets one onto Bong Boy, but traded out immediately. Stakes takes on Miser. Now it's a 2v4 situation. They're stuck in mid. They can go to B if they want to, but there's still the Viper Spade Zigmate to consider about. He will be pushing out of B. Oh, and so here's the noise, but Esther lands the shot. Hunter Spirit not connecting, not getting a frag, but there's a player in main. Are you wary about that as the Hunter Spirit? The Neural Theft comes in up close and personal. Zigmate takes care of Esther. 
as he sends the Viper Spit flying and a good read from him. Zigmate takes care of Skies as well and he predicts that the push comes out from the side of, um, from his side of the Viper Spit. He was able to predict the headshot coming in. Nice shot from him. 6 and 4 will be turned into a 7 and 4. I believe he's waiting for his uh, teammates to recover the operator. Yep. And look at Zigmate. He's just looking good here. And INF also. He's doing a great job here. And I think this last round is going to go for Wix and Rising. And we're going to go for like 8 4 here. But let's see because Team Mongs does a great job of proving us wrong. Kirito, they are just getting those yeah. rounds like those thrifty rounds those like they are just very good with them yeah, they won five rounds in a row so that's definitely going to be huge for their momentum and especially the utility usage as well the cypher combination really working out for the teammates i'm really interested to see how pick and manages on his defensive half as the recon comes in spots out flares and elbow and just really really used now exo gets a couple of frags sky just trade him but still, it's an advantage to the side of Vixen as we are going to see them hold on to the B side. We'll be going for a retake in the end as Skies. We'll be trying to um, push to elbow down mid. Bong Boy is there near the mid doors area if he decides to push, uh, sorry, peek towards elbow. But all alone, it's a difficult scenario to field. Because right now he has to activate his dash and everything. Tripwire is a little bit above. There is a player right next to him, Shang. Comes out with the utility. The Cypher Trap will be catching some players. They suffer camera as well, spotting out um, Esther. But Bungor gets a frag on the skies. Now it's a 2v3 situation. Esther, what do you do? Take IGN is lurking towards Nest, trying to get to the spike. But look at this read. Sticks reads correctly, but isn't able to properly react in time as he gets taken down. Operator with him for Bungor. And he's trying to get a shot onto the chamber and he's gonna fall back in the end, doesn't want to take that fight and realizes time could be on his side here. As Zigmate, he's still in the side of A, but instead it's a B side plan. Because they're gonna have to go for the retake. Bone boy going into main. And from the side of elbow, we are gonna see Zigmate. The recon spots out a player. Things are gonna be really intense right now. Sydney walks into the crosshair of fake IG and then it's all onto the monk boy. Trying to get an 8 and 4. Misses all the blade storms. No. It's gonna give a 7 5 score line to the side of Team Monk. And they could have gotten an 8 and 4. That could have been a way more advantage to them. But now it's still very much in the hands of um, Team Monk to try and make a comeback from this. Because if they win the pistol 7 6, if they win the buy round 7 7. Equalization is done already. Yeah, and as we can see, they are really good on the pistol rounds. Let's see what happens because now, like Team Vixen Rising, they bong by like he should show some some like good entries here to us. Like I think he'll be like getting very good entries here. But let's see because three guys are at A from defenders, and they are going like four guys at. A only like from attackers let's see what's gonna happen here i think it's gonna be a bloodbath here and let's see what happens here because they have all the utils they have sowas recon they have ko's knife they have vipers molly yeah so much utility to work with and they have the ko let's see like a uh, viper literally got the info and now she just distracted the sova now they are only three at a now two of them die one of them died now it's on mirzen and inf This will be very much in favor of the side of uh, the defenders. As we are going to see INF and Mizer getting a couple of frags. Shang and Zigmate just straight though. Zigmate trying to get a follow up onto Esther but results in a 2v2. As Shang will be taking, uh, going for the spike plan. His position will be revealed as Esther trying to send some shock darts his way. Those won't connect exactly. The second one was much closer but they're both now reunited. They're all going to be pushing the angles together. 
This is going to be four days. This fight has been into the chamber. Coming in, fake eyes win, missing his shots. Runs out of bullets as Shang gets a trade. 1v2 situation and he just catches the timing but misses the shots. Recon comes in and Esther will be trying to go for the defuse but he will be caught by the uh, recon. But he's actually going for the stick, half defuses but goes with the peak at the wrong time as Shang takes him down 8 and 5. As they are going to be winning, Vixen Rising winning their first pistol round in the second half. Giving them the economic advantage. They can go for the um, first fight if they want to. Side of a... Uh, it would be unwise though, yeah, the side of uh, Team Monk could force light, but now they're going to be sticking to the both. It's four marshals. Oh my god. They essentially have two operators. Yeah, they are like doing half by here, and I think they're going to get at least three kills here. Let's see, because as you can see, they are really good with those marshals here. Attack on the bomb boy, he does get some trades as well. Miser gets one on the stick as bomb boy gets a follow up. Miser up close and personal taken down. These uh, marshals are already finding a lot of impact. Oh my god, skies. Wait a minute. What just happened? <laughs> it's In just... a matter of seconds, <laughs> Zigma is the only one alive. Facing down three marshals. He does find the first one to Esther. Now, the first thing that they should do is fake ID and then skies should take it together. Because as I said, two marshals make an operator. They both need to connect a shot. That's it. He said they're gonna leave Zigmin all alone, playing a very split. And I believe uh, IG fake IGN realizes that that is his objective. As the first marshal shot connects, he's very much within the one shot range, but gets the one shot onto uh, Skies instead. He's trying to get the spike. It's all on the fake IGN. Zygmunt fake is IGN much... is playing so yeah. so smart here. Like he could have gone for the aiming and Zygmunt is expecting him aiming but he went from mid instead. Who did they see him? Fake He's playing. definitely saw him. One shot! Ah, uh, he is. played it so smart. He played it really smart here. Yeah. Like, yeah. he could have gone for... Yeah, instead of the aiming, he yeah. mid. It gave him more vision. And uh, the thing is, uh, if he is coming aiming, right? If he is coming mid, like, he should be faster. But he went to a main and wasted a lot of time and then he went from mid so zigmaid cannot expect him mid because if he was about to come from mid he would have been like it came faster but he just waited he just wa waited for the time and he late uh like went late to the mid and that was just perfect that was very smart the timing as well being able to see him go into the site and go for the plant was huge now with an 8 and 6 score line again with this buy round if they win this out this could be huge for the side of team mong as a nice edge on from miser and inf with a fall off on the sticks taking him down in that main area first martial shot connects but inf is gonna keep the trend going exo is on the flank though as he gets one shot with the classic but his position is revealed as the only player alive inf triple kill for him gets an 8 and 7 score line and that's gonna be one away from winning the matchup. V1 looking to hold on to this lead, but as the buy comes in for the side of um, Team Mong, they are going to be playing a little bit of an eco as we are going to see uh, Mizern sticking with the Bulldog. But still, they are very much in the 8-8 um, eight and eight score line. And if this is the second map, who knows what the next maps are going to be like. Yeah, uh, like I said, it's worth it. Like, they are just going so close here. Like, the, both the teams are fighting well, like, they're proving that they deserve to be here in the finals. Yeah, really intense and great utility usage coming from both sides and it's always a treat to see. A lot of presence down mid, I believe that the blade stones are active, yep, they are active for Mizern. He did spot, I believe, um, Bong Boy on mid, but won't be connecting any of the blades. Zigmate pushing down Elba. I don't know if the drone spotted him, but Esther gets the first swag onto Zigmate. Traded by Bung Boy. As the blades are going to be coming up. I don't know if he has any blades left, though, in my turn, is the question. Sticks in B main, but INF up close hears him. And he hears him run away. That's information. You can realize that this is possibly not an A push. This could be a B push. Is INF trying to hunt him down? If he doesn't spot him, he can assume that he went up to 
And that's exactly what he's assuming. And that's exactly what he did. Mizer will be spotting him out. He needs backup immediately as he's going for the reload. But a push coming in from Sticks. Skies is there to trade him out. Three of situation is the operator from fake IGN finds one more into Bong Boy, but that doesn't stop the B-side push. IGN gets one more, completely blind. XO is able to win that, but he needs to get the spike as the rotations are already here in CT. From Nest, spots out Miser. Is he gonna be sticking the diffuse on the flank though? INF. He hears him, but not enough. Eight and eight, equalization comes in for the side of Team Monk. Yeah, now they have equalized the situation and let's see what happens there like because team monks are looking really good and vixen rising they are going to be on the eco in this round and i think it's going to be like 9-8 for in the favor of team monks but again these teams can just like prove you wrong so we don't know what will happen here they took a time out here let's just talk about what's happening on the map so Pixel Rising, they are just doing well on the rotations and like not over rotating much. They are just like, uh, yeah, they are just uh, taking good map control here. And from the side of uh, Team Monks, they're also like doing a perfect job of like INF. Like he's he just got all the info and they're just looking perfect. They are just uh, like not over rotating. They are just not like early rotating they are just doing the perfect job here and yeah again both the teams are playing really well here like both are here to win as i said inf is a little better here on the aim perspective but you can see like sigma chang bond boy they are just proving a strong like the plays they are making is creating them the advantage over like the gun plays because Bong Boy here, he's literally a very disciplined player. On the other hand, Mongs, they're really strong on the lurks and they're really strong on their aim aspect. So both teams are really playing well. They are just head to head each other. But let's see which team will win. Yeah, they're both playing on based on their strengths and uh, that will definitely allow them to uh, Play to their full potential. If you have an advantage on your aim, definitely play, play uh, based on your aim. That will give you the round wins. But with this 8 and 8 eco coming in for a Vixen and a Byron available for the set team mom, they can try and establish the lead, try and go with a comeback as Myers' dash will be used up the drone. Does it? Does it spot? It does spot uh, Zygmunt in the end as Shang will get a frag onto INA, but Myzen threw the wall onto Bong Boy. Look at Six though, he's lurked up, but doesn't get oh any frags. Myzer gets a frag instead with low HP. He's, he can barely say his HP, but it's all onto Shang. He's got a Marsh, he's got a Sheriff. Can land a one shot onto Myzen, but is not quick enough as he's gonna get the headshot. What a round from this man, and um, yeah, eight and nine. I think he heard you about th talking about Bong Boy. He's like, oh, you want to see Jet plays? <laughs> yeah, he's just... dictate on them. He's just... Uh, he's just my favorite player right now here. Like, he's doing... perfect job here of playing Jet. Like, on the Haven map as we saw in the semi-finals then we are seeing in the finals. He's just... so good with this these plays. And now, as we're heading on... the next round, both the teams have good economy. And... They're just going for a B execute. Hey guy, GN is in a world of hurt as he's gonna be taken down. So much pressure on him, unable to TP because of DK or utility. And a lot of ultimates used up in this round. La Esther will be falling back as um, he will be in a lot of pressure. Viper Speed used up as well, Neural Theft as well. Three ultimates used up by the side of uh, Vixen. This is turning out to be a very expensive round and a buy round at that. They want to win, as they are going to win a 2v5 situation. A flawless round would be pretty big, as Esther picks up the operator, looking to go for a save. I don't know if uh, Exo saw him there, but Bongboy will definitely see Skies and takes him down. Now they're on the hunt. They should realize that Esther probably is saving. He's trying to get away. There is a player right behind him. He connects the off shot, and he hears more. Does he want to go for more, though? Lands one more, and there are so many players. Only one bullet left in the chamber. And he gets another one. That's economic damage right there. That is huge out of Esther. Taking down three players, they win the round. 
the economy now is in a very flimsy state. You can afford buys, but the only one spectre for sticks. Meanwhile, winning four rounds in a row has allowed the side of um, Team Monk to go for their own buys, full buys. Thanks. That economy damage was really good there by Esther. Like, he's looking good with the op. He has played uh, the jet, I believe, in other maps, so he's used to using the op. Yeah. He was also using the reason by him. Nice to see that players are experienced with multiple agents. They can play whichever role they need to. I have through the wall. Uh, Bongo trying to dash away, trying to updraft, doing anything to stay alive. And for now, he will stay alive, only taking one of those hits from the Soba Ultimate. We are going to see fake IGN going for a peek. Good prediction from Zigmay to know he's going to peek from the other angle because he did see him in that B main. So we're going to see a bunch of utilities coming in from tunnels. The jet. Oh, are they going to predict him is the question. INF does spot him out. Operator being held there. Esther walks towards backside and misses the shot. Tribute situation, no HP on the KO. For INF, as he will be spotting Zigmate, but Zigmate wins the sin, so does six sticks. It's all in disguise, but it's a winnable situation because Bong Boy is low in HP and he's controlled the spike. This Bong Boy, he's not gonna be pushing this, he's waiting for his teammate, trying to go for a double peek. And this is smart from Skies as well. He's not taking that fight. He knows that this is probably what they're trying to do, but he's going for a wide swing anyways. He needs to land the shot. He's actually going aggressive. Spots one player, low HP on Bong Boy, but he oh. doesn't spot him. Bong Boy sees him in the right time and gets the lead again. 10 and 9. Oh, that was a close one. That was unpredictable from Vixen Rising. Both the players playing on the same angle. That was really good there. Yep. And they were waiting for him. They were expecting him to push. That was smart. Yeah, he have to push. And uh, when he know, like, jet is low, so... He will uh, definitely wait doing that, so they, they were expecting also. And being in the same spot and one guy peeking a little bit wide, that was just perfect. So if one guy dies, other guy can like late trade him. Oh my break that drone. He was moving while he shot the recon. Somehow managed to hit it in one bullet. This just shows how good the aim is for that side right now. I'm just really coming up from the side of uh, Shang, I believe. Zigmate almost gets caught in his own teammates under spree, but Esther gets the frag and says, Monk Boy from mid gets the trade. For before situation, the um, KO ultimate is available for INF. He wants to go for the retake, but Exo takes care of Miser. Now the execution is happening towards the side of A, as INF's the only one inside. Oh, INF spots out sticks, and now the cage will give information to the players pushing in. As INF is now under a lot of pressure, there is a player in the flank, but he doesn't spot him. Shang, he looks away at the wrong time. Takes him down, offering in the hands of fake IGN who equalizes but loses a bunch of his HP. Skies spots out the jet. There is another player in that main though. Lands the headshot on him and another clean transfer. Skies, this guy is so clean. Operator not even needed and pulls the hat out of the bag. What did it say? Rabbit out of the hat. 10 out of 10 is mm -hmm. the scoreline. And um, yeah, the economy is in much in favor of Team Mong right now. So Vixen need to pull another eco if they are to um, avoid possibly playing match point yeah these two teams are just doing a great job now vixen rising is on the eco and i think like i don't know what they're about to do here but they just need to like at least drop one or two weapons from team monks and they are now playing very split like they're just trying to get the info trying to get the early picks whatever they can He dinks him. Yeah, he does get the dink in and that's gonna be... Uh, I don't know what just happened right now. I'm just, I just looked away and all of a sudden all the players from Vixen are dead. This was an eco, but we're barely... We have more than a minute left. We still lose oh. out on so many players. Shang does get a clean headshot on INF. And now with um, EXO joining him, they can try and push this side together, but Fake IGN holding that operator though. One enemy remaining. Miser gets one onto EXO, and it's all onto Shang. Realizes the players are behind him, and Miser takes him down. 
11 and 10 as we see Team Monk taking the lead again. One away from match point. Economy is still available for you. Look at this. Look at this ITG. Now, this is a very crucial round for Vixen. If they lose this out, yeah. they're going to have to play match point on a really bad eco. So, it is crucial they win this now. They're on pressure also they, now. If they lose this again, if they lose this, it's 2 0. It's going to be match point for uh, Team Monk on the series. Yeah, I'm like. Sure this should be a lot. Like, in a great pressure right now because this round is so crucial and look at this they are just doing a good job here to splitting a and lurking at b purpose gonna get a frag neural tip will gather information for his team sigmate will be playing patiently Trying to see if anybody's gonna push halls. Looks like the side of a team will be trying to go for a save. They do find one exit on the Zigmate. It's a 2v4 situation. Looks like the rest of the one realize that this is gonna be a save and they're trying to hunt them down. But this guy gets a couple of frags. Does he know what the player in mid? I guess he does. He did ping that mid, but there is a player in halls as well. Exo, he's in a really good angle. As guys gets one more. So much damage is done. And Exo doesn't do, Exo isn't able to get the frag onto and the Viper split is going to be used up as the final player fall. No way, no way they turn this around. 4v2, Bongboy gets one, but the, uh, the headhunters pulled up. Does he have time? He doesn't have time. Oh, no, 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 he don't have time. He doesn't have time. That is so unfortunate. But again, economy is disrupted. Yeah, it was like a very oh, nice oh, try of the Skies is just like, just turned on his aimbot. <laughs> yeah, they're really like looking great here. Now they have to like play on bad weapons. One Spectre, one Bulldog and three Vandals. But they have like half armors on all of them. Now... Yeah, this is gonna be difficult. I'm pretty sure match point is... But at least this is a better scenario um compared to before right now at least they have a buy before they didn't have anything on match point but again if they lose this they're gonna be in a similar situation economy will be damaged on match point as esther odin takes down x so inf does trade get traded as esther will be finishing off uh the player in b main as the viper speed is going to be activated in the a main oh fake item he saw a millisecond of that player as uh, Zigmate is trying to fall back into the site. They're both playing in the Viper Spit. Mizer predicting the mid push. Shang is going to be coming in, but the timing. Timing. Oh, he looks away. The timing is so unfortunate, but Shang. Oh no, he's going to find two. They line up for him. No. Ahead. In a matter of seconds, he's going to He's be just falling to... back. Look at his discipline. Esther gets one. Wait, wait. If Zigmate gets taken down there. Zigmate does find the player, but the trade from fake IGN, the Viper Spirit is gonna fall, but Hunter Spirit is active. He doesn't know where he is. He doesn't know where he Perfect is. Perfect play. Oh no, it's gonna be match point for Vixen. What is hap- What? I- What is happening? Match point. Like those two kills, and then he fell back. Like that was the perfect play, what I'm talking about. Vixen rising. They're just not over peaking by an inch. They are just falling back. They're just... Yeah, they're just getting the perfect positions here. Like... Yeah, the map positioning is great. Yeah, he got two kills. Then he fell back. And he went A main. That was just so perfect and so unpredictable. Like, he didn't over push there. Like, by... Not by an inch. Yep. He didn't even stay there. He moved away in a completely different direction. Smart stuff from his end. But yeah. It's gonna put the pressure onto the side of um, Team Mong is now. They're gonna be in a disadvantage. I did not see this coming. But double operators for fake IGN and Mizern. His INF will be flashing that mid area, trying to disrupt any mid push. Bong Boy will be um, acknowledging his existence. His sticks is actually pushed up too. There is a chamber alarm bot there, so that will keep him at bay for now. As they're trying to go for a B execution down tunnel as well as we do see Zigmate pushing towards tunnel. And um, oh wait, Mizan, did he go for a right click there from that range? I don't know what just happened. But yeah, he just... 
takes care of INF, Zigmate gets one to Miser. Now they're active in all sides as Fake IG and takes on Bungbot. But the entry into the side of B is still ongoing. We do still see uh, Esther trying to hold on to the B side as the rotation is going to be coming. He's going to be spotting the spike. So much damage is done, but Esther has to fall back. There is a player in tunnel though. Exo. Does he know about this? Esther. Oh, can he, is, is he going to fire Recon that way? Fake IGN trying to go for a flank, but he will be caught in the trap. Will he be breaking the trap instead? Exo spots him and takes him down. No way. No way V1 pull this off. No way Vixen pull this off. Oh, it's a 1v3. Fake IGN. They're just playing perfect crosshairs. They're holding the crosshair and the neural theft as well. The flash, they're not even fighting, they're just slowing him down. They know they have this in the bag. Offshot was almost there for Shang. The camera is still pinging his location as he picks up the vandal. So much utility thrown to slow him down. Time is ticking away. Flash comes in and Sticks finally goes to the peak to finish it off. No way Vixen come back from that. How have they managed to make this happen? Like they are just playing really well the discipline things like they're just doing all the perfect things like as you see the next map is gonna be ascent and i think ascent will be a strong point for vixen rising here what do you think kirito yeah this will uh definitely be something i'm definitely looking forward to this now vixen have shown that they can play disciplinely they can play with crossfires they can play with their teammates effectively and not just that, they can aggressively push into site as well, and that's going to be really important with Scent to have that aggression, because Scent is a very pug game based map, so having that um, <clears throat> team chemistry of the double peaks and utilities is going to give your fraggers that advantage they need. <clears throat> Yeah, but it is going to be a 1-1 one, one scoreline in the base of 5 right now. Uh, Bree is going in favor of Vixen, and uh, we weren't, uh, you know, we weren't completely, like, unacknowledging that Vixen probably could win this, but um, they uh, were looking really shaky in a lot of stages of the map. We did see um, a really impressive comeback from them. They hit the lead, and then things were kind of neck and neck, and then a really good economic situation for the side of... Um, for side of Team Mong, I think AG, the round that really shifted everything for V1's favor is the round where uh, they were, I think, uh, the Sova um, Shang got that double kill. That pretty much was setting the nail in the coffin. It set the economy in such a situation, in such a way, that allowed Vixen to continue their, um, continue the last few rounds in their favor. Yeah, and in the last round, they just played so well, so disciplined. And look at the scoreboard, Bong Boy on 22 kills. Shang on 20 kills, Sigmate on 21 kills, Esco 14, Sticks 12, three guys, three players of them are like above 20 and here on the team Monks, they also like did a great job here, like INF on 22 kills, like 24 kills, 18 kills, like Kirito, we can see here, the initiators are really stepping up on the kills, like even more than Duelist, like if you are a good initiator if you are aggressive with them like you can just get a lot of a lot of impact and a lot of kills like you can just do a perfect job as we can see here the match mvp will be inf for this game i was like q is such a good agent here like if you use initiator like in an aggressive play style you are just getting a lot of kills you are just getting a lot of kills and this match was really a very good match like and i hope like next match also brings a lot of a lot of competitiveness and a lot of like good plays which we saw in breeze and bind and i hope we like i hope like this goes to the fifth map now because this is looking really great and you guys don't go anywhere because we are about to start the third match in some time and we'll be right back but we don't go anywhere
Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Galaxy Valorant Series 1 tournament. We are going to continue through with the Grand Finals after the first map just ended. So the second map just ended and the first map was already gone. And uh, second map, surprisingly, it was Vixen taking the lead and making it a one and one scoreline, uh, making the scoreline much more equal. And um, they showed a definitely a much better side of themselves. The, the match was close. The match was really intense and Vixen were able to pull through in the last second. But they definitely show that they can play coordinated and like a team um, very effectively and much more, you know, in a much more mature way. That a way a Valorant team should play like going for the double peaks. And that's going to be really essential in the map of Ascent where aim is so important. You're going to be taking a lot of gunfights. So you need to make sure the gunfights are going to be going down in your advantage. Especially considering that this is a 1-1 one -one situation now. No team is at a full advantage. Both teams are going to be fighting to their full potential. Yeah, and as we see the draft here, like they are going for the Soa, both the teams. And as we see, Vixen Rising are going for Astra, Soa, KO, Chamber, and Jet. And the Mongs are going for Chamber, Jet, Soa, Omen, and KO. Almost a mirror draft, but there's a change like Astra and Omen. And as we see, Ascent map is really good with KO these days. And this agent, like, it's just like sh uh, teams are showing so much drafts with ko and i think like as red wolf also asked me earlier what i think the uh, like the best agent on this map is i think it's ko like you can do a lot of things the zero point the flashes the fragment like they're just it's just perfect agent for this map he can just flash kill multiple guys and according to this map structure like ko is really favorable in this map like now let's see because both the teams are playing almost the same draft and i think team monks are gonna play much more like aggressive as they're playing omen and vixen rising they're gonna play a bit passive as they're playing astra here i'm not gonna lie i do like a team monks comp a little bit more the omen I mean, Astra is a great controller, but after the nerf, she's just so hard to use, and it's just same dominance is just not there. Same map control is just not there. And Omen, it can do the smokes and can provide the uh, uh, re-entry utility as well, the Omen Paranoia. The TP is also handy in a lot of scenarios. And Omen is a great lurker in general, considering he can also smoke from any spot on the map. But despite it being a bit slower, still, he can find a lot of impact in a matchup. But yeah, Vixen, they are going to be going for that mid push-up, trying to push that A main through Gatwalk and main. They're going to be falling back, maybe going for a B hit with 40 seconds left. That should be their only option. As Zigmate, he's still going to be holding mid. I believe he's going to be late lurking in the end. To try and walk in and cause more disruption in the side takes. As we are going to see the players walking in, dashing into the side, the door will be closed. Only Esther is in the side, will be taken down. Vixmate. Zig Zigmate as well pushing in, takes on fake IGN as the flash comes in, he's gonna get one more into Miser, spots another player behind, but INF takes him down, but the damage is done, 4v2 situation, door is being broken, Skies trying to push in, trying to break the door, but there's a player right next to him, and the crossfire being held, he doesn't check Bunk Boy, and INF gets dinked, shot up, and that's gonna give Vixen rising their first round, piston round, going in their favor, economic advantage available to them. Yeah, and as I said, like Astra, with Astra, they are going to play slow and they really played slow and they literally just played so go uh, good. Like, I agree with you, Kirito, that Omen Draft is very good these days. But if you are playing Astra and you know how to Astra, you can just, like, do good with it. Like, uh, about, like, Astra and Omen, when you play Astra, you need to play a little more bit like passive and with omen your playstyle must be like aggressive that's the thing now after the nerves before the nerves astra was the best controller and now they're just gonna make their way to b one guy's already down for team monks okay that smoke kill yep i mean obviously vixen had the spectre advantage so Pretty much good. We could pretty much declare it early on that they had the advantage going into this map. Take hey, IGN spots are two players in their top mid. Sky is trying to push on them as well, but they're going to be completely ignoring the two players. 
skies can he get a timing he d can't get a timing he did see them though he should know that there are players in main oh sticks does he hear him he doesn't hear him okay oh, 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 oh my hello. god <laughs> almost almost pulled the nico from v2 there but the trap will be spotting the player in mid skies 34 hp okay oh, that's a boy, but he hits this shot <laughs> Oh, a triple peak coming from fake IGN, surrounded from all sides. Don't, don't do it. Okay, we got to see the he knife. And like, we saw that he missed easy shots, but he connected a hard shot here. Indeed. I mean, I, I don't know what happened there. And again, this is something that I personally really hate about the sheriff. Like, why is the range allowing for a 145 dink? It doesn't make sense. I am using my aim, I'm using my accuracy to get this headshot where I am at a disadvantage. Your opponent probably has a Vandal. I need that one shot. My accuracy should be paid off, right? So he sh there should be a change in the Sheriff to have that one shot headshot from any range at least. Or at least the range should be increased in my opinion. Uh, the, then, they, I? then they have to like... Judge? Then they have to like nerf uh, like by increasing the price. And because Sheriff like don't have like much an inaccuracy in it i think it's perfect to give like one for every damage in the ranges it increased the inaccuracy but the, uh, the range i feel like definitely to some extent a headshot should not be a dink and a weapon like a sheriff where you have to use your aim and accuracy it should be worth it you know but again who am i i mean i, mean, I don't I'm not some <laughs> super smart person about that but um Looks like a re-aggression towards the side of A is going to be happening for Vixen. Uh, fake IGN is going to be holding on to main. He has a TP as well. I think he heard the player pushing in main. And he will be taking down stakes. Skies as well holding on. Has the spike. And the last player being EXO. Only with the Sheriff. He's got the Headhunter pulled out now. Spots out Miser. And Miser in the end. White peeking to get that shot in. First round in favor of the side of um, Team Mong. And it's going to be a flawless one. Uh, it's good that they didn't drop any of the gun. Uh, now it's gonna be like a head to head full by round and let's see how Vixen Rising will pull this off. I think they're gone going for like fast control or execution. And yeah, the team monks they are just playing 2A and 3B right now, like one market and 2B side. Let's see because team monks should have an advantage here playing multiple at the site yep and that will result in them going into a side execution quite easily Esther does get a fragment of Zigmate and oh fake IGN gets a spray transfer to, onto sticks to the smoke the shotgun doesn't connect and he's still alive for now as they're trying to take care of Zigmate he will be able to reload his guns but the rotation is happening EXO trying to make his way into A Shang with a spike though spotted out Skies will not be taking the fight they realize that they have the main advantage you don't need to go for 1v1s but they do allow vixen the um lux lu the luxury of having an open site and allowing them to go for the plant x so oh i'm not sure about this position skies can clear him out if he checks that properly but x so much info gathered for him he hears so much but can he get the shot onto the jet is the question uh this is so nerve-wracking man he's gonna get two kills at least he might. Oh, he, they're gonna ignore him. But they know where they know where Shang is. But coming up from behind though. Oh, he spotted. X oh, oh, he got X timings. IGN was fake. IGN was holding all and B main for all this time. They just ignored that guy. You see, like they literally went for the side guy. They they like know that one only one guy is on side. They got the info, and it was perfect to ignore the garden guy. The read was perfect there. Yeah, I mean, patience pays off in the end. Yeah, and... Will allow... Yeah, this is gonna push Vixen to another eco. And I'm pretty sure the lead will be gained by, um, side of, uh, Team Mong. This round, as they have Vandals, they're gonna be taking on shares of Solo Spectre for Mong Boy, who is investing heavily into this round. EXO will be TPing away. The flash down mid will be slowing things down. But they are walking into catwalk. INF under a lot of pressure as he is going to be needing support. Oh, EXO, nice shot on the miser. 
As INF gets one only, Bongboy will trade them out. 3v4. Already a pretty decent eco as Esther will be getting a frag. But trade by Zigmay, they're getting these trades and that's allowing them to come out on the top, come out on the lead man count wise. So this is already a good eco and they're going to be refocusing on B, I believe. Or are they? They could go A main. They're going A main. Yeah, they're playing it smart. They're just going A. And Skies is rotating B. This is so smart. And look at this champion vandal as it glows it's just so beautiful and they're just going back to a they're just playing it smart they're just playing it perfect all three guys look at this woman is just gonna get grinded here triple peak okay skies just bring it to a uh, 2v2, but oh, Bong boy, that headshot. That's Skies now. I think he heard it. He heard the yeah, first he step, but it doesn't matter. Skies gets the headshot. He's going to be TPing. Oh, the shoulder. I think he saw the shoulder. But Stakes with the Spectre. The smoke. The timing. Oh, he's trying. That was a smart play to try and go for the smoke, but the timing was not in his favor. Stakes wins out the round. 3 and 2, and keeping the lead for Vixen. Yeah, like. Literally, Styx played well here in the 1v1, but Omen, he should have not gone for that smoke. Like, guys, whoever is watching, just keep this thing in mind. If you are in a 1v1 situation, just don't use your utilities. Even, like, because Skies just had, like, the better weapon, but he went for the smoke and, like, Styx just got the advantage there. But, yeah, that was a clean round from Vixen, as you can see, like, they're looking good here. And Mongs are also, I guess, this round is, we are going for the OT here, the way they are playing. Yeah, that definitely is a possibility. But, again, aside of uh, Team Mong, losing all these players early is not going to help. They are sort of buying into this next round. Esther falling early. There's a Tour de Force active for uh, fake IGN. Gonna be TPing away. They, they just forced off their, their rotation. Look at this. Yeah, they realize that this could be a B side rotation. Some noise is being made though. As the Astro Cosmic Divide comes in, and the Fragment is gonna be pushing Myzern away, so we can't go for any executions. A uh, Omen TP coming in from Skies. He's here to join his teammate, trying to get out of dodge, but Wongwe will be taking him out. Inside the side is INF. He doesn't get a frag, but he does take care of the Spike Planter in the end. Trying to flash out. He's gonna be staying inside, gathers information. Nine bullets left in the chamber. If he can find one more, that would be huge. And he does. Takes on Bongwe. He's still alive. Gets a reload down. Gets oh a shot. Lord. And a triple kill yeah. for him. Exo does trade him out, but it's a 1v1 situation. Door to force available for IGN. Can he TP away? He will be TPing away. So and he'll be repeating that there. was perfect. Yeah, that's so smart. Fake IGN had no idea. That was exceptionally smart, man. Vixen are playing with their minds. Yeah, their setups, their execution, their plans are really looking great here. Those 3k were really good from and after, but not enough to like counter them. Vixen is like that TP back and like that three peak is just perfect. Now Bong Boy is gonna play on his ult and T Mongs have the full buy here. Yeah. Vixen are gonna be I think Bong Boy, yeah, he has the ultimate. Laystone's active for him as I think uh Sky is pushing out. Will be spotting Bong Boy. Sends a paranoia but doesn't re peak that. So we're gonna be smoking off that A main. They left B. There is still a player there. But they are just early rotating to A. They got the info. Yeah, they got the information, but this guy is going for a peek and stakes will be taken down. Fragment being sent and Zigmit nice shot onto Miser. Sad execution is gonna be happening as fake IGN gets a shot onto Zigmate, but Bong Boy with the trade onto INF. Overall man count advantage still belonging to Vixen Rising as there is a lurker down mid. There is a chamber trap that will be activated and Exo will be falling back of that. Fake IGN takes down Zigmay. Finally, he will be dying from that, um, from the ultimate. As the recon Ooh. will allow Esther to get a frag onto 
six. And he gets a long range shot on the Shang as well. But Bong, Bong Boy gets a trade. Take IG and spots the head, misses the shot though. But both players are in hell. If he drops down, it's gonna be so difficult for him to win. He's gonna TP away and set the offense. He's gonna so save. Smart. Yeah, five and four. four uh, sorry, five and two is gonna be the score line. But yeah, Team Mong, they're not looking good. Okay. Vixen Rising, oh. like they were playing at three at B. Still, Vixen Rising manages to get like all the frags there. That was really nice. A good use usage of that ultimate those utils like they're just looking good here ascent i said they are gonna be like rocking and ascent and there's gonna be a tech pause sticks is facing some lag i guess yeah they might be facing some technical issues uh so yeah they're gonna take a pause it's fine look at this situation thing. in this situation you don't, don't want anything to go wrong especially when this match is heating up to this extent um you may want to make sure everything is working in your favor especially vixen right now they've got the lead they don't want anything to um happen to that uh, happen that might deter that sort of deter that lead or take them away from that uh, advantageous position that they're in especially with the um, side of uh team mom forcing in every round like this they have the economy so they're going for it i guess uh, look look at esco's ping exo sorry uh, look at exo's ping it like literally just went to 2000 mm. second ago oh. it's yeah, really spiking yeah i hope they uh, the issue got fixed get fixed is like i don't want some team to lose because of tech uh, net issue but still like let's see yeah i guess now it's almost fixed like now it's not going above 30 40. Hopefully they don't face any issues during the matchup. Yeah. You want to make sure you have the best ping possible. But regardless, I think the side where the uh, set team Mong are really faltering is they're not able to counter these heavy executions. Because the executions are all based on um, the utilities. They are focusing on using the care utilities. They're using the jet to get into site. And they are not really playing for picks in all those early scenarios. Whichever side, even if they're like faking into B side, they're gonna be faking with heavy utility. The Astro utility and everything combined is just making so much so, so much harder for said team Monk to win all these gunfights. And um, in the end, in the retakes, they improve their gunfights. They're playing off each other, playing off trades, and playing off the teammates' utility as well. And um, that is allowing them to win out these rounds easily, not facing much trouble in either the side execution or the side retake. But uh, yeah, I think um, the, all the issues are hopefully fixed from the side of uh, Vixen, uh, Vixen Rising. But look at this. I think um, they might be f going for a B early execution, maybe finding a pick here and there and then rotating towards me because they have the Astra and they have Bung Boy holding on towards uh, the side of A as Zygmate gets a frag onto Miser. Recon will be gathering so much information for them. Vester is still holding on. Bong Boy gets a frag onto INF, but Skies with a trade. It looks like the B execution is going to be happening regardless. Rotations are here as fake IGN with the operator tries to get some spam shots in, but Zigmate, oh, he's going to get spammed as well. As Exo gets a trade onto him, fake IGN takes down Exo, but Shang with a quick trade. 2v1 situation, and Skies has to rotate all the way to B side. That's going to eat up a lot of time. Yeah, he's just looking his way to like find this clutch. I don't know if he can find this clutch, but he should be trying that. But he can also save because look at this. He don't have good eco for the next round. But okay, he just took his knife out and went in. No, it's going to be half by or either like an eco from the side of team mongs here team vixen rising are looking really good here they are just planning their execution so well they are just gathering info they are just not rushing like crazy like they are just gathering info taking map control that's the thing i was talking about vixen is rising like they are just doing the perfect job here Okay, there's two guys are at A, three guys are taking B control, they're just... So they're aggression from A. 
What can the jet and astro do? This is an eco, but the blade storm is active. Poor bunk boy can do a lot of damage. Sticks gets one fall off from Iron Map to trade. He picks up the Phantom, but oh, okay, shot. bunk boy. Nice off angle. They can push A if they want to, but they're still continuing with the fake IGN. Taken down. The only player left inside is going to be Esther, and he's going to be fragged out as well. 7 and 2. What is this lead that Rixen have created? And I'm not counting uh, the side of Team Mong out just yet. Their utility needs to be a bit cleaner. The aim needs to be a bit cleaner. That's all. And we've seen these matches turn around before, so you never know. Yeah, you never know. I think that aim is like good. Like it's just Vixen Rising are just playing perfectly on the map. Like they're just taking the perfect positioning. Like you can see, they were going aggressive at aiming, but then they fell back and they countered the defenders push there it was just perfect thing to do once again they got the initial frag here the advantage now they're forced off the rotation from the monks look at this look at this that's what i'm talking about they're just getting initial map they control info. yeah like the monks don't have any info here and Vixen Rising, they're just... Okay, that was a nice shot by Esther. Just really coming in from uh, Shang, won't find anything. They are going to be re-aggressing to that B main. The, the, uh, Esther does spot out where the Hunter Spirit came from, and that was B main. The recon will spot him out as well. He's trying to avoid it, but fa will fail in the end. Sending his own recon out, trying to spot out a bunch of players. Won't be successful in doing so. Estate gets a frag onto uh, fake IG, and Esther does trade him. But they have information that the players are in sight. 3v3 situation, Hunter Spirit available. As Exo gets a frag onto Esther. And the astral divide is going to be disrupted. Bong Boy comes in, takes on Miser, and trade does happen. 2v2, so 2v1 as Shank finishes off Skies. 8 and 4. Huge lead for the side of Vixen. Yeah, they're just. As I said, like that Esther skill was really good. He just tried to deny the round. Yeah. He did the. Perfect job. He got two frags, but after that, Vixen is just doing the Vixen Rising things. They're just looking very good on this map. As I said, this map is gonna favor Vixen Rising's playstyle, and I hope, and I hope that they also win this map because I need to see the fifth map. Yep, and with uh, how intense this match is turning out to be, I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. We in the end do go to the fifth map, but again, Team Mong being pushed to a bit of a half by. We do see a couple of vandals and a few pistols on the other side, but the mid push will be slowed down as Mong Boy will be falling back. We will be willing to go back to the side of A there as a player in A main, and we might see a uh, chamber. Exo lurking in the end, Hunter Suri is going to be used up, doesn't find any players, the skies. What's he going to do with the uh, ultimate? Is he going to be TPing towards the wine? I feel like that is a very common position. The Astro should check that as Igmate takes care of INF. Skies will be using his uh, share to get a frag on the sticks, but Bongboy with a quick trade. 4v3 situation. Exo is still in mid as he's lurking, will allow him to get a frag on the Miser. And the KO suppression ultimate will be disrupting fake IGN from using his ultimate. And now. Exo just walks in. He just doesn't even need to do anything. Knows that the ultimate has been disrupted, has been suppressed. And will give the side of uh, side of Vixen another round. Possible 10 and 2 because the economy for Team Mong is still kind of flimsy. Yeah, what do you think? Are we going for a 9 3 curse? Huh? Who knows at this point? Let's see, because uh, Team Mongs are really low on the economy, but if they use this Spectre well, because Chamber have his ult, they can really convert this round. They're only, like, have one gun disadvantage, which is on Aster. As we saw, Aster's aim is so good, he can, like, literally use this Guardian as a Vandal for now. Yeah, he needs to find an impact with those weapons, and easier said than done. But they're still in a uh, 4v5 situation, but not for long, as we will be seeing the first player fall 
Esther taking down Skies. He's trying to trying to find the frag onto the player made that being sick mate. This thing's slowing down. They can aggress towards the B side. Only one player there. In the no. Is that guy is INF. Interesting to use the recon there. Zigmate might push late later on. If he has any information, if Skies gives any noise cues, which he will, and that's exactly when the push comes in. Skies, oh, he's not going for the TP, he's in the smoke. Oh, is this a player right behind him? I don't know what's happening, but this is intense. The door is going to be closing. INF gets a frag onto Shang, and he's still holding strong as he's going to be using one of his fragments. Flashes out of sight, tries to go for a peek, but he's being surrounded from all sides. Any frag right now would be huge. And he gets one, but doesn't get a second. But 2v2 scenario, Jet in Chamber. He did his job. This white man is going to go down regardless. Torde Force active for fake IGN. For EXO as well. He should know what players are in the site. Butter comes in, connects EXO. And the second one as well. And two. This game is just looking one-sided, like, they are just playing it so well. Look at these two off kills in the end. They are just doing the perfect job here, like, they are looking so good here. And now they are just gonna switch to defense and let's see what team Mong brings here for the attack. And as you see, they are placing themselves outside of A and chamber is just setting a trap on sort of b i think either they are gonna going for like an a mid split or just direct a execution vixen rising are going for an a aggro oh, this is a good a aggro setup we have seen this setup before it's just he's trying to hide into wine he can get one though i don't think they know they don't know he yeah. one. The smoke comes in the right time. He's only got no, two no, Q away, will come. But, uh, Esther will find him in the smoke. Zigmay does get one, but traded instantly. And then another one. Triple kill for him. 4k. He has to get the ace. But denied. Shang takes him down. But he was low enough for INF to take him down. 10 and 3. I don't think this should affect Vixen too much. Because they already have a lead and they can regain that later on, no problem. They are going to have to go through the buy round though, of uh, Team Mong. Yeah, let's see what happens here. Like, I think Mongs can also come back here, we don't know because they every time like prove us wrong here. Uh, let's see what's going to happen here. Like. That position was perfect from Vixen, but again, Team Mongs are Team Mongs. They are just doing the perfect job here. They are just good on aim. Now, Bong Boy will be sitting here with a shorty. He have all the info, at least for like got three player sound here. Now he know four are here. Uh, the execution is going to be coming in. It's a 5v5. Five five. They're going back. Oh, the rotation though. This could be unpredictable if they do do that. Again, the side of uh, Team Mong, dude, they do have better weapons. They shouldn't have that much trouble at anything at this, unless, of course, Bong Boy and Zigmate hit some insane shorty shots. They are holding in the side of A while well, the execution should be coming towards B. The smoke and utility should suggest otherwise, as we are going to see the recons coming in. Uh, that should not really matter much, but somehow EXO gets a shot on Esther and Shang. I think he shot to the wall on the miser. Already it's a 3v5 situation, and even with pistols, it seems dangerous. INF is placed outside the door in market. The door will be broken. He can try and aggress through this. Because he is in a very predictable position, the players in CT are pushing, he gets one, he should have pushed through, but the trade does come in from stakes, Zigmate with the short, he gets one, Skies gets a follow-up. Vixen won this round? Oh my god. Yeah. They get eco'd. Oh my god, they are just perfect on this map, as I said. 
it's Vixen's map. Like, I can tell they're just doing the perfect job here. This uh, economy is going to be definitely interesting. Vixen can afford to go for some buys, and uh, the one away from match point economy is not looking good for the side of Team Mo. Uh, they are down to pistols, a guardian, and a classic IBD fake IGN should be using in the headhunters. So let's see if they can find some frags. We have seen eco rounds go very interesting in this uh, matchup, but catwalk push from the side of Vixen as we can see Astro should be coming in, sticks. Under pressure, he's actually going to be aggressing through this. Recon doesn't spot him out. That should give information to the players that could be, could be pushed up ahead, but he's going to fall back immediately using the uh, follow-up star. He does have a uh, bong boy with him to try and uh, hold on to the site as long as well as the KO. He sticks. There. Can he get a couple of frags? He will. He doesn't get the third door. Zainab pushes in, but Bong Boy gets a trade onto him. The execution from Amy doesn't come in. So Bong Boy still lives. As they're going to be falling back, maybe going for a rotation. The drone from Sova, will it spot somebody? It says far away. It's going to eat up a lot of time. Skies, I believe, mean, will be spotted. He's going to TP away. And now, with three seconds from the clock, they have the spike, but they have nowhere to plant it. They don't go to B, they stick to A. So. With the number of players being there four, it's gonna be hard for them to win this. Take IGN does okay, connect. Okay, nice shot. Up, but time's taking away. All they need is an Astro stun there. They don't even need that. Exo just speaks and takes him down. Oh, it's so oh, maybe a little bit too much there. But Bong Boy finishes it off. 12 and 13, 12 and 3. And Vixen are looking to take their second map in the series. 2 and 1 should be on the cards. Let's see, now it's the match point, and I think Vixen is pretty much getting this round with them. They are just... Let's see what Team Mong got in this round. Like, they are opening up like 3A and... I mean 2A and uh, 1 mid. And 2 and B mid. Look at this position from EXO. You have all the info here. Pong by gets 1. He's just holding for mid aggression. He'll get one more. Oh, He's so clean with the AWP and... Okay, oh, almost free. Right My turn. Uh, I don't know what's happening. Bong Boy is a little bit awkward there. Shock darts do come in. Do damage My turn. But Esther is there to protect him. It's a 2v2 two -two now. But yeah, My turn low on HP. It's all on to Esther. Will he be able to even clutch if... this? Ah, even if he does... 12 and 4. Can he win 8 rounds in a row? This recon should give information. Yep. Yeah. They should know he's outside A. And they're just gonna let him walk in. They can just let him walk in. Yeah, they're just playing double heaven. They're not giving any chance to him, and that's the game. Like, that's the Eastern map here. Yep. Wow. With it was amazing. 13 and uh, 2 is the scoreline. They're gonna be winning the second map here. The third. Um, the third of the series, so it's a 2-1 scoreline now in the best of five, and one away for Vixen to win this, one away for them to take the championship and become the champions themselves, and man, honestly, we were definitely um, feeling like uh, Team Mong were looking the uh, stronger side coming into this matchup not before it started. We were sort yeah. of thinking like, okay, they're looking strong, their solo plays good, their gun plays good, but Vixen after this first map, from the second one, they are completely changed. They are looking much more coordinated. Their gunfights are looking much more stronger. And their utility is looking much more cleaner. This is overall a great improvement from the first match. And with this, who knows? They might even take the third one. I don't think um, uh, Team Mong's mental will be that strong after this. They were definitely expecting to win this. 
no no i think they are gonna like when the heaven like according to me uh if i say like as i saw the heaven map of vixen rising mm-hmm. in the semi-finals i think uh monks are gonna win this like heaven map because heaven map is like based on a lot of map control but still also on like a lot of gunfights and as we saw like Vixen Rising were taking map control but they were losing the aim duels on Haven if they have like prepared enough for this map I think they can get this series with them but I think team monks are gonna give like them a good competition and my predictions are that team mong will win this haven map and score predictions would be 39 for me yeah i don't even want to go there because you know <laughs> i'm not sure what's going to happen but yeah haven's definitely going to be interesting the map's interesting and the teams are playing well so uh the coordination will definitely be needed for both sides so let's see if that happens yeah and it it is gonna be a great map that's what we can assure you right now so again you have to be here like we'll be right back in some time like as the match starts and you guys don't go anywhere because you know it's gonna be worth it and they are proving that they are creating a great finals for us right now so don't go anywhere we'll be right back
And uh, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to the um, Clarkson Valorant Series 1. We are going to be going through with the Grand Finals again. Going to the fourth map. Oh my god, it's been a long day. Yeah, but yeah, possibly the final map if um, Vixen can carry through with another victory. Because they have won twice in a row, taking the second map on Breeze and then the third one on Ascent as well. In a very dominating fashion, AKG. So if they can carry on this momentum... This will definitely be a match for taking. Three and one will be the scoreline and the BO3. We don't even have to go to the fifth map. But uh, let's not count Team Mongs out of this report. They are a very strong team. Their gunplay is good. Their coordination and utility is good. Just need to make sure that the last couple of matches are not affecting them mentally. And they can, you know, stay strong and play uh, continue playing together well. Yeah, like, I think Team Mongs are going to come back in this game as you can see vixen are playing the same draft which they played in the semi-finals they are playing going for the double duelist here and but uh, i really think like uh, when they're playing double duelist they have to like play a bit aggressive and they are better in like slow paced rounds like and i think team monks have like quite some advantage over that here yeah, they do have a double initiator combination, so that will give them a lot more information to work with as they're rushing the garage. Looks like it's going to be Seaside Rush 6 is the only one there, as he spots a player long. Big same recon spots him out, as fake IGN will get the shot, but EXO with a quick trade, the wall bank comes in, there's a player in front of him though, in the smoke, and INF will take him down. Bong boy on the flank though, from garage, 4v3 situation, Beam comes up, he should give information that there are at least, um, a couple of players in the site, one of them being the Sky. This Bong Boy making himself known. Zigmate, nice shot on the Sky, over, over healings himself. As the peak from INF comes in, this guy's right click is on another level. As we're gonna see Shang coming in the recon, but up close and personal. Oh, what is happening? They're That's reloading each other, but Esther gets the frag. It's all on the Zigmate, but one of the players are solo. He can just stick it if he wants to. Oh my god. It's... Oh, sorry. Heck. Is he gonna stick it? Oh, the player comes in he behind him. It. But INF comes from Garage in the right time. That was like a, that was a nice try there. He, he could have like just half defused, killed one guy, killed second guy. Like they, they almost lost that. But yeah, these are looking good. Like uh, you saw that team flash. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, but yeah. As soon as so like the con like jet got flashed in the. They're opening like yeah, that will that will result in them getting the economic advantage. Team Mong looking to start off strong, looking to start off with a boost of confidence as a fake IG gets a frag onto EXO. Zigmate might find one to INF, but the headshot connects and that will allow him to get a uh, three versus five situation going as they're looking to take the seaside. He is gonna be lurking down that mid, but the jet bog boy. Only with a shorty trying to run away, trying to chase him down. Low HP, only one bullet is required, and he will connect both. But there are more players in the garage now, as Mindset is going to be holding the angle. He has fake IGN with him as well. All into Shang and Bong Boy. Recon connects, and fake IGN goes to the peak, and oh, whoa. He was, he was about. Up? Flash? Yeah, I guess. There was, there is no flash. Yeah, there is no flash. Why would he? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I guess he didn't realize the sky was dead or something, but yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, anyways, he probably would not have won that round. Um, two zero scoreline. We knew the buyer. I guess. I guess Kirito he got scared of the bullet and <laughs> turned his face. Uh, uh, if only turning around from bullets would make them disappear or something. <laughs> if only that's how that worked. But yeah. Byron was a big success for the side of um, Team Mong, and now the counter buy for Vixen is going to be coming in. The Claude Force is going to be active for Fake Eye Chain as they're looking to take the C side again. Uh, Sticks, I believe his position should be revealed. I think he's trying to spam the smoke button, that's why he was. Uh, he accidentally let some shots fly to a TP oh, away okay. and actually survive, but the spam from Styx is going to be good enough. EXO going for the quick retake, but only gets one miser with a trade. 4v5, 4v3 situation. Shang does get a follow up. 3v3. Tordia Force is still active as the flank is going to be coming in. Bong Boy. Oh, the shot missed from Fake IG, and now the double flankers are here. Zigmate gets one more, but Skies with a trade. 
Who we won the duelist versus the initiator. The spike is in the open. What is Mungboy doing? The Zigmate falls. And he gets the shot as okay. well. Sky's triple kill. 3-0. That's going to be huge for the economy. That was an uh, unfortunate death for Reina. Like, Zigmate there. And uh, if, like, I don't know. If uh, Team Mongs have seen the semi-finals of vixen rising i will say they are making a mistake by going the same draft and the same place as, as we saw them pushing a main it's just their signature push like from a main from b push with reina and jet they are just doing that from the semi-finals and if uh, team mongs have studied their gameplay they would have know that what they are doing here Yep, that is in a matter of seconds all going in favor of the side of Team Mong. Fake Aijin gets one more on the Shang and Sticks trying to hold on, missing all the shots. Exo does get a trade, but INF with a counter trade. 4 0. And Team Mong looking strong starting off this next up. It wasn't eco for the side of Vixen, so easy round for their end, but still, a 4 and 0 score line will definitely send a mental impact inside of Vixen. Hopefully this won't let affect them too much. And the match is still barely began and still there's so much left to go off of. So let's see. Yeah. Let's see what happens. See again I said the B push and the A push. We saw them doing that like quite some times. Oh INF, INF. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Zigmate is going big here. He's got a couple of kills already. Exo with a quick trade. And based on that information, the noise, he should know there's another player to his right. Skies knows that as well. That Zigmate could be positioned here. And he gets that shot 3v2 scenario. A little bit more in their favor. They still have control of the spike. And now they can go to B or C if they want to. Or they can cut off noise and head back to A in a while. But I feel like Exo should be able to read that. He's got the setup ready. He's got the A main under control. He's watching the short as well. It's all going to come down to where the side of the team Mong are going to go. Looks like the spike is heading towards C. Yeah, Omen is going to fake here. Oh, yeah, they forced out the rotations. Huge fake. Yeah, easy, it, was, it was a good fake. For Sky. He's going to have his ultimate as well. He's going to be able to play post plan. Yeah, if he gets this plant. Oh. He's going to plant the back side. He wants to look for a frag though. Left. Yeah, he's trying to look for a frag and I think he'll get one. Oh, but look at Vixen. They're being so patient. They're not moving at all. 20 seconds left. He has to go for the plan. Since the recon in garage. And the plant is finally going down and see the smokes come in. 3v2 situation. Both smokes available to Miser, and then he's going to be smoking both Garage and CT. The Garage smoke could be a bit deeper. But they're both going to be moving for the post plan scenario. But Team they Vixen Rising, the they were so patient with this. You saw, like, they were not over rotating or rotating or anything. They just rotated for, for the fake. And now they have the advantage here. Oh, and this three comes out and he sticks it. Here comes the push from sticks and he gets both. Yeah, like they, they just, they were so patient there. You see, like, they yeah. know it's a fake. Still, they were just staying there and not giving any pick. That was, that was the perfect thing you should do here. Like, if Uman would have engaged in that fight and he would have died. Would have this, died. Yeah, yeah he, this round would have, like, gone to Team Mongs already. But he did the perfect job there. Indeed. Being patient like that will pay off and it will allow you to get the first round for the side of Vixen but still 4-1 they need 3 more to um, equalize and buy round is still available to Team Mong. We are gonna see the Seekers coming out, looks like a quick uh, B execution could be on the cards with the Spike B making its way um, to the B main area, Hunter's 3 will be used up, finding a tag and a second one. Getting the frag in there. Almost got a second tag there as Bong Boy and Exo. They're all gonna find a couple of frags all on skies as instead of Vixen come back with a vengeance. Couple of their couple of rounds in a row. And um, gonna shut down. This was a shutdown. Yeah, exactly. They shut them down. This will give 
the side of a team want to go for another buy, another opportunity, but if they keep losing rounds like this, not only are they going to lose the lead, they're going to lose the economy and momentum as well. Yep, we are looking for a seaside execution. Garage entry is happening as well. In backside, we have the operator active for XO. He's under a lot of pressure, but connects the shot, picks up a vandal. Oh, it's a phantom actually, but miss the shot as Miser and Skies walk in. There is still another player outside Garage looking for the flank. INF wins it. It's a 2v3 situation. The spike run is going down. The sky flash comes in. The dash will still flash him. And Miser, he's in the smoke. There's a player backside, 3v2 scenario, there's a player in long as well. Oh, Shang spots the head, 2v2. Very much vulnerable, but look at look at where the sky is, look at where INF is. He is on the flank, but they're looking at it. Pong boy. He's coming he in towards the flank, but misses. Um... That's a big whiff. That is a big whiff, as Pong boy is going to get a frag onto him. Fake IGN will be able to rotate all the way to A. And get the spike land down. He can win this round. It's only got the Trode Force to work with. So if a double peek comes, or if a um, peek from double angles come, he's gonna have a lot of trouble to deal with this. But this long rotation and slow slow movement from the side of Vixen is giving him some time. They're not being silent about it. He should hear them really soon. Oh, he hears them. Ooh, tries to land a flick, no he's in backside, the double peak comes in and Shang wins it off. Four and three, and with that the economy should be flustered for the side of Team Monk. And, uh, no, no, they'll have they a buy. Force. Okay, they can force it. They can no, no, they'll buy, buy. They, they'll full buy. Yeah, they'll have a normal buy. But, um, yeah, with this, not only this will allow, if the side of Vixen win this, not only will this equalize, they'll have, um, they're gonna be forcing Team Monk to an eco. So they can take the lead. Yeah, like, I think the Mongs have to win this round if they, like, really don't want to lose another round. Like, but I think, uh, let's see, they're pushing from B again. Like, look at this. The Omen Flash and Reyna and Jet Push. It's their setup. Like, they did it in the semifinals also. Okay. They'll just counter it. Oh, you can okay. you can you can just tell by that that T Mongs is re a r real better team team than the semifinals one because second time they did this and they just countered that that's the thing that's the that's the thing of a good team like you can counter those things if they are repeating those things you can just counter them that's why you should not repeat things in front of like a good team mm -hmm. this time this time they shut them off literally like. Now they have to do something like unique to get these rounds from Team Monks because they are looking good here. Yeah, this uh, doing predictable stuff will definitely work for to some extent. But again, a team like um, a team like uh, Team Monks Uh, we'll be able to read that to a certain extent and we'll be able to find a counter to that. So, you to make sure you don't repeat that too much, be a little bit unpredictable. But Mizer and Gaila first back on the Zigmate in that A short area. Trade by Bong Boy 4v4. As the execution is going to be faltered and they've all overextended, they've all over rotated. The site is actually going to be probably B or C. Spike is yet to make its way there though, but. The trailblazer to clearing garage skies will be walking through and i believe um uh exo should give, give the information that okay maybe they're in c right now they have a trap in b main and bong boy is watching that as well garage information gathered skies pushing in exo is in a really weird position but skies nice shot 3v4 gets a follow-up no exo actually trades and oh, oh my god, my bong god boy. I F, 3v2 in a matter of seconds this is over, he is here to provide some utility. 
Exo is gonna be needing the charges. He's the one low on HP, but the jet dashes away. Bong Boy is above. The recon spots him. He gets one through the smoke, but it's a 1v1 situation. Spike is planted and a double shot from man fake IGN. This guy is on something. Three and six. He's not giving the rounds away to V1. He's doing whatever they can to keep the lead. They're just looking good here. I said, like, this map, it's Team Monk's hold. Like, let's see what Team Vixen Rising can do here to counter them now. They know they are just playing slow and then quickly bursting and taking the map control, walking in. How can they deny it? When they have two duelists, they have to do something. Oh, they're just making their way to mid. Vixen Rising have all the info here. They don't even have to push this. You can just stay patiently and hold on as the uh, information of garage distribution will be discovered. Hunter really barely misses. He's barely missing the shots, but sticks. Holding on from logs. Takes position. So patiently gets one, gets a spike. Can he get a follow up? He will not. He's gonna be Zigman instead getting the double kill. Almost to triple his INF. We're trading him out. That's a 1v3. He's gonna use the trailblazers as well. We'll be figuring out there's a play in flank, there's a play in garage. Doesn't even matter his XO with the off shot. Holding on, being patient. Gets the shot. 6 and 4. A 6 and 6 won't be bad for the side of uh, Vixen 1 right now. Uh, they will be looking to make the best four line possible, and six and six is that one. Yeah, there. That retake was really like that hold was really good. I said that sticks position. It was really good that uh, logs position, and that crossfire with Reina, the trade kills. Those were just perfect. Let's see. Like here, here's just the thing. Like they are just they did a perfect job here. Uh, like they don't have like two initiators so they cannot get much early info so they are just holding on the sides they are not over rotating and they are not doing like bad rotations here. they are just making good crossfires that's what they need to do here Victoria force is active for fake IGN as the side of um Team Mong are looking to go for that CEX edition to Garage again. S6 finds one frag. Hunter Sphere active. He's trying to TP away. Will be successful. Hunter Sphere is not finding much. As a fake ID and does get a trade. Not before Zigmate does find one himself. 2v4 situation. And Look at this flank. boys again for the flank. They've been doing this constantly. They have the spike. Where is the read? Where is the utility to hold that? It's about time that they get punished for doing that. As fake IJ knows there's a player behind, but Sticks just lands the headshot more cleaner. Five and six, one away from equalizing and getting the score line that would actually be effective. And they, do they have money? There are. They can barely go for a buy here. Team Monks. Yeah, but yeah, actually, like Vixen Rising are doing a great job here. As I said, like they don't uh, have like early info, so I don't know. Team Monks maybe like rushed in a bit too early for the execution i think they should play a little bit slow as they know they are playing double duelist and they must be flanking because they need info they need the map control either you can like use two initiators for the info either you can just flank or like take the map control more and here Vixen Rising is doing the perfect job. I think Team Mons will understand this in this round. And let's see if they can yeah, get this I mean, round off of with their advantage. They might actually get the read right. If they are going to TP, Sticks does gather information. And now that will be disrupted. They are going to fall back. But look at this push from Zygmaj. It's pushed up all the way and below window. We can try and get some impact frags off that. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, when? Just got when? How? Since when? I didn't even realize. Garage, I believe the Omen teleport is going to be coming in. They're going to go back to the site of C. And we still have the jet in A. Exo does get a frag, but trade it immediately. It's a 3v4, essentially a 2v4. But look at where, oh my god, look at where uh, Esther is. He's going to get, oh, he's going to flank. Yeah, look it's at gonna this. It's going to be so huge. He needs to 
and he give the sound zigmi give the sound but so is not looking oh wh what this, this, what no, was no. guys doing he saw him <laughs> i don't know what just happened yeah zigmi gave the sound happened, then he <laughs> walked it right in front of him since that chamber died i don't know what's happening here me neither but all i know is it's a 7-5 in favor of the mong and they're gonna be switching on to defense now so they need to make sure their rotations are fast and absolute they need to make sure they commit to flanks and stuff making changes to their plan so that they can keep uh v1 on their toes but the thing about v1 is that they have the double duelist composition so you can pretty much predict that if they're hitting a site hard they're probably executing it they're probably gonna plant there and I don't think the fakes are going to be much of an option for them. They can try and do that with the Chamber and Omen. But I'm expecting full rushes from their end. And they should win this. They should have the advantage considering that they have the double duelist composition. Miser under a lot of pressure. This guy is there to support him. But bong top, boy! Bong goes, boy! Bong Miser, man! Shang does get a follow-up, trained by fake IGN, but not enough as Sticks gets the frag. Skies, does he have lineups? He does connect one shock dart, the second one not connecting the same way. As he will be shock darted as well. On the flank though, we have the jet, Esther. He will be spotted out, and they're watching CT as well, Zigmi. Esther gets one. Oh, does he push through this? Oh, there's a player behind him. I didn't even realize. Esther gets a triple kill. 1v1 situation. Recon spots him out. Low HP on Shang. This is buying time. He doesn't even have to take the peek. Lands a shot, but there is no time. No, no time. He doesn't have time. No, no, he don't. Yep. Round going in favor of V1 and... Uh, they should be able to make this a 7-7 if they go for the full ice. It could be. But I think they'll not. Like, because they don't want to risk this map, right? So they just want to go out for, like, an eco. Then they'll just buy and win the next round. And now we can see, yeah, Vixen Rising do have, like, double duelist. And they, they, uh, they could be, like, good in the flanks and all that the split things but i think the monks can also be effective here with double initiator let's see what they do here like they'll not be effective here by pushing they'll be effective here by delaying them that's the thing with double initiators okay those two kills master he's just looking great here yep, this will give them an advantage but um, again, this is not how I saw this round going. You can still win this if they really hit their shots properly. Because again, Miser is the only one who's actually posing a threat right now. Esther might get some shots as well, but if they take them down, round should pretty much go in their favor. They're looking to go into B though. Might even execute. Um, might even execute into C. Oh, they almost lined up. They're fake IGN. Nice tracking. Headshot. Shang does get a trade, but he's got no armor, he's got nothing going for him as Esther comes in from behind. Nice. Eight oh. and six. Yep, the equalization turns into um complete opposite. Yeah. Like they're just They're just looking great here, like as I said. They're just that those kills from Esther, like they were just great. Like the martial kills, they're like he got the 3k, right? Like, he converted the round. And, like, you said that they might be going on for, for like, force buy, but... They converted the round. Without, like, with less buy. It's really weird right now. Team on. They're gonna have a couple of rifles. The drone spots out X, so he's gonna be able to TP away. Shang under so much pressure. Fake IGN. Look at find a couple of frags. Oh, does get one, but Bongboy immediately reacts. 
Look at the shot in. Spam comes in. There's a player to his right. Dashing away. But INF lands the shot in that close quarters. And that dash can't really help you that much. Sky is trying to gather information outside of A. Shang. Oh, right. Okay. Here is your situation. And they can try and execute this B side right now. Or not, as Mizern gets the frag. He did his job. Now. Oh. Miser is still in C, but Sticks, what's he doing? Where is he going? Exo finds a frag on the skies. There is still another player in this in their spawn though. But the spike plant needs to go down. Exo still has his traps. Oh the Here Spectre. The if he thing. had any other weapon. If he had any other weapon, he wins that. Yeah. But now it's a 1v2 for Mizen. They both are low. Low, H low HP, yeah. He can try and win this if he gets 1v1s. He's playing perfect. Like, they know he was C. Now they are not expecting him from men, but the Chima's trap. That will do the job. Close, close. Will he be able to win this? There's no time. He can do anything. Either he sticks it or either he loses it. Yep. He didn't die as after that. It's okay, but it's a 7 and 8. Um, economy is slowly but surely faltering for the side of um, Team Mong. They can still force up if they want to. I would prefer to go for a save. At least they might go for an 8 and 8, but they can still try and deny the lead being lost with a proper buy. In I the think, round after this. I think Esther should go for that. Marshall. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, I, I'm not really feeling the buy. He does have money though. He can afford to go for a buy in the next round. So why not go for the um, Vandal if you do want to. And that INF, nice start. Gets a shot on the sticks and fake IGN already a good enough eco. As they're all trying to rush into the side of C. Bung Boy is okay, right Bung above. Boy. Drops down. Miser is going to trade. So does INF. But Shang Wee trades 2v3 situation. Spy plan going down. Shock that's not connecting. Bong Boy. Trying to head into the garage. Oh, the ding onto the sova. Skies. One shot right away. As Shang gets another frag. Very winnable situation. But Bong Boy. It's a trade. Esther. Oh, the ding. Those the headshot. Shots. Nine and seven. And whatever. Every time the side of Vixen gets this close to um, taking the lead or going to a situation where they can change the game. Yeah, I think Esther is. Down. Esther is looking great in this map, as you can see those shots, those crisp shots. He's just shutting them down by his team only. Like he's doing like a good job here. Like those headshots, that aim. He's just sh telling them, just you'll not win this map. You are gonna win this map. I will say he's not on top right now, but he is carrying his team. I would say that. You want to play? Let's play. Victoria Force being activated. Um, people in economy is not looking great for the set of Vixen. Sticks, does he predict? Oh, I don't know if he does, but here comes the, here comes the Seekers. Will be spotting out Sticks. Esther can even spam this if he wants to. I don't think there's a, there's a world where he loses his gunfight, but INF in the backside. Zigmate with only a Stinger. Not much he can do. Sticks does find one frag onto Esther. How did that happen? But Mizern is there to try and trade. It's a 4v4 situation. They are looking to go into the A side, but they don't have enough bodies. They don't have enough players with the spike. It will finally be making its way towards A, but the side of uh, Team Mong already have a read on that. Sky is already heading towards heaven. We're seeing the chamber coming in. All the players are rotating. Shang's gonna get the kill. And he's on the flank as well. I don't think they realize this. Okay, now they know who the spam. Recon comes in. Exo gets a frag onto Mizern. There's still the flank they need to be worried about. Bong Boy. Oh, what is. How is he alive? Only with a shorty. But the flank, the flank from short, you need to keep your eyes on that. They're not paying attention to this. Okay, oh, no. INF. Gonna take oh, no. the sound from them. No way. All oh, frags. no, the TP. All four and frags. The okay. You have to see this again. Just look at biggest, this. The biggest flank. 
man. Absolutely huge. I will say the best flank of this. He's so patient well. so this. patient with this. Gets one, gets second, the TP. Uh, I will say it's the best flank of the series. What do you say? Probably. And on the grand finals as well. In, in a round where the economy, the eco round would have gone in favor of V1, that could have been huge for them. Yeah, like, but I know. Possibly, to... possibly could have saved this map for the side of Betty Mon. Yeah, like, I said, like, I think it's gonna go 39 still. My predictions are that only. Well, only one way to find out is to watch the map. And what's the match is the flash uh doesn't know what just happened there. <laughs> even even Bong Boy's like, oh what is that? <laughs> yeah, what is happening? But yeah, and if the flash didn't work out, he's gonna be sending the trailblazer though, gather some information. And the Bong Boy probably was a little bit that was too much for him. He's gonna be falling back. It looks like it's gonna be a late A execution possibly. We do see Zigmate um, pushing ahead, but Bong Boy re-aggressing. This could be a garage to see hit. But the all the all the players just so spread out. Are they looking for a pick? Fake IGN instead finds the pick onto Zigmate. Fallen IGN will sorry, fake IGN will be taking away. And meanwhile, Bong were trying to push in. INF takes care of him. And now the split play is not working out. Maybe they should go for a more aggressive approach. Even though it is getting a bit predictable. An aggressive approach should be the keys and oh sticks. He's lurking to him in. Here's the flash. He knows the players are rotating. But no one can rotate to him as he's going for the spike plan that does draw the attention of the Sova. And he takes care of him. He can go for the spike plan. And he has his teammate as well. He has the ultimate. Oh, nice extra from Shang. That was one guy's CD. Two, two, two. And the TP sticks. He's in heaven. Okay. And he's gonna find one and he's gonna run away. The Seekers do come after him. The Shograth's gonna get paranoid as well. And 8 and 10. Still in favor of Team Monsoon. They have an economy as well. Uh, we literally have to look at this flank again. I really want to look at this. Oh, this 4k from INF. It was just insane. So for this round, let's see. The economy is pretty similar. Only Esther is playing on the ult i guess she'll be going for the orb and now here comes the flash here comes the garage control for them and oh 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 zigmate there was a Zygmie. flick man now there are two guys see if they go see okay oh, they are just flicked. look at vixen's positioning look at look at look at this only zigmate have created a lot of space here oh, oh, oh. Hello. Happening. And now they can just go I... A. Look at look at their positioning. Zigmate was so good with that map control. They realize there's still players there. They can hold this off. Yeah, Esther will be forced back towards CT. But here we go. Skies gets one to Bongway. Esther, they're going to be holding this back. Shang trying to make a difference but only gets one. One with situation. 11 and 8 should be the score in his X. So he's still lurking in B main. Yeah, as we can see, INF. Those position like that. Hole was literal good, like they didn't overrate it there. Can you see? Like, it was so obvious. Zigmate created a lot of space. Yeah, we know that. Uh, it could be a bit obvious at that time because only Zigmate was spotted. They heard him. Yeah, but Ooh. I like that position from Team Mong. Like, they didn't overrate it by an inch. They were still A, and that was just perfect. These both teams are just playing so good. Out of our expectations. Now I think we are looking at the fifth map. What do you say, Kirito? I think so as well. It's very much possible. Economy is not looking good for everyone. They need to win this 30 round to try and keep this in their favor. If they do, they will falter the economy for Mongs a little bit more. But I mean, every time they get this close to getting back the economy, to getting around in their favor, the score line in their favor, they just lose out. But it looks like they're going for an aggressive approach. Zigme takes down fake IGN. INF jumps down and gets a couple of frags. He's so good today. He's so clean today. As he changes.
from a 4v2 to a 4v2 2v1 I don't know what happened 3v1 is all on to EXO but oh he doesn't see INF why would you not have your gun out INF single handedly being an aggressive sky bringing it to a match point 12 and 8 it looks like we're going to the 5th match it's gonna be a long night yeah like, it's gonna go long I said like these both teams are like just so good they are just doing their best this game is so competitive and like as you all know like these guys are just playing so good and they are making this worth to watch here like they are just doing a great job I hope to see them again against each other again and up with those flash kills Bring it to a 4v3 situation. Miser, what is he doing? But this isn't a C push, this is a hit towards B. And Esther realizes this. If he can get a frag, which he will. And he aggresses again, he re aggresses. I'm just sure he's gonna be used up. Bomb boy trying to avoid it, but there's a player right behind him. Oh. Miser realizes where the spike is planted. And Bomb boy is gonna be taking position backside. Drone will be gathering information. I don't think it saw the player in backside though. And Bong Boy wins that one. They're holding the double peak. Oh, oh my. Okay. 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 <laughs> we can just okay. go there. Okay. okay. What was that? Like, look at it again. Like. I was, I was thinking in the back of my head, I swear to God, Skies, if we do something crazy right now, I'm gonna lose my mind. And he, he does. His insane spray transfer, double headshots, and wins the fourth map for his team's favorite. Two and two. We're going to the fifth one. We're going to the fifth one, as like I said, this map is gonna go for the team monks, and I am so close to my predictions. I said 13 9, and it's 13 8. Oh, like. It was so close and yeah, as I said, team monks have a good command like they're on uh, like denying the map control on the gunfights. Vixen Rising are good in like creating space and like getting the map control. But here on Haven, I think team like they were losing their aim fights and you saw that like they were doing good job there. But again, if we see the aim aspects, as I said that they were losing aim fights on haven even in the semi-finals and now in front of them they are there they have like team monks uh, who which have like good aim and yeah as we all know like it happened team monks won this and this was good this was really a crazy game like crazy map INF had 26 kills and he was a blast here esther have 21 kills fake aizen have 20 kills sky is 13 mirzen Mizrin, uh, Mizrin is on 7 and XO is on 21. Zigmate 15. Last In the last round, Zigmate's entries were good. Like Bongboy 16, Shang 13, Styx 9. These players are really looking good and I think they're gonna give us a great final here. What do you say, Kirito? Yeah, it's, it's entertaining. I can't wait for the final map. Uh, uh... It is exciting. I just can't wait for the next one to start. Both teams are playing uh, exceptionally well. And I want to see this continue to the third map of Icebox. They're going to definitely need that uh, in the next one. And yeah, I think Icebox, uh, as we know, Team Mongs are, have a good command on aim and individual gameplay. And on the other hand, Team Vixen Rising have a good command on getting map control and playing as like on defaults and on good strategies so what i think icebox is a map where either you have good aim good mechanics either you have good map control and good fakes and good execution so i think icebox is gonna be equal for both of them and i don't know which team is gonna win but it's gonna be a fun match to watch i can assure you that because According to their boats playstyle, Icebox is definitely a good decider. Seriously. It's 
it favors both the teams according to me and i think they are gonna like make it very fun to watch and you guys don't go anywhere because our finals final map is just about to start in five minutes and don't go anywhere because it's really worth to watch this finals and you have waited so long and now we have waited so long till now and now we cannot wait for the final map and it's gonna be great it's gonna be great so don't go anywhere we'll be right back and some time don't go anywhere
and ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Class and Battle series one. We are going to the grand finals again. It's me, Kate, alongside me, AKG, and we're going to the final map, the fifth map of the BO5 between Team Mongs and uh, uh, Team Mongs and what? This is such a long time for Vixen that. Rising. Vixen Rising. Vixen Rising. I forgot. It's been such a long day that I, I forgot all the names and everything. I even forgot what map it is. And thank you, AKG, for showing the map. <laughs> it's going to be Icebox. Uh, to finish things off and I mean it's kind of cool to be honest the both teams the strategies do sort of complement this map they uh, will be playing really effectively on both sides and I think the main thing of the uh, show is Vixen Rising winning those two maps coming with a comeback and um, showing us that the, uh, even at the first map we thought that they're not looking that coordinated the utility is not looking good the aim is not looking good but in the next two maps even in the map they lost in Haven yeah, you could see that they have that potential in them where they can actually win a lot of these gunfights and they are not just winning the gunfights solo they're actually going for the double peaks they're going for the utility peaks all that stuff and that's carrying this team this far but on the meantime um, team mongs as well they're continuing with the dominance they're continuing with the coordinated utility and they're continuing through with um, their uh, very good aim plays as well Yes, indeed, and so, this icebox is gonna be like a great map here. What do you think about the drafts? Uh, yeah, Pito? I do hope to see uh, the um, Viper coming in as well, always, and maybe um, a lot of teams do prefer to go for the, uh, the chamber. Honestly, I do. Again, you, I have said this before. I am a big fan of Killjoy in a lot of these maps, and Killjoy the utility does certainly um help out in denying the spike print especially in the both sides for the defenders it's hard to deny the entry once the players are in you can't really stop the spike plant and um uh you you, know, you can't really stop the spike plant other than using some utility so you have the sova lineups you're gonna have killjoy as well viper as well so these lineups will definitely help in trying to deny that spike plant so with the chamber again you have to play aggressively you're not gonna have the same amount of utility but Again, if you are able to take gunfights, you're, uh, you're able to win gunfights, it's going to come into handy. And the economy will be much better as well. So again, chamber's not bad, but the agent picks are pretty much identical. Both sides um, are sticking with the Viper, the Sovas. Um, Vixen does go for a double duelist combination with a Jet and Arena, but in the meantime, <coughs> a double Sentinel for the side of... Um, for the side of... Um, Mongols with the sage and the chamber. I think V1 is gonna play for the place like gonna go aggressive on defense because they don't have any traps here. And now look at the monks, they are just going for B execution. And uh, here they are aggressively pushing. Shang is in a lot of pressure, he has to fall back. It's gonna be a bloodbath since. See, four guys are on B, and these are five guys on B. In the a lot of players, and again, this is the pistol round, so that's how this is going to be happening. The spike plan is going to go down. INF will be taking care of that, and it's a five v five retake scenario for the side of Vixen. And with the viper wall finally falling, and their own viper wall will be active in a few seconds. We are going to see the shock guards coming, the wall being broken, and the side retake underway. Still, all five players are alive from both ends. Fans are going to be coming in. The recon trying to make something happen, but the wall will be put up. The defuse can be stuck, and it's going to be Shang trying to stick it. But the side of Team Monks just rush in, break the wall, and don't even lose a single player. Pistol round in their favor as they are going to go into the buy round. The flawless. They just, they just. Okay, he spoke something in the party, I guess. And now, this is. I don't know what Vixen is planning to do here, but I think that Reina is not gonna help them in front of these team monks. See what happens here. Okay, and that will allow them to try and win this round out because they have obviously the economic advantage, weapons advantage. But again, V1 with the wrong read. I believe they saw any sign of aggression that they made. They had all five stack push up. But now they say that uh, it's going to be a full on B hit from the end of Team Mongs. So Vixen, they're going for a five man flank. And I don't think the side of Team Mong realized this just yet. They do see there is nobody in the side, so they should realize maybe they're waiting for a flank yeah, it's a five-man flank 
Look at what Spooder's looking at. As Shang gets a frag stick straight, but Spooder keeps going. Fake IG and just find a frag in the midst of all that, but there's only one player alive that being X, so he gets swung into INF. Best to pick up the, a gun, but he's being surrounded by all sides, and it's gonna be fake IG and to finish him off. Now, let's see now Sun Rising have their bias, like they have 5 Vandals. But on the other hand, Team Monks, they are playing on 1 Vandal, 3 Spectres, and 1 Sheriff. They are gonna play this for a bonus. And as we can see here, Rina is about to push her from B. And she just changed weapons. Like I saw a Phantom in her hand. I don't know. Maybe both the same actually whichever is your preference vandal or phantom but this is going to be an aside execution as bong boy is going to be hearing the drones to be destroyed activates his dash but doesn't see anybody in that belt position he's going to be going for a wider peak the recon discovers a bunch of players below he's trying okay. to land some shots over here xo in the flank will find uh fake ig and as the dash from the jet comes in and six is going to win that they do have the better weapons in that scenario the question is the flank. Oh, Exo doesn't see Esther as he takes him down. Ex Sigma does I continue the skinning A. free as he takes on INF. Only two players remain. 4v2 situation as Esther picks up the Vandal is now on in belt. While we'll be breaking, but Bong Boy in a very predictable position. Recon doesn't see. He's dying. He's slowly but dying. The dying. second. Pipers. Finally goes for the peak, but sticks, trades. 2v1. Already a lot of economic damage done. Oh, oh, what? Oh. He gets a shock. Shot at Fragon 2. Zigmate? Does he clear this? He doesn't. But still, four players taken down. Economy will be booming. That second molly on the gens area, it was unexpected. <laughs> the overlay. Yeah, it's 2 2. Well, that definitely caused the disruption and. I don't know what was happening. They were just sitting there in Jenny, and that Molly was just eating him his HP away. I think he was expecting a push, but the push never came. And um, yeah, that definitely disrupted sight hold. But we want again able to go for a bit of a buy. We do see some rifles coming in, a guardian and a spectre. But meanwhile, a full buy for the side of a team Mong. They are pushing to the side of A as Esther will be using his drone to clear out some of these angles, get some info. The wall will be causing some problems. He will be tagging, actually not tagging one of the players. So this side of duties are going to come in. Bong boy, clean shot. The wall comes up. The spike plan should go down. But they're going to have to try and break the wall to get access in there. Scooter takes care of Zigmate. He will be dropping down to get some fall damage. There is no flank coming, by the way. And they're going to be falling back, going for a rotation, 4v4 situation. And they are backing off from the B side. So the A side and going towards B, but this is a good read from the side of Vixen as well. They are re-rotating back to B. As OXO gets the spike plant. Gets the spike drop and Scooter does recover the spike and is able to run away. But they have players in the side of B. Can try and deny this entry. But if Scooter can get this Viper split down and EXO falls as well. This is going to be a very interesting round. Oh, there's a player above. And he drops down. Bong Boy takes care of him, but fake IGN is sharp as ever. Triple kill. It's a 3 in 1 scoreline. Now it's a 3 1, and Pixel Rising don't have much economy here, but. As you know, Bong Boy can do a lot of things here. And will he be able to convert this round for his team with a Marshall? I don't know yet, but let's watch to find out. And now they're just planning to go 5 men A. They are just again and again hitting A. Now, at this point, Vixen Rising should realize that they are just going like for executions. And now, one kill from Zigmund. He, he manages to get two. Nice shots from him. Yeah, we were already with the man advantage. Revive just come in though, so it's again a 3v4 situation. We want at a disadvantage now. 
We are gonna see uh, Bong Boy trying to get a frag down mid, but will be failing as Fake IJ will be taking him down. It's still an A execution, but to be one fight, Fake IJ will take that any day with Randall, and he's gonna win it with a 4K. Four and one's the scoreline, and a pretty decent lead gotten by the side of uh, Team Monk. And let's see, I think they should realize this at this point that they are just doing fast executions. Either they have to like play 3A or 3B or just play for early rotations. I guess they are just playing for early rotations. Here, Sage is just going to play boiler. So why is getting early info and off, off that information, I think they are going to early rotate. Here, Zigmate got a good kill here. They do realize this. they are not coming A for now. Yeah, if he can find a frag over here, that's going to be big for the team. But they are taking this very slow. Yeah, they are just like trying their best to win this game. And I guess they are doing a good job. Look oh. at this. Viper is alone at B side. But no, Zygmunt. Exo is pushed here in tubes and he literally got... A good frag now they know they are going B so it should be a piece of cake for team Vixen rising here to win this round yeah they have players in the B side the wall does go down the cyclone is gonna go down they shouldn't try and deny this maybe use utility to try and get some damage done which they will but the total force will be activated by fake IGN he is extended in that yellow area the wall is yet to be broken. There is flares coming in towards flank, and that is exactly what they should be waiting for. As Bong Boy Zigmate, they all get a bunch of frags. Fake IG in the only player alive. He misses a shot, gets the second one on to kill Zigmate, but sticks up close, finishes him off. It's gonna be a 4 into scoreline. Vixen finally get their second round in the matchup. Yeah, that was a clean round from Vixen Rising. They were not denying their plant, they were just going for the retake here. Which is a nice idea, like which is a great idea here because they were like, let's not lose more guns. If Team Monks managed to get one or two kills, they can just convert this round. And they just played so disciplined. Both the teams are trying so well here. Like, yeah, that push from EXO, it was just perfect. And that thing to switch up because they know they are just aggro pushing everything. That uh, so and Jet play, that was also perfect there. Yep. They are looking to aggress. Oh, Exo, that's a clean shot. Can he dismiss away? He will be able to dismiss away, but they're still aggressing. And Shang will be taken down by NF. Exo will have to fall back as the Sage Wall should go down. Oh! oh! Spike down. That was a clean headshot from his end. 4v3 situation. The wall is disrupted. He wants to go for more, but he's, has to, he's got to hold his horses. He can't be a little bit too overconfident in these scenarios. You have a player in the flank as well. Need to play this much safer as the drone comes up to gather information. Shock darts are available for Esther. Ultimate available for him as well. Rain ultimate, Sage ultimate. They all can use this in the right times. Now as things come to a standstill. They're both looking for that opening pick. Oh, and Zigmate wins that. Okay, Gaijian has to bail out of that fight. And he has a spike. He's going to be able to TP away. But Spooter is going to stay. Timing away some of these angles looks like with lack of time they're gonna have to hit this a b side and look at the patience from the side of v1 they're gonna stay in the side scooter does get one on the bong boy though but it's still there's through two players in the side he had a spike plan okay he gets one more on to zigmate 20 seconds left but sticks doesn't lose that one v2 xo all you have to do is play patiently Oh, oh, you know this? It's position. Oh, right, that so was a real nice easy. try. That was a scary situation there. Yeah, it was a 4v2 and it turned out to be a 1v1 there. And he literally knew his position. But yeah, that was a clean 1v1 aim duel. Really well played by Team Monks there. Really well played to turn it to be uh, like 1v1 but EXO saved round but it was a scary situation and team monks were so good on that retake. Indeed they were and 
He played patient is the scenario. Oh, bong boy. Recon spots okay. him out and he gets a frag. Nerves of steel from this man. Scooter taken down. Revive not available as the drones are going to be spotting each other out. Gathering some information. Hunter's free available. Oh, Zigmate is going to be playing with the playing with the Hunter's free, dodging it effectively. Bong boy unable to get shot. Instead, it's going to be Esther who's going to fail to get any tags with the Hunter's free. That's an ultimate wasted. And now they're holding on to the A side. They have mid control as well, B main control as well. The question is, EXO, what does happen? What what happens when that wall breaks? Is Bong Boy can he land the flick of his life? Oh, he doesn't. But Zigmate does get a trade. Man, Mizer does get a couple of frags, but they're still holding on to the side. Bong Boy realizes that he should not probably stay up this close. But look at how is INF INF end up there? He hears He's the gonna pin them the round. They need to clear him out. Yeah, he won them the round. Look at this. Oh, he whips. Oh, okay, okay, he got he it. A shot though, but they know, know, now know he's here. It's going to be Bong Boy who's going to be facing him off. Oh, okay. Shang. Okay. The round, the throat round. As INF gets one, one more frag. One one scenario. Doesn't have the spike though. Shang. Oh, he knows where he is. And the peak comes in. Why would you look down? Gonna be Shang with the triple kill. Four and four is the scoreline as Vixen. They aren't going out without a fight. Those two kills just turned out the round. Like, situation was really good, but then comes the Shang. He's just not letting those guys to equalize. I mean, not, uh, not letting those guys to increase their lead now. He just wants to equalize this and win this game. This is gonna be very close, Kirito. It's. It's very fun here. Like, I'm enjoying this. Takes pushing on towards the tube area. Takes care of INF and, and flying miser and taken down. Another cut caught in this mid position. They can't push anywhere. They can't go anywhere. As the wall is going to be blocking them off. Esther does find a gap though. Esther is doing up. So, uh, look at this. He's a marshal. He's a marshal. Oh. They are My on the Nikos, no, no way can they buy operators in this scenario. <laughs> Marshall up close and here comes Bong Boy with the shorty. He's gonna reload what and get the shot in later on. Oh, it's a little bit close. But oh, here comes fake IG and peaks at the right time. Maybe it's a 3v2 scenario. He can grab a gun. Activated. Could have picked up the operator. He only needs one more to get the Tour de Force. Can want to make this round a little bit more effective. Six will be using his ult here. Ooh. Okay. Six gets one spotter with a trade, but it's a 1v2. It they was a risky exactly. peak though. They know exactly where he is. Oh, he's gonna walk straight into them. Five, five and four is the score line as V1 take the lead. They lose a bunch of players. Economy will be taking a hit, but they can still afford some buys. And um, yeah, that's that. Uh, the side of... Um, Monks, they can go for a force by if they want to. They can afford rifles, they can afford some guns, but um, I think, yeah, the tactical timeout is going to be coming in from their end, so they need to have a talk between the players how they're going to execute the sites because they lost four rounds in a row after looking so confident in the beginning. They want to make this momentum continue, they want to make the momentum of the one stop. So, that's another technique that you can uh, stop your opponents from being too confident, gathering too much momentum is by um, manually taking a pause. That's going to physically stop them from, you know, continuing the heat, feeling the confidence. So that's a smart move on their part. Yeah, let's see what they discuss about here. Like, I think they are doing a good job here, but they just need to deny the map control and information uh, taking of Vixen Rising. As they know, they have only one initiator, but they have to manually push there like to get the info info out of there and like use the sova well so they have to do these things wherever like they have to deny the sova's recon they can just break it or like whatever they do they just need to deny vixen rising's information like that's the only thing that's the only way they can win this and i think they are planning pretty much that only as two guys are walking in A, trying to confuse them, trying to deny their information. 
they just listen to me. <laughs> Yes, so it's gonna be then just reactivated, not only finding much as fake IMG and finds the opening on X. So Shang is still there. Trying to get a trade if he peeps in the right time. He will find one, tries to go for the spray transfer over Miser with a quick trade. 4v3 situation and the B execution is full underway. Sticks can try and deny this entry with his wall. As the plan comes in, he's gonna go for a peek, but he doesn't get the frag. Instead, he does delay the spike plan. Damages the chamber a little bit. And SNL is going to get a frag and a second one. Talk Dart should be there to get the frag and okay. Bong Boy is going to get the frag instead. And the last player in main. Bong Boy up drafting to gather information. Won't see anything. The recon down mid should give him enough info that no one's there. And it's a 1v1. So over. It's going to be Esther taking on Zigmate. But oh, okay. oh Esther going, landing the headshot. Zigmate should have won that. As you can see, both the comebacks, like Team Monks did the perfect job here to confuse them to get the initial picks, two picks and only giving one pick. And after that, as we saw Suwa and Jed, Pongboy and Zigmate, they just tried to literally turn this over and individual plays as we individual uh, not like the team play that they both did the skill level like the skill level they showed there like it was really good but after that esther he's also there he says i'm also better bro like i'm also good with these plays so you better be careful here yeah this will be a very 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 interesting round for everyone as they are going to be stuck to for three marshals are bought Need to land some crazy shots. Exo already quite low on HP. He lands attack though. He will be healed up and trade by sticks. He will be getting the first frag. 4v5, uh, 4v5 situation as they're trying to make their way into the B side. Viper is still present there in the form of Shang. They have all the info now. And, they, and the mid push coming in as well. They have ultimates. They could have used this one. I guess they want to commit them to the eco rounds, but. Exo pushing down mid to get that weapon and falling back immediately. Good timing on that, but he's gonna readdress. Attention being grabbed by the Sage down mid instead. Oh, Exo, he misses that. INF is gonna win that gunfight. And now Zigmate's in a lot of trouble. The wall comes up, the revives there as well. Not sure if you wanna use it on okay. Ecoron, but Sticks, he's gonna find that regardless. Waste of an ultimate. Either way, if you ask me, and they're gonna be moving towards A. And I believe this should be read by V1. They can try and already deny this fight and try and get as much as damage is done. Because this round is not theirs. They can't win this. The best they can do is damage the economy. As a counter revive comes in, Stakes brings back Exo to life and Bongo is in a prime position to do some damage. Marizan does get one and so does Spooder and the spike plan should go down without a hitch. 3v4 situation. A couple of players low on HP. At least waiting until the Sage heal comes up. But V1 are reacting fast, not letting them go for that heal. Sticks trying to deny the entry, trying to do something with that sheriff. The poison instead is gonna allow Shang to take down a vulnerable scooter. Another trade from Exo, very much vulnerable. 3v2 now, as the Viper Spirit is gonna be activated. They won this victory, and the stick is coming in. But Mizen is gonna be pushing in. Fake IG and Mizen, they both get a couple of frags. He gets one through the smoke, but there's another player right in front of him, okay. and he flips onto him. The hop diffuse is there, and he can diffuse easily. It's gonna be in favor of Shang. He does commit an ultimate to it, but he wins out the round. Six and five. If they win the next one, seven and five will be huge for them. Yeah, it was really a good play by using those ultimates. There was utils like they just they, they just won an eco round, like and team monks they lost an anti eco like that revive like he should have known that one boiler guy can kill it but it's okay like i guess he didn't notice it or maybe it's a lot of pressure here both teams are really playing under a lot of pressure because this is the finals you cannot do mistakes here so obviously there is a lot of pressure here yep and looks like it's gonna be exo getting the first frag and they're gonna be falling back that's gonna jump start the execution towards the side of b as the rest of the four players are pushing in they don't have full buys they're in very broken buys we see specters and guardians available in their hands miser though 
Oh, trying to get a shot on to Shang, but Shang is being very patient, not for long though, as Miser finally takes him down, goes for a break, and a follow-up headshot onto Zygmaid. This guy's clean with it, and one more for Master 2v3, and the round changes in a matter of seconds. Stick, oh. they can't do anything! How do they get echoed like this? It's all onto Bong Boy with the, with the Vandal. This is coming in towards Kitchen. Spike is planted, Hunter Spree is available, Bladestrom is available. And Bong Boy has to go through so much to win this. Recon will give information that he's not in Snowman. He could be flanked, but he's gonna give his position away. He's right in the site. Smoke comes and he's gonna dash into the smoke. And you don't even need anything else. Myzern just jumps and takes him down. I'm just reactivated. Six and six is the half. Switching as we're down. going to the second one. This match is getting more and more intense by the second. Yeah, like as I said, it's gonna be equal like for them and they are showing that like they both are just doing so well and they are equalizing the situation it's a 6-6 six, six in the finals and now i think like i hope it goes to an ot i really want to see this but if it like doesn't that's also good because they are like entertaining us a lot by these plays by these like equal participation like equal contribution to win the map like both the teams are trying their best here and may the best team wins here. Yep. This is match is getting more and more intense. Nixon finally on the attack. They're trying to push the A side for starters. There is mid presence, there is B main presence as well. Looks like they're gonna be falling back. Trying to get to the other side of the wall. Trying to get into B, but the chamber is holding their fake IG and he's been exceptional this entire match. Let's see what he can find. A couple of players will stay back in A. Actually, the spike is going to stay back in A. It looks like they're going to cut off all noise and then re-aggress towards um, a main. INF though. Oh, here's some noise in mid. As the wall will be broken. He doesn't spot anybody. But the A execution is coming in. There's nothing really looking for the flanks for B1. They don't have an agent for that. And uh, if INF does decide to go for a flank, this could be huge. As a side execution is coming in, Mizer is still holding patiently. Wall comes up, jumping players all around. Shang and Sticks get a couple of frags on the Spooner and Mizer. There is still another player, Esther. He's trying to make something happen, but the flank is going to be huge. INF, nothing can be done as Sticks clears it in the right time. Esther does get one on to X, so he's going to execute the site. The Viper Wall will be decaying him for a little bit as Bomb Boy from above gets one and gets the second as well. Seven and six, lead being gained by V1 and possibly extended by Force Divine in the next one. And my favorite player is looking good here. Look at those 2k, like he's just playing so well here. And the Mongs are also doing a great job. They did a good re execution here. And I mean, I mean, at Team Vixen Rising, they are just very good with these executions. And let's see if Team Monks can try to like get this eighth, uh, seventh round to equalize this, or they are just gonna go for the eco. But still, they'll try to delay some. Uh, I mean, give some damage to the economy. And they are exactly. just they are just gonna go to A and making this showing their presence. Sage is just holding B. Look at this. INF is just. Looking his way Ooh. to mid and he got spotted. Ooh. There is another player there is Tex. He can also provide support. With Zigmate doing the game. You know, a flank Look. happening from the other end. That's by fake IGN. Easter and Mizern do get a couple of frags with their um, shorties as Anna picks up a uh, Spectre. But oh, Shang nice clicks onto him. The break. armor helped him out there. But it's all on the um, fake IGN on the flank. And I believe Sticks is reading this and he's in an off angle as well. Ooh, oh, nice. Oh, but beautifully read by Sticks. Yeah. It was an off angle and, and he read him like a book. Yeah. I think he heard the noise of the rope so he could assume where he was. But um, yeah, still a 1v2 and still two players need to go in and he spots one. The double peak comes in, now knows exactly where both are. Doing some damage, but not enough as Bong Boy finishes him off. 8 and 6, lead extended by V1. Now the real hurdles are gonna come as we are gonna see Byrons coming in for Mongs. They are gonna have rifles in their hands, so 
they're gonna have to go through them with the bonus weapons if they are to get a 9-6 well-established lead yeah just i think this round is gonna be interesting since like Fixing Rising and Team Mong, they both have shown us that they can seriously win the thrifty rounds and bonus rounds. So let's see what are they gonna do. At least they are gonna destroy like a lot of economy here because as we have seen, they are just very good with those tactical executions here. Yep, the Vandals already making themselves known in this round. XO is gonna be sticking to a ghost. Mizen spots a player on that belt. Exo also making a lot of noise on top of a uh, generator on the right. Down mid. As the Rainal is going to be coming in. Side execution is not there though. They're still holding outside and I think they want to execute all at once. As INF spots out a player trying to land some headshots. Will get one but sticks with a quick trade. Mizern. Dashes into sight because he wants to support, wants to do some damage to the players. Doing this floor, the recon gathering information from him as he tries to get stick to us, trying to run away. He gets a follow up on the Zigmate as well. One versus four situation. The final player being Shang. He's stuck in the main areas. Orb will be taken. I don't think anybody heard that. But oh, they will no, no, definitely no. hear him now. Yep. Scooter does stay him manages down. Still to get one kill though. Yeah, he still gets one. Not a bad, not a bad round for them, not a bad a bonus round for their end. They'll be able to go for the force vibes, they can go for the rifles, so this is where they can extend their lead. Stop that 8-8 eight, eight from happening, make it a 9-7 to try and take it to double digits later on. I'm really sorry guys, I don't know why my keyboard is acting up on me, the instant replay thing. Uh, but let's see these guys like both teams have good buys now let's see which team's gonna win this round i think this round is very crucial here for the economy and for the ad early advantage this round is gonna determine a lot of things here will spooder expect that jets position Nice shot from Aston, but okay. with a quick trade. He does find one. What is this guy on? There's a player behind him though. He's gonna be able to dash it away and survive. Sticks gets one fake IGN as the trade comes in. Bong Boy now knows where the players are. He's trying to run away but will fail. Should have stayed there and tried to take the fight. It's all on the sticks. 1v2 situation to try and keep the lead. He has a spike, but only 40 seconds to plan. What does he do? He's trying to cut off noise. He's trying to fake a rotation, but the side of a uh, team on are doing the smarter thing. They're sticking together. They're being patient and waiting for Sticks to make the first move. They know they have the advantage. Six does go for a peek and INF ready for him. Clears him out. Takes him down. Eight and eight. No. It's the equalizer. Now let's see what happens here because Fiction Rising is on an eco or like a half buy. Now let's see if Zigmate can convert that Marshall into kills, then it's really good for Fiction Rising. But we have to see since these both teams are playing so well and anything can happen. Right now, as we are gonna Ooh, see Bong Boy with the Blade Storm jumping about, there is another player there, and that is gonna be um, fake IGN with the Vandal. He will be spotted out, but the recon has to TP away as Bong Boy is now gonna aggress towards side. They pick up a gun, Esther gets a frag onto Zigmate, who doesn't have the proper weapons. Bong Boy committing to the blade, but he's running out of it. Has to has to escape, has to get out of there as they're rotating down mid. Okay, and they the snares down mid. Should read that out, but where is Shang? How did Shang get there? Oh, Bong Boy even wins that with the Blade Storm. Now Shang is in a prime position to try and hold this flank. Try and get some frags down. As he should hear them coming up. Oh, does Esther clear this? No way he doesn't. No, no way he does. And he's gonna get a gun. They should read another player in the kitchen. And he gets one more. Huge Did position get one more? From, instead of Shang. Can he get the last one? No. no. Take IGN clean headshot. 
But up Bongboy close and personal, Bongboy. Oh, what does he do? He should know he's in there. He should know he's in there. Easy shot. Okay, and he doesn't gets even it. need to get it. It's Exo gets it. 9 and 8. As V1 turn this eco around, Bongboy pick up a gun. He doesn't. All right. I mean, he can afford a gun, but still, would be nice for the money if you could pick one up. But yeah, 9 and 8. Economy for... Uh, that was an eco round. Yeah, that was an eco round. That was sort of a half buy. No, that was an entirely eco round, actually. It was not in a half buy. This is going to push Mong to another eco of their own. Now, like, Bongboy is really right. popping off here, and... Big Hygiene is also there like with 19 kills. I think he's gonna get his 20 here and they are just taking the mid control. Got the mid control, doing a fast mid oh, but right. that shot. Oh, Second okay. one. And another one, not that another one. one. So, but EXO gets traded out by the Hunter Spirit. If you can get the spike plan down, that's already gonna be huge. Miser is here though, you need to be careful about this. Just trying to get the spike land down, but the, all the players are here. They're all surrounded the Viper Spits. And if, with a judge, is he going to walk in though is the question. Oh, Shang is going to be taking the ropes. Has to run away. Now he's the only player alive. As Zigma is going to fall. There are players all around him. All above him. Oh, nobody sees him. What does he do? How is he alive? Gets yeah. one. Gets Ooh. a second. Has to go back inside. But the player right in front of him. He got the one turn. One v one. Play it patiently. The spike is under the control, though, but he's got a judge! Oh. He's got a judge! He tries to flick on Shang, but the judge is just not... That was so not close. Not gonna help him. Look at this. How was he still alive? And he manages to get three of them. Almost a clutch. Shang is just playing so well here in the finals. And look at this, uh, we all are just seeing eco after an eco, like, <laughs> both the teams are converting the ecos. Kirito, are you there with me? Yeah. Like, first team Vixen Rising converted an eco, then team Monks converted an eco. What's happening here? They don't need guns. They should be playing on Sheriff every round. I don't know what's happening. It's a 9 and 9 and this is going down to the wire. And uh, honestly, if I see any more any more crazy stuff, I'm gonna scream. It's been a long day, and these players aren't making it any shorter. They are being pushed to another eco those Vixen, as uh, they have to play on pistols. One marshal for Zigmay. The mid uh, poison cloud will be activated. That could fake a push down towards mid. Okay, he's so got will give the position away, so maybe they're not that worried about the players pushing down mid. And besides, they're playing B for the retake, so they don't really have to hold on to that mid. As they yeah, they, are going to be pushing down B main. They don't want to play close range in front of these guys. Gonna see fake I didn't come up with an option on the Zigmate 3v5 situation. As the spam is coming in, the diffuse is being stuck by INF. Scooter gets one bong boy trying to jump in and make something happen with the jet, but will be failing to do so as it is gonna be the side of um, Team Mong taking the, the round home. 10 and 9. And again, this was their buy round. This was the round that they have the weapons advantage. So we won. They weren't looking prepared early on, but now the buy rounds coming in, they should be able to afford their own rifles, so it's gonna be 9 and 10. They are looking good here, like now both the teams have buy. Now let's see which team's gonna win because both the teams are going head to head. Can we see uh, over time, Kirito? What do you think? I do not know. I am very <laughs> unsure of what's happening. Some rounds they're feeling um, they're winning eco. Some rounds they're losing by rounds. I, I don't know. This is very confusing for me. 
<laughs> as they're trying to walk into the uh, kitchen, there is a alarm board there. It will be destroyed, I think, or... They're gonna be holding there for now. Pushing in spikes in the main. So I guess this could be a fake. If Bong Boy can get a frag, if uh, Exo can get a frag as well. Time running out. Not getting any picks. They're gonna have to fall back. They help out in the A execution. 50 seconds remaining. The rotation is gonna take time as well. So they're gonna have to move. Only Bong Boy will be joining the push, but we are going to see some lurkers coming in. Shang staying in kitchen and EXO as well joining the A main push. The recon comes in, will be giving information. The INF is still going to be hiding in the top area though. Can he find a frag is the question. The timing is in his favor. Bong Boy gets a frag and a second one. The spike plan is going to go down. And meanwhile, Shang revealing himself in kitchen. Good execution, good side take, and it's a 1v5. All on the fake IGN. And we are going to 10 10. Again. Teleport ready. Yeah, I, again, th this match is just not finding a clear leader. They're just Pulling and scratching, try and take that lead position, try and keep it in their favor. Fake IGN's position will be revealed by the recon. If they can take it, take this operator out, that's going to be huge as well. The economy will be completely destructed. Okay, he manages to save this up. Now it's 10 10. And the monks, they're again on. Uh, bad buy i will say like one guardian and yeah one specter coming in oh uh, no no sage will be using vandal fake Jin should drop him but she's using judge here i don't know why but still team vixen okay so spooler is gonna use the vandal and sage is gonna be using judge here oh they're just so spread out look at the vixen rising's position they're just so spread out on the map It's uh, looking very, very, I don't know, it's looking, either side is just looking so strong, both on their take, side takes and um, utility from both ends. Opening frag does go down, Esther will be taken down. So that Sova, lack of Sova will be causing a lot of problems for their end, no information. They're just gonna so go gonna for it. They're rotating to the side. Of, yeah, they're gonna go to the side of A. That should be the viable option. There's only a couple of players there, and uh, one of them, Miser, he is not even properly in the site. They have to go through INF with the judge though. As the dash okay. comes in, he's trying to dash find a frag. Will find one, but doesn't get the second. Revive comes in immediately as well as they're gonna try and execute the side. Miser does get a frag onto Bong Boy. Three v four situation, but still, the spike man's gonna go down. Nothing can stop that. Viper Spit is available to um, to Scooter. His miser is in screen. Scooter is holding down mid. Operator act available for fake IGN, but as Zygmunt takes down Miser, this is looking more and more unlikely. Shock darts are coming in. Off angle for Zygmunt, doesn't even matter. Scooter takes him down. But inside the site, inside the top area, Scooter, does he clear the left side? He is going to clear the left side. Oh, he doesn't okay, clear the left side. Clear the left side. Takes, takes care of him in fake IGN. 1v2. Exo and Shang. Fake IGN trying to go for a save. Trying to run away. Trying to keep it in his favor. Oh, the jump peak comes in. But he's going to be able to dodge that in time. Running around. Trying to hit him with the headhunter. But gets the op shot in the end. But will he live? Will he live? He will live. Keeps the op in his hands for a little bit longer. Now it's 11-12, both the teams are not ready to lose here, like, both the teams are just playing this perfect. Look at this. Yeah. 11 and 10, one away from match point, Vixen, but again, buys are available for the side of, uh, 
for the side of Team Monks and they should be trying to utilize this buy because right now if they do lose this buy money will be an issue. Look at uh, the switch the available, but oh the judge already taken down. That's a revive as well. Miser is trying to react to it, but EXO is not gonna give him anything. They might show some presence in B and again default back to A. That is what they've been doing. That is what has been working out for them. EXO. Does he go does he overextend though? As we are gonna see all four players rushing in towards the B main. Miser is positioned, but he's hiding. Oh, he could go for a multi frag here if he doesn't get cleared out. He's gonna get one, but sticks with the immediate trade. Good job on that part, but there is another player up on top. Viper Spit can be used up, as he will be discovered. Spooder takes down Bong Foy. Spike will be planted regardless, as they're trying to hold on to this. Esther, not really much he can do with the shock rush to try and deny the Spike plan, but Spooder comes in with his Guardian. The recon does give information, but it's a 2v2 situation. Esther doesn't know what to play up close, but oh, what is that shot? Fake IGN does trade though, but the operator up close, not much. As Zigme and... takes him down. 12 and 10, one away, match point. Don't lose the op. Okay, he lost the op. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. They're on attack. Yeah, okay, I guess they don't want to play the op. Yeah, uh, because in attack, rifles are way better. Like, uh, you can create a lot of space. And if the opponents are playing passive, as. Uh, team monks are doing so ops will be a waste against them that's why they left the op because they are not over peaking monks are not over peaking they are playing for retakes and they are either playing very aggressive or either they are playing for retakes so operator will be not good for them that's why he left the operator now they are just opening 3a here look at this and they are already at 4 here team monks and they know they are 4 here now they are instantly rotating and monks are also rotating. What's happening on the map? They are so desperate to get this round. Both the teams are so desperate here. Look at this. 12 and 10. They're both feeling the pressure. They're both feeling excited. Monk boy is going to be take, getting tagged. He's actually going to go back to B. That might uh, give some wrong, mis okay. wrong indication that they're going towards B. Esther. Okay. Guardian comes big. Couple of frags. 3v4. They still have enough buys though to try and win this round out. But now the side of V1, they're just so so disconnected. They're just so all over the place. Are we looking at in overtime? <laughs> oh, the fake though. Oh, look at that. Yeah, look at he's just he's just shooting bullets and they got faked. But M Mizrain, but he's Mizrain holds on. He's gonna hold on strong. But now it's all on to um, it's all on to Zigmate because Six is all alone. He can't push. There's so many players down mid. There's not much he can do. It's all on to Zigmate to win this. Only 50 HP has full utility. And there are players right in front of him. Oh, he's trying to get on top, but he fails. He should know that. Gets one. There's another player there. Sends a recon flying. Can he clutch this out for the victory? Gets one. There's another player behind him, nice but it's gonna be big. I didn't take him down. That was a valiant attempt. Look at look at this these two kills from Esther for the do or die situation. He's just looking good here. And then this team is not ready to lose yet. They are just giving their best here. It's an 11-12. Who'd have who'd have thought we would have been like in the finals and in the 11-12 round? Like it's so amazing to be here right now. Like it is a great final here it is worth to watch like every part of it everything the craziness the equalizers the thrifty round wins it's just making it worth to watch and now we are just on 11 12 as much as it can get extended they are just doing it they are just doing their best and they're extended it extending it because they, the both teams want to win this and now as we see Pixon Rising and Team Monks both are on kind of a low buy, like some Vandals, some Spectres and some Bulldogs and Guardians. Look at this. It's an equal situation here. It's getting intense by the second. Both sides have Spectres, Bulldogs and Guardians. This is this is interesting to say the least. Now V1 taking things very patiently, trying to find an opening. The Viper Spit Ultimate used up in the site of A. It is used up quite far behind though. Is V1 have their own set of ultimates to play off of. Recon comes in towards mid. Shang, does he want to thread the needle? Does he want to go through that? Oh. Oh, Bong Boy. Imagine if he got that frag there. It could have been huge. Yeah. He's going to have to go 
back instead. Look at this tier 10 operator NF, combo. I have years, years players in B main. Utilities are gonna show up as well. There's a chamber trap there as well. Is this left. judge could be huge with 30 seconds left? They have yeah, to commit. To They're gonna run straight into this judge. But Shang finds an opening Ooh. on scooter. Viper Spirit is gonna fall, and that's his own Viper oh my Spirit. God. This is huge. They have to run though. They have to run. They have to get the spike down. 17 seconds. Oh, updraft. He knows. He knows that the one way doesn't work out. There's another player. There's another player to the left. There's another player in the Viper Spirit. Miser gets both of them. Hunter Spirit is used up. Miser is trying to keep it alive. Exo. No time. They've run out of time. They've done it. Overtime. Oh my god. We just went to overtime, guys. Woo. And the 3k here. We just came to overtime, guys. Who would have thought this would have been a blast here? Like. Look at this, it's just amazing to be right here. And like <laughs> you saw that setup, that Sage and Chamber op and Judge setup, if they would have committed there, they would have lost instantly. Like that Judge and Operator combo, it was just perfect. But, but on the other hand, on the other hand, Shang just got an entry and they just rotated instantly. But still, the monks managed to get the 12th round on the board. And now we are just looking at the overtime. This is a perfect grand finale. What do you say, Kirito? This is not perfect. I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> I want to I wanna, I wanna have some food. I want to sleep. But These guys no are not is, letting you have food. There is only... <laughs> There is only Valorant. We are going to overtime, so they're gonna need to win two rounds in a row. Either V1 or Team Mong. And this is definitely gonna be interesting to see. Again, um, we are gonna see Mongs on the attack. Finally, we are gonna see Vixen back on the uh, defensive half. And they have been attacking for quite a while, so I am definitely interested to see if they're gonna be able to convert their strats into um, the defensive mentality because they've been on the attacking mentality for a while but the main thing is now to control your nerves and not get too overexcited because now you might feel a bit nervous you might feel a bit what do you call it you might feel a bit hyped up but you need to maintain your um, mental um, stability and yeah. remain calm to try and keep that round in your favor now this is a five stack outside B the only person really holding them back is EXO, who will be detected by the okay. record. He's going to be able to dismiss away though. He's still in harm's way as he will be spotted again. He has done this a lot of times, the same play. Fang gets one more onto Esther. This could be very much in their favor. It's a 3v4 situation. They're still committed to this B site for now. And Counters, you... Viper's Wall will be coming in. INF in the wrong side of the yellow position. Wall will be coming in. He's trying to go for the spike plant. Will the wall be broken? No. They're trying to bait out some players. They're trying to bait out a push. Trying to bait out the denial of the spike plant. As we're going to see finally it's, it's happening. Sticks will be trying to break the wall. Look at this. the flank though. Flank. Oh, the flank. They're aware of this. There is a but chamber they're not there. aware of two guys flanking. Will it be managed? Okay. He got both of them. It's a 3v5 from Team Mongs. They are not ready to lose. They are not ready to lose here. Like, what is happening here? What the Valorant is happening here? Just tell me, Kirito. <laughs> What the Valorant, like, it's a 3v5 from them, like, Spooder just killed them both, like, Shang and Bong Boy, he's not ready to lose yet, look at fake Ijen, he's up for the 30 kill, oh my god, these guys are just playing so well.
is the trades coming in and now they're just making the way to mid what are they planning to do here now Mizrain is gonna take some mid info here they're falling back they're just gonna go B here and if they go B yes they, they are reading it well they have good game knowledge good map knowledge and good information in the round they're just reading it well but that kill and another kill is it going to be the monks who win the finals let's see it's not decided yet they still can manage to get the 4v2 we can't say anything right now look at this operator he's just marking the plant if someone comes to plant he'll just shoot him yes it's just perfect he's just playing so disciplined now he's and here are our winners here are our winners for the grand finale for this tournament team monks they just played it so well it was an insane a great finals like it couldn't have been better look at this look at this 31 kills from fake ign spooder got 23 mizern got 21 isla wester 19 inf at 14 shang carrying his team 21 and zigmate 18 bong boy 19 exo 16 and 17 by sticks they are just it was just a crazy finale and the monks really did well to earn this and vixen rising they were looking also like great here like it was a great finals kirito are you with me okay i i think kirito is facing some issues right now but this finals was just great and i think finals these finals could not have been better like we just saw a perfect finale there and just hear me out guys are you looking for more tournaments here you really want to get entertained by these crazy finales every time just just follow this just subscribe this youtube channel and do like the stream do press the bell icon because we are gonna bring a lot of great stuff for you in the future and we are planning a lot of tournaments a lot of interviews and you guys will be amazed and it will be worth and trust me you should share this channel's link to your friends and this finale's link also just share it just subscribe it it's free and it's at Klaxon, we are just hosting so much tournaments, so much big tournaments that will amaze you guys, that will entertain you guys and you should join this channel for now and if you want to play the uh, another tournament which Klaxon is organizing, just check the description, you'll get the Discord server's link and you're good to go. You can just message any moderator, just get help and you can just register for the tournament. Are you willing to play a tournament? Are you willing to give it all for eSports like these guys are doing? Just join the Discord server in the link below and subscribe this channel because this entertainment, this seriousness, this these kinds of tournament, Klaxon is hosting them. And I don't think like there are many organizations there hosting like these kinds of tournaments here. And there are, but again, Klaxon is doing a unique job and is doing a great job here so you should subscribe the channel you should join the discord server and yeah share it with your friends and if you talk about today's finals it was just perfect if you look at the maps like the map selection first map we were at bind and second map breeze third map asin and the fourth map haven like fourth map team mongs win fifth map team wongs win and asin vixen rising just like shut monks down but and in the breeze also they were just so well and in bind team monks won and like there could not be a better finals than this like both the teams were so head to head and in the finals i said these teams are just giving their all and we went to overtime like it's the perfect perfect finale and I'm glad I'm here with you. My name is AKG and it's great to have had you guys. Like it's 
great to have you guys and i really enjoyed casting this streaming streaming this and yeah it was a lot of fun and i think you guys also enjoyed it so very well then i have to sign off and congratulations to team mongs and very well played team vixen rising and team instinct and also upgrade esports all of them just played good all of them just played played great and we had a lot of great games today so thank you so much and stay tuned for the next tournament and i hope to see you all again and yeah see you guys have a great one and enjoy your life